Alrighty, welcome back everybody to our latest severe weather coverage. And we are live. Welcome back, everybody, to our latest severe weather coverage. I hope everybody's having a good afternoon so far. Uh, today is actually going to probably be a pretty busy day overall uh, because we are going to be looking at the potential for a threat of tornadoes across areas like Indiana, Ohio, and even Michigan. In addition to that, there's also going to be a threat for some damaging winds, large hail, and again, a few tornadoes being possible across a pretty large area. And you might notice the Storm Prediction Center just issued a large tornado watch that was just issued a few moments ago for much of Ohio and as well as eastern Indiana where there is going to be a potential for a few tornadoes now their warning or their warning excuse me right now does say a couple of tornadoes are possible I would not rule out though a few tornadoes today at least a couple but possibly even more than that the environment that we have today is actually a bit favorable here for at least a few tornadoes across areas in Ohio and Indiana but the main concern overall with these storms will be damaging winds and large hail but you definitely want to make sure if you're in Ohio or Indiana or even back into Michigan today that you are definitely making sure that you're staying weather aware and have multiple ways to receive alerts have a tornado action plan in place because we are probably going to at least see a few tornadoes today out of these storms so we already have a lot of storms out there right now a lot of these are ordinary damaging wind storms that are uh, again producing at least some level of damaging winds the majority of them are producing damaging winds around 60 miles per hour this is a live shot on radar Omega out of Kalamazoo Michigan and you'll notice here this is a storm that's right now rolling through that area clouds are moving very quickly aloft which gives you an idea that the winds aloft are pretty strong so we definitely have a lot of motion there in the atmosphere uh, in addition to that obviously it's starting to rain here they are under a severe thunderstorm warning there in Kalamazoo and so far the storms in Michigan have not looked super concerning but once we get closer to two to three o'clock I do think that tornado risk really starts to increase and if we go back down here Portage actually this is just south of Kalamazoo we do actually have a very broad area of rotation that is uh, beginning to develop here. So we'll have to watch that closely. Uh, that is going to be southeast of Portage, Michigan, going to be moving east towards Climax and eventually going towards Battle Creek. Uh, we do have a tornado possible storm back over in Indiana. So this is going to be north of Fort Wayne. We actually have a couple of storms that definitely have at least a little bit of rotation. The one near Hartford City going towards Mount Pelier is currently rotating a little bit. Uh, once again, pretty broad rotation for the time being. I would expect that tornado threat again to increase as we go later into the afternoon probably closer to like two to four o'clock is when we'll have a bit more of a peak of that threat uh there has been some rotation on the storm that's north of the uh the uh, fort wayne area so just north of fort wayne indiana approach approaching uh, kendallville this is where we're dealing with at least one storm here that does have a pretty defined hook on radar and as well as an inflow so this particular storm definitely has a shot at producing a tornado as it continues to move to the northeast it is again discrete so when we get discrete cells like this those are the ones that typically produce the most elevated tornado risks so this storm in particular does look the most concerning as of right now out of all the storms that we have on radar we also have a storm up near LaGrange right now that is also producing damaging winds and hail but that storm right now is not really rotating so definitely the main concern again today will be damaging winds some large hail and also the potential for a few tornadoes we will be live probably at least for four to five hours possibly even longer than that um, as the tornado risk will be increasing as we go throughout the afternoon today now, the Storm Prediction Center uh, does have a new outlook coming out, I believe, in a few minutes, unless it already came out. So we'll see if they make any changes to the current outlook. I'm not sure if they'll introduce, like, an enhanced tornado risk. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but right now, the tornado risk is a 5% risk across areas in Ohio, southeast Michigan, and western Pennsylvania. This is where we'll have the greatest potential for a couple or even a few tornadoes. Uh, anywhere from Detroit and Toledo back into Columbus, the northern peninsula there of West Virginia as well and back into Pittsburgh where there will be a more elevated tornado risk this afternoon and into the early evening with the potential for a few tornadoes um, existing. But once again, the main concern today is damaging winds and large hail. You'll notice that there is currently um, a elevated risk, at least for damaging winds from Kalamazoo back through Detroit, where there will be, again, the potential here for a, uh, a few storms that produce damaging winds upwards of 60 to 70 miles per hour. Large hail threat, once again, is also a slight risk. It's pretty much the same area. This area, we're also going to be watching for some storms that will produce up to golf ball-sized hail. We do have an update on the storm near Kalamazoo. The National Weather service has just put a tornado possible tag now on the storm that is currently located near Kalamazoo approaching Battle Creek uh, and as I mentioned a few minutes ago there is at least some broad rotation here just south of Kalamazoo 
This is a live camera view that we have in Kalamazoo right now of the storm that's rolling through. Uh, so once again, a lot of rain here. I'm not seeing anything too crazy here other than this just being a uh, severe storm with damaging winds. But uh, that is a live view there on Radar Omega out of Kalamazoo. Uh, really looking more into the storm that's back up there to the north. But we do have some rotation developing here near Athens, uh, Michigan. So we'll have to watch this storm closely as it continues to move to the northeast. It will be approaching Battle Creek and Interstate 94 over the next several minutes. So definitely stay weather aware if you're in that particular area and then this is really one of the most concerning storms that we've had so far this one's been rotating for probably a good 30 minutes now it's uh, still a tornado possible tagged and once again it does have a hook echo we have a bit of an inflow going to the storm so we could some we if enough shear goes into the storm if we get enough turning there's definitely gonna be a chance here for maybe an isolated tornado as this storm does continue to move to the northeast <coughs> So, again, we'll be watching these storms very closely. Um, obviously, a lot of storms on the map already. We are already at uh, six severe thunderstorm warnings, and I'm expecting that number to continue to climb here over the next few hours as these storms do continue to develop across much of Indiana, as well as Ohio, and as well as back into Michigan. Thank you, Jake, for the uh, 499. How is Fort Wayne looking today? Yeah, Fort Wayne is really in the track of these storms within the next hour. Uh, you're basically going to be seeing storms between now and about about two o'clock that's the time frame i would expect storms there uh right now the only storms off to the west of fort wayne are not severe but i'm not ruling out that these do try to intensify a lot of these storms that we're looking at today will be low topped because the middle and upper level moisture is pretty weak today <coughs> so um honestly overall i do think the majority of the threat that you will see here uh across this area again would be damaging winds but if any of these storms are able to rotate enough again we could get an isolated tornado uh, if that shear does pick up uh, a little bit more which this storm right now is struggling a little bit right now near kendallville it does have a hook but we aren't seeing a whole lot of wind coming into that storm right now <coughs> sorry I, I had a mcdonald's cheeseburger and i have something stuck in my throat it's great I do not recommend McDonald's quarter pounders, by the way. They are horrendous. <laughs> I, I've had them way too many times this year. They're getting worse and worse. Completely off topic, but... Catching a cold? No, I'm not catching a cold. I'm not, I'm not sick. No, that's just simply from a, McCho a McDonald's quarter pounder. I don't recommend. Starting early, yeah, today's live stream might be long. Um, again, we'll see how the tornado threat evolves, but uh, today's environment honestly looks to be a, a bit concerning. Uh, I'm not trying to say that to scare you, but like the, the tornado threat is legitimate today. I mean, it's, it's not like a, a super conditional risk. I do think we are going to at least see a couple of tornadoes here. And uh, whether we, you know, get an isolated strong tornado or something like that, it can't be ruled out in this sort of environment. Uh, if I show you, let me go to the computer models here. We'll go to the HRRR. And this is the tornado parameter values for today. Gives you an idea of what the tornado threat basically looks like. It factors in a bunch of different ingredients. And what you're looking for really is some sort of like yellow or, or red color to pop up on here that would indicate a slightly more elevated tornado risk. And by about two o'clock, we'll probably have a bit more of a favorable environment here in Western Ohio that will develop probably right around two, maybe three. And that should allow for at least an isolated tornado or two. But if any storms do remain discreet, and like the one north of Fort Wayne, for example, I do think that there's going to be a more elevated tornado risk with that particular storm uh, in comparison to just looking at tornado parameter values because we do have at least enough shear if any cells are discrete they'll at least produce the threat for an isolated tornado or two um, but with that said if there's any discrete cells they're again going to have more elevated risk than that cluster that we have for example back up in western Michigan that doesn't look nearly as impressive uh, when it comes to a tornado risk right now even though we have a little bit of rotation near Kalamazoo it's um, still it's going to take a little bit for that storm to get going now here's the future radar for today for perspective so uh right now we are obviously about one o'clock or so so this is right about what we're seeing right now so we got an entire cluster of storms basically ongoing here uh stretching from western michigan back into indiana but once we get closer to two and three that's when i think the tornado risk ramps up and that's also when i think that damaging wind threat will start to peak in addition to the large hail threat so i do think the most significant threat of severe weather today will probably fall between two and five uh maybe up until six or seven if you're in eastern ohio uh once we get closer to three o'clock 
these storms will continue to move to the east across areas like Toledo, southeastern Michigan, and back into areas near Columbus. Eventually, by around four, storms moving towards Mansfield. This is where I'll be expecting the greatest potential for a tornado or two between the hours of two and five. Once we get to five o'clock, those storms are approaching Cleveland, Akron, and Canton. And by six, they're moving into eastern Ohio. And by about seven or eight, they'll be moving towards Pittsburgh, where I honestly think that any tornado risk that's left by seven should be really low. So if you're in Pittsburgh, uh, like Western Pennsylvania or Northern Virginia, still stay weather where have a tornado action plan in place. But I do think any significant tornado risk that we get today, as in like, you know, seeing at least a couple or even a few tornadoes will probably fall here in this area. It's going to become a lot more isolated as we get into areas like West Virginia and as well as Pennsylvania as we go into uh, the evening hours, so closer to sunset. And that's also when daylight heating will end, so you'll notice these storms kind of weaken out after about 8 o'clock, with maybe some damaging winds remaining, but the threat overall would be, um, in nature, much lower than what it is over the next few hours. And once again, we are monitoring two storms that do have at least some broad rotation. This is one of them, which is located near Kendallville. Uh, this is moving northeast. It's just north of Fort Wayne. Obviously, it does have a hook shape to it, but there is a pretty big lacking feature here, and that is uh, wind shear right now. We don't really have a whole lot of that. There's not a whole lot of turn, at least, uh, on this storm right now. So as of now, at least the low-level shear is uh, seemingly quite weak and not really spinning the storm up much, but uh, that obviously could increase as we go further down the road here over the next hour or two as those ingredients become a little bit more favorable and then back up near Kalamazoo this is one of the storms that we were talking about that does have at least some broad rotation uh, that is south of Kalamazoo it's this pocket of rotation right here that we're watching that is going to be approaching Battle Creek Michigan uh, over the next 20 minutes so if you are in Battle Creek just stay weather aware as there is going to be a chance for an isolated threat for a tornado as this continues to move towards your area so definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware here's the latest scale let me uh, take that off. So this is the latest scan. So we definitely still have some rotation here. It's a little bit actually stronger, it looks like, than before. But it's not strong enough, I would say, for a tornado warning yet. But uh, this will definitely be a storm to watch for as it approaches Battle Creek, Michigan, for sure. So that's your part. That's your rotation. Uh, just south of uh, Galesburg, going to be approaching Interstate 94 over the next several minutes. And once again, the Storm Prediction Center should have a new outlook here in a few minutes for um, today's threat. Or is that, is that an hour? I might be wrong. I, I'm on the wrong time zone. My, my computer is usually on central time zone. 8, 11, 11.30. No, it should, be, it should be right about now. Yeah, never mind. I, my computer is usually on Texas time, so <laughs> I'm, on, I'm in Eastern time today. Thank you, Dave, for the uh, generous nine ninety nine. I appreciate that. Thank you. Also, thank you, Gene, for the five dollars super chat. Dayton, Ohio, will be at the tail end of the storm. Around, yeah, I mean, your storms for Dayton will probably happen around. I'd say two to four is going to be your time frame. So uh, definitely stay weather aware then. We do have a uh, Radar Omega Cyclone port back down here as well. And you can watch all these live cams in the Radar Omega app with the top link in the description below. Uh, we'll have a couple of live, or actually a few live cams. We got one in Kalamazoo. We got one back over in Detroit. And we also got one here near Dayton. So uh, we'll definitely have a good view of these storms. We'll also have Storm Chaser Connor Croft with us here in a few minutes uh, once he is live. So we will have lots of different footage today be able to show you and uh, keep you in the loop with these storms as they do continue to develop here over the next several hours with a potential here for a, um, a few tornadoes now near the hartford city area we also have another tornado possible label so we now have three storms that are labeled as quote-unquote tornado possible and once again what that means is that it essentially there's some broad rotation that needs to be watched and um, down the road it's a storm that could produce a tornado threat so uh, that, that's essentially what that means it's just kind of a precursor to a tornado warning not necessarily hinting that there will be a tornado warning but at least gives you an idea that hey this storm might be able to produce a tornado down the road and we might need to issue a tornado warning at some point here soon so just keep that in mind there's three storms that have that right now it's the one here that's just northeast of indianapolis we got one back up north of fort wayne it's this one with that label as well and then the one that's just southeast of kalamazoo approaching interstate 94 that one is also going to be in that uh, spectrum for at least a isolated tornado threat but yeah we got a lot of storms here in western michigan more of the linear variety of storms across michigan today and then back over in indiana these storms are a bit 
more discreet in nature. And uh, once again, these storms will have a much better chance of producing a tornado down the road. And if you are just tuning in, we do have a tornado watch, not a warning, a watch that is in effect all the way until seven o'clock tonight. That includes a large chunk of Ohio and eastern Indiana. There is a uh, pretty solid chance that sometime around like five or six, if these storms are tornadic at that point, they may end up issuing a much larger or at least an extension, I should say, to this tornado watch across eastern and southeastern Ohio and maybe western Pennsylvania. But obviously, for the time being, that is uh, still multiple hours out. So if you're back over there in far eastern Ohio, there's no reason to be panicking right now. You are still very far out from these storms. And the hope is the environment just kind of, you know, isn't great today. Like, hopefully something, you know, changes here. But I do think we'll at least get a few tornadoes across the Ohio Valley today. And including parts of southern, um, southern Michigan, even perhaps an isolated tornado or two. Thank you, Ashley, as well, for becoming a Minimum Velocity member. I do appreciate that, and welcome to the Velocities. Yes, there's also a severe thunderstorm watch, which is also ongoing for, um, for Michigan. And this watch will go also until 7 p.m. tonight. So for those in Michigan, main concern, damaging winds and hail, maybe an isolated tornado or two. The greater con concern for the tornado threat will be in Ohio today. And I do think Ohio really is going to be in the bullseye for any sort of tornado threat today. Obviously, again, we're not talking about a widespread tornado outbreak today by any means, but we are talking about the potential for at least a couple of tornadoes. So you definitely want to make sure that you're staying weather aware, even though it's a low, low, low chance that you're going to get a tornado, you obviously could still see one in this particular environment. So you definitely want to make sure, again, that you are staying uh, weather aware and again, having a tornado action plan in place for this particular event uh, in case it does go a little bit crazy. Obviously, Ohio this year has been a crazy area. We've already had 29 tornadoes, I think is the exact number this year. So we've had a lot of tornadoes in Ohio and Ohio is one of the top three states in the entire country in terms of a tornado count for 2024. Can you believe that, by the way? Ohio, out of all states, has the uh, one of the highest tornado counts this year. It's it's crazy. So, um, unfortunately, I think today we are going to be adding on to that number of 29. We'll probably go up a couple at least uh, with today's event. But obviously, the hope is that the environment kind of just isn't great in Ohio today. But as of now, there's a lot of cloud clearing, and that's going to create some instability. Here's the current satellite imagery. So, obviously, not super impressive clearing here, but we do have enough sunshine out in front of these storms that there should at least be some instability that will grow here and that should also be able to help the uh, severe weather threat a little bit uh, across areas in ohio also probably look at a sounding um from today let me go ahead and look and see if we have a sounding I'm not sure if we have any recent ones but i'll see if we have any soundings we have a couple of soundings from this morning yeah, I mean, this gives you an idea of the environment today. Um, this is back over in southwest Ohio, so I'm guessing this is near Cincinnati. Uh, this is a sounding from about 7 a.m. this morning. Obviously, this looks like a very complicated chart. It looks scary. It looks maddening. <laughs> just just only pay attention to two things here, really. The only things that I'd be looking at uh, are really three things. We got veering winds here in the atmosphere, so that promotes at least some spin here in the atmosphere. Uh, winds anywhere from 30 to 60 to 70 knots across the entire atmosphere, which does indicate that we actually have some pretty strong shear up and down the atmosphere, a little bit weaker near the surface. But one thing that's pretty important here is that as we go up in the atmosphere, the temperature and dew point stay pretty close together from the lifting condensation level all the way up here to about four and a half kilometers which is a you know about 20 30 thousand feet or so and then once we get to this point the moisture is a little bit more lacking so any storms that we have today should for the most part be more low top supercells we might get a couple though if the moisture does become more favorable here in the middle levels um, we'll have a little bit better of a shot there for maybe an isolated tornado or two and perhaps even some larger hail storms so that'll be something to watch for and we do have a pretty uh, significant hailstorm down here that's going on uh, near Hartford City, Indiana. This one does have a tornado possible label as well, and it's going to be moving towards Geneva and Portland before it eventually will go into, um, eventually before it goes into Ohio. Check out the rotation, which is not super strong yet. Uh, one storm that's become a little bit more concerning with rotation right now is the one near Kalamazoo. Let's go to that. It's just a little bit more concerning. We still, we're getting a little more organization here on this storm with the rotation. So I do, I would have to say that this one right now that's approaching Battle Creek, Michigan, might be a little bit more on the concerning side as it continues to move towards Interstate 94 and 194. I think this one might have a little bit better of a shot there producing a uh, isolated tornado. 
So the storm definitely a little bit more concerning right now, but we'll see how this one evolves. Right now it does have at least have some rotation. Here's the latest storm prediction center outlook for today, which they've made some minor changes to the forecast. Some interesting changes, actually. Let me uh pull this up. This is the latest outlook for today. So no enhanced risk for tornadoes, but we do have a slight risk uh, still in place there for that tornado risk, hail risk, and wind threat. Um, in addition to that, we do actually have still that uh, small little area here in the central plains that is under a marginal threat and also a small slight risk near Kansas City and as well as uh, western Missouri and northeast Kansas. And we also have a marginal threat, which has only now includes Tennessee, Alabama, and Georgia. So if you're in Kentucky, or if you're back over in northern Tennessee, you're no longer in that threat there for at least any really significant severe weather or anything like that. You might see a couple of storms today, but the, the severe weather risk at this point is um, not significant enough for there to even be a marginal threat of severe weather. So... That is the latest from the Storm Prediction Center. I'll, I'll be looking to see what the probabilities are as well, see if there's any changes there. I'm just waiting for that to update on the Storm Prediction Center website. So that'll be out here in a second. Thank you, Debbie, for becoming a minimum velocity member. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Velocities. Any sounding out of Michigan? We do have a sounding, but I didn't see anything that interesting. It was pretty similar to Ohio with the environment up that direction. The uh, environments are pretty similar across the board, but there is definitely more precipitation across um, southern Michigan that's expected today. So the uh, severe weather threat naturally for the tornadoes will be a little bit lower just due to the fact that we are dealing with an environment here that is uh, going to be more linear. And then the more discrete action will be down here to the south, which will have a slightly better shot there producing a tornado threat which this storm's been sort of rotating here, but I'm not seeing much on radar yet. We are starting to see a little bit more rotation trying to develop now. So this this will be something to watch for near Kendallville, Indiana. Uh, next areas in line for this do include Hudson, Fairfield Center, Angolia will be pretty close to the storm, and eventually into northwestern Ohio. I would be watching this storm closely if you are in those areas. The uh, tornado risk has not changed at all, by the way, so it's still the same areas for the outlined risk. We do have a significant hail risk that is still in place for northeast Kansas later today, and there's also a very small 2% tornado risk for southern Kansas and as well as northern Oklahoma today. So that is interesting. Here's the uh, tornado risk across the Ohio Valley. Here's that small little baby tornado risk across the uh, Central Plains today. Not very large, but uh, we do have another Radar Omega Cyclone port here, which is uh, showing very sunny skies right now, but a uh, low conditional risk there for an isolated tornado will exist there in the Central Plains as well. And I'm not sure what the timing is on that. I'll check real quick. That'll be more... Looks like it's a pretty conditional threat today back over in that area. I'm not, I'm not seeing really much storm activity probably until late tonight. So looks to be more of a conditional risk there in the central plains. So not, nothing too crazy there, but yeah. Tell us about the exam yesterday. I, I don't know anything about the results. I'm not probably gonna know for a few days. So I will keep you posted once we get closer to uh, whenever I get the results. They may issue a new severe thunderstorm warning here for Battle Creek in a few minutes. There is still a little bit of broad rotation there. And we are watching three different storms that have at least a little bit of rotation. The one that's back down here near Fort Wayne uh, still looks kind of concerning here. We definitely still have some rotation here. This is the latest radar scan. So once again, we do have some weak and broad rotation that's developing near Kendallville. This is probably the best shot of rotation that we've had thus far in this storm. So definitely starting to um, intensify just a little bit. We'll see if it tries to develop here. As this continues to move to the uh, northeast, it'll be eventually approaching the northeast quadrant of Indiana and eventually going into northwest Ohio. And uh, Storm Chaser Connor Croft will be with us in about five minutes. So we will have some uh, live coverage from him here in just a few minutes. That'll replace the Deschler Ohio live cam, which is just looking at train tracks. So that, that'll be replaced here in a minute.
Uh, Dusty, a lot of them don't even know about it, so. Fun fact. Thoughts on tomorrow's tornado risk? Yeah, tomorrow could be interesting, and I'm a little bit concerned about it. Um, it's conditional, but I'm definitely a little bit concerned there tomorrow about tornadoes, the, the tornado risk tomorrow, and that would primarily be across areas in um, southern Illinois, southwest Indiana, western Kentucky, eastern Missouri, and like northeast parts of Arkansas. So I, I am a bit more concerned about tomorrow. And I think tomorrow we'll have more widespread storm activity, which makes it a little bit more concerning, obviously, because there will be more storms in nature, like quantities can be higher. But yeah, I, I do think tomorrow is is definitely looking like potentially a uh, little bit more of a dangerous day if all the environment our environmental parameters come together. But again, it's it's heavy, it's still a conditional threat. It's not set in stone. So meaning that it may or may not be, you know, a little bit significant. I, I, it's 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 not really I don't know how to compare it to anything because we don't have any recent recent events that would be comparable to what we're looking at tomorrow. Uh, it's it's kind of its own breed of a, a system because we're basically going to be looking at like a line of storms during the afternoon and it's going to be a full blown cluster. And that that cluster of storms will essentially, you know, have some embedded tornado threat, probably, which will be moving pretty fast, by the way. But it, it's. I don't know. I still think it's a bit of a conditional tornado risk overall. The hail threat looks concerning if you're in the southern plains like Texas. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if we had a couple of big hailstorms tomorrow uh, evening in the like the DFW Metroplex. Definitely an area that I'd be watching for as well. Hey Scrubby for the two dollars super chat. Any concern about Northeast Ohio today? I'm not super concerned about Northeast Ohio until probably like six or seven. So you still got several hours until your threat happens. Uh, you're not under a tornado watch yet, but I, I would not be shocked if they do issue a tornado watch closer to like uh, I don't know, maybe like five o'clock once these storms get a little bit closer. If we go back to the future radar here. Hop over to we'll hop to like five o'clock. These are where the storms will be at five. So they'll be moving into areas near Cleveland, Mansfield and Columbus. And so a tornado watch might be issued in eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania, but it's not going to be issued until later today once these storms are a bit closer to, to your area. So it, it's still at least a few hours out if you're in eastern Ohio or western Pennsylvania or even northern uh, West Virginia. And these storms will again probably be more in the damaging wind and hail category comparably to tornadoes, but there is still a chance maybe for one or two tornadoes here in eastern Ohio or even in western Pennsylvania. And central Michigan, your only threat really is over the next like three hours. So between now and about four, you'll have some storms going through, again, central Michigan. Main concern here is damaging winds, so make sure that you're hatching down trampolines and all that sort of stuff, protecting outdoor loose lawn items. Uh, we, I've, I saw the tornado that happened in Florida back um, last week, and that tornado sent a bunch of lawn furniture everywhere. So make sure that you're, you know, securing that stuff, even though, you know, it might not be a tornado that makes that happen. Damaging winds around 60 or 70 miles per hour can definitely make that dream or reality back up in Michigan. And today's flying trampoline meter, by the way, is at a medium risk. So uh, make sure that you are hatching down your trampolines. I know a lot of people think the flying trampoline meter is a joke, but it actually is a, a pretty helpful tool because, you know, even with us making this flying trampoline meter, I, I still see a lot of people with trampolines and they don't have their trampolines after a storm comes through because it just goes flying into either their neighbor's yard. It goes flying into like a power pole or something like that. Like this is legitimate stuff. Like this is not photoshopped. This is like legitimate stuff that happens uh, from damaging winds. So ma make sure again, if you are... Um, Anywhere in the Ohio Valley today that you are hatching down your trampolines, because it could be a little bit of a rough day when it comes to flying trampolines. I'm not expecting a flying trampoline outbreak per se, but I would at least expect a couple of trampolines to go flying, maybe even a few. The rotation north of Fort Wayne is a little bit weaker than before. Um, still watching this area up here in Michigan, at least with some broad rotation right now. That's near uh, nearing Battle Creek. Not super strong or anything like that, but we do still have some broad rotation here. That is moving in the area of Battle Creek over the next several minutes. And the rotation actually looks a little bit strong here. Uh, near Battle Creek right now, we do have a little pocket there of a little bit of tightening near Battle Creek. Uh, if you're in Battle Creek, just as a precaution, I would at least stay away from windows. The storm does have at least a little bit more rotation developing there. 
CC there doesn't necessarily line up exactly with that. That is definitely at least a little bit more of a tightening comparatively to what we had before. It's me approaching Battle Creek over the next few minutes. It's not super strong either. I mean, if there is a tornado, it's it's uh, it's definitely small and weak. But um, yeah, that, that is at least some sign there of a little bit of tightening that we have there near Battle Creek. It is associated with that like small little hook, and that also could be contamination, by the way, for the record. So just keep that in mind. We could also look at this from the southern radar site, which I don't know if it'll really give us the view exactly of the storm, but please show that there's some sort of broad rotation there. That is approaching Battle Creek, but it's entirely possible that might just be contamination from the hail, but uh, it, just in case, stay away from Windows if you're in Battle Creek. We had a neighbor's trampoline launch into our siding two years ago. It's a legitimate concern, folks. It's legitimate. Lots of people do deal with flying trampolines. By the way, if you do have any photos or videos from today's storms, you can always tweet us on Twitter at MaxVelocityWX. Here is a live cyclone port view out of um, Kalamazoo, Michigan. This is on Radar Omega, which you can watch all these live cams on their app with the top link in the description below. And uh, right now, storm just came through. Obviously, still pretty dark skies. But after this storm area clears out, you'll be dealing with some nicer conditions as the uh, dry slot here of the backside of this trough begins to enter in. It should dry your area down a bit, and the uh, severe weather threat will be done there in Kalamazoo here relatively shortly. Yeah, I'm not seeing as much rotation on the storm near Hudson right now. Looks like it's weakening a little bit for the time being. We'll see if it tries to re-strengthen down the road, but it is a little bit weaker overall in nature. We'll have Connor Croft with us just in a second. Storm chasing alongside our live coverage today. So we'll have him here in a few minutes. Oh, look at this. This is like a kind of a little Boeing area that we have here now near Interstate 96 back through Battle Creek. Definitely some gusty winds with this. I wouldn't say it's really severe. I don't see any area in here that really has any sort of like strong rotation or uh, any sort of like really high velocities, but there is definitely at least some gusty winds right now heading towards areas here in uh, western Michigan. All right, we have Connor with us. We'll go to... I gotta put in this. We'll go to him on here. One moment. I was not ready for this. All right, Connor will be at the bottom right. We'll stay on that, and uh, once the storms get closer to Ohio, we'll pull up those other live cams. Looks like Connor actually is right next to the storm near Van Wert, Ohio. So he's kind of like northwest Ohio right now. So he's basically waiting for these storms that are going to be moving into Ohio here over the next hour. And those, again, could produce the threat for large hail damaging winds and an isolated tornado. The uh, National Weather Service has, at least for the time being, put the storm that's back over uh, northeast of Muncie, Indiana, just south of Fort Wayne, uh, back to a normal severe storm, no tornado possible label. So at this time, it looks to be more of a hail and wind threat right now on this particular cell that will be moving toward where Connor is, which is uh, near Van Wert. But it obviously could organize as it moves into Ohio down the road. So we'll have to watch that closely. And then once again, the one that's near Kendallville has been kind of dying here over the last few minutes. So I'm not seeing any huge concern anymore on this one um, until these storms kind of become a bit more organized. It's a um, it's basically like a storm that's kind of running into the backside of the storm, which will kind of weaken, I think, out the storm for the time being. But they might re-intensify uh, if they're able to mature and organize as it moves towards areas in northwest Ohio and eventually into southern Michigan. Because all these storms right now, for the most part, are moving either northeast or east-northeast. So that's the direction right now. We do have some damage reports coming out of Michigan as well. Uh, specifically in Pawpaw, we do have law enforcement reporting a tree on a power line. That's as of 1225, so about 40 minutes ago. That was from some storms that went through that area. And then also as of 1149 a.m. in Keeler, Michigan, there is a, a tree that is blocking a road near 70th Street and 80th Avenue. So that was as of a little over an hour ago, so that may have been cleared at this point, but it's a little bit unknown.
We'll uh, hop over to Connor here for just a minute. We'll see what he's talking about. He just went live. I'm gonna have to fix the stream on here. Give me one second. Actually, we'll go to uh, we'll go to this for a second. Sorry, I gotta <laughs> I gotta find the scene. One moment, please. Actually, we'll just stay on this for now. I, I gotta, I gotta fix the stream on there. I forgot to fix it. Got all my YouTube recommended popping up on that feed. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why Courage JD was there. I just saw that pop up. <laughs> I do not watch him. April is the new May of severe weather. I have to kind of agree, uh, disagree with that. I, I think April and May have always been kind of like. April and May. Like, I, I don't think there's any sort of like, you know, I, I, I don't think that that has really changed. To be honest, I, I feel like they're just, you know, climatology wise, they're pretty much the same sort of thing. I feel like the months April and May have always been April and May. It's the easiest way to put it. April is a new April. That's that's a fact. Thank you, Haley, for the 499. Appreciate you. Never leaving us with an awkward silence while waiting on radar scans. Appreciate that. Thank you. Try to keep it interesting. All right, let me see if I can change this over. One second. I don't know where in the world this is. My streams have become so disorganized, it's not even funny. Ever since we did these changes to the... Um, Ever since we did changes to the overall overlays, we've had so many technical issues, it's kind of crazy. All right, there we go. We got, we got Connor on here now, and we'll have audio. There we go. Thank you for your patience as we work through technical difficulties. <laughs> so Connor's on the storm right now. That's near Van Wert, Indiana. We actually do have some broad rotation again, trying to develop on this. Bottom right of your screen, there's at least some broad rotation right now near Burn, Indiana. Wrapping up. Strong circulation developing. Headed near near Burn. It's heading right at us. Strong I'm opening up Santa, a soda can up, and it's the second one that has exploded on me in the last two days. Uh, Veracruz. Yeah, look at that storm right there. This is the one near um, Burn, Indiana, that does have some rotation developing. Yeah, he's in Ohio, but this is right on the Ohio and Indiana border. He's in Van Wert, Ohio. I might have said Indiana by accident, but this is Ohio. But the storm itself is in Indiana. This is the live radar on this storm. So again, notice that broad circulation that we have right now. They did remove the tornado possible label on the latest warning, but I, I definitely wouldn't rule out they add that back. Or maybe even issue a tornado warning if it does intensify a bit. Uh, quick update on the storms further north. This storm that is going now into northeast parts of um, Indiana is weakening with its rotation, but it still does have damaging winds. And then as of now, we don't have any severe thunderstorm warnings in Michigan. That could always change. Obviously, these are uh, still very early. We're still very early into the severe weather event. These storms are by no means done. They're definitely still intensifying. But uh, for the time being, very small areas of broad rotation. There's one near Battle Creek and there's one near Hastings. But still a little ways away from seeing anything, I would say, um, you know, significant in that particular area. All right, let's go back down to the storm that is currently located near Geneva, Indiana. I think we're going to stay on this one, honestly. We're going to stay on this radar site. We have two areas of circulation on this one. Uh, both broad, but we got two. One near Burn, Indiana. We also got another one near Geneva, Indiana. And again, Connor Croft is on the storm. We'll go back to him here in a minute. Thank you, Sandy, for your generous $10 super chat. I do appreciate that. Thank you, Sandy. Cleveland area at risk for tornadoes today. I think it's a low risk overall, but it does exist. It is a, a low possibility. So definitely make sure that you have multiple ways to receive alerts and have a tornado action plan in place just in case. Could go tornado warned at any point in time, chat. Any point in time, this thing could go tour warned. <laughs> 
What I eat today, I had a McDonald's quarter pounder, and it was horrendous. I'm never eating a quarter pounder again. It's only one o'clock. We're already getting going here. A second circulation down near Geneva. This thing has two distinct. All right, this rotation is beginning to intensify a little bit. Let's go back to live radar uh the one near geneva weakening again that one was very brief anyways this rotation it's a very broad and large area of rotation it's not strong it's not a an imminent tornado right now but it is a possibility that we could get an isolated tornado here down the road as this moves closer to the indiana and ohio border over the next few minutes areas in the short-term track do include the wilshire wren Van Wert and Ohio City areas in western Ohio, and it's also going to be approaching areas near Decatur, Indiana. So it's right along the border right now here. Also, thank you, Nicholas, for the five dollar memo. Appreciate that. Thank you. I am exhausted. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a lot of work recently. It's been a lot of severe weather. I think all of you are exhausted, uh, as, as exhausted as I am when it comes to severe weather. There's been a lot of it recently. Yeah, that's the storm right there. Just tune in. We got that is the current the storm that has some at least broad rotation near Monroe, Indiana, and this will be approaching the Indiana and Ohio border over the next few minutes. And so again, this is still relatively broad right now. It's not a strong area of rotation by any means, but it is an area of broad and large rotation, which does mean we at least have some spin here on this storm, and that could potentially lead to a low tornado risk as this moves towards Wilshire, Wren, eventually Van Wert. Um, keep in mind that this radar site is, we can actually measure this on Radar Omega. This is about 50 miles to the northwest of this storm. So uh, this is essentially looking you know, up into the atmosphere here, probably about five, 6,000 feet or so. So that, that, that velocity that we have there is still probably close to the cloud base, maybe even a little bit higher than that. So um, that's at least giving us a good idea that there's some broad circulation in the clouds. So we definitely have that right now with this storm. It, it could produce a tornado, well, again, as it moves into Ohio here in a few minutes, but um, it's still something that's in development and probably still has a good 10 to 15 minutes before it really becomes, I think, a concern. But we'll have to continue to watch this very closely in case there are some major changes. We're back. Muncie, Indiana, I think you're about done with these, this um, this area of storms. Yeah, you probably have about... You got like a, about 30 to 45 minutes until you're done done with severe weather. Bottom right of your screen, I'll keep it up. But that is the storm that has at least some broad circulation right now near Monroe. As we get closer, hopefully we can make out some more defined features. Friendly reminder, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Keep posted with the latest on severe weather coverage throughout the day today. A severe thunderstorm watch has just been issued for um, Canada near Ontario. So just a heads up there. Back to live radar here. Again, this is a storm that Connor's on right now. A very large but broad area of circulation. And I'm not seeing an imminent tornado risk here, but it might. there might be something that develops here uh, as this storm again does approach the Indiana and Ohio border, which is not far from this. We're only a few miles from that, but I do think it'll have a better shot of producing an isolated tornado risk as it moves into western parts of Ohio. A uh, quick update on Michigan. We got a lot of storms right now in Michigan that are currently at least producing gusty winds. We don't have any severe thunderstorm warnings up in this area right now. We do still have some broad circulation north of Battle Creek, and that's been ongoing for a while. Uh, I would say more than anything, this is just some gusty winds. I don't think we have a whole lot of rotation there right now. And um, one thing I would be watching for, though, is as this linear area of storms moves to the uh, north and east, we might get a couple of these like little embedded, you know, notches that develop and that could maybe produce an isolated tornado risk. Again, it's not something that I'm super concerned about, but it is something that we will have to watch for as these storms do continue to move closer 
to central parts of Michigan. And it is a severe thunderstorm watch, so we are mainly watching for hail and wind, but keep in mind, an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out here. And we do have a severe thunderstorm warning approaching areas near Angola in northeast Indiana. That'll eventually be moving into south parts of Michigan and northwestern parts of um, Ohio over the next few minutes. And once again, Connor is approaching that storm that does have some broad rotation, but noticeable rotation on radar. And the velocities that are going toward the radar are a little bit stronger now, but still a lot of space in between here. So it's not an imminent tornado, as I mentioned before, but it is something that could develop here as it continues to move closer to the Ohio and Indiana border. And that, again, would be the storm that we're looking at right there. Thank you, Tornado, for the $1. The Wraths for the $5 Super Chat. Sorry, I missed that. Wasn't there yesterday. I didn't move anything. That's pretty crazy. Did you see anything? See any tornado there in Iowa? Right. I, need a I don't know if you were close enough. Dude, I don't know what the rattle is. I don't know why it's there or how to fix it. Yeah, these clouds today are pretty low. The uh, Lipton condensation yeah. level is, um, I believe about... F Let me check the exact beat here so i'm not wrong but it, they're definitely low enough today that uh we definitely could get an isolated couple of tornadoes here um, let's try this yeah it's i mean it's only a few thousand feet off the ground it's definitely in a pretty favorable favorable position today for some tornado development as long as these storms do stay close enough to the surface, that's that what's going to be a bit key today. Just the lower the LCL is, which is the lifting condensation level, that's where storms develop. Um, the, the better shot basically would have a tornado. These storms are all moving mostly northeast at approximately 40 miles per hour. So Connor's pretty close to that broad area of circulation. And again, what we're looking at on the velocities radar here is a, uh, basically what we're looking at on the velocities is that we're looking still around five, six, maybe 7,000 feet here up into the atmosphere with this rotation. So it's not necessarily exactly what we're seeing near the surface because we are just so far away from the closest radar site. We don't have a fantastic view here of the storm. With that said, this is definitely enough rotation where we could have at least a little spin in the clouds, maybe some sort of wall cloud that's forming, something along those lines. We'll see if we see anything like that. Um, obviously, still very weak and broad rotation, though, right now. It is our area of rotation, though. It's, it's undoubtedly an area of rotation. It's just, it's again, very broad at this time. So we'll continue to watch this as it moves to the northeast. This is really going to be the main storm that we'll be tracking, I think. Um, at least for the next 15 to 20 minutes, unless one of these storms in Michigan gets going a little bit. But for the time being, most of the storms in Michigan are uh, really just producing gusty winds, and I'm not seeing a whole lot of rotation up there right now. So, yeah, definitely the main concern right now is this storm that will be approaching Van Wert, Ohio. Down the road, areas like Ottawa, Defiant Finance, or Defiance, Defiance, sorry, Finance, <laughs> Defiance, uh, Napoleon and Bowling Green will be in the track of this down the road. Old Finance. All right, let's go back to back to Connor here for a second. Or actually, we'll, we'll, we'll stay on this for a second. He's going to be uh, looking at that storm here in a minute. All right, we have a tornado possible labeled back on the storm, which now does include Ohio City, Van Wert, Convoy, Decatur, Wren, Abinyaka and uh, Wilshire in western Ohio and eastern parts of Indiana. So once again, that is a tornado possible label. That does not mean we are about to have a tornado, but it does mean it is a, it is a, it is a possibility. Oh my God, stuttering. Um, in this area over the next several minutes as this storm does continue to develop and moves to the uh, east-northeast towards Van Wert, Convoy, and Ohio City. But not an imminent tornado, but the rotation is definitely at least strong enough on radar we, where we might actually get a tornado here. So we'll have to wait and see. Connor has a great view of this now. There we go. So that's the storm right there that has some broad rotation right now in the Indiana and Ohio border near Decatur, Indiana. I'm going to shoot right north on this road to intercept. It's going to cross just to our north. Circulation will. 
just to our north. Right in there. Yeah, so Connor's saying it now. Again, tornado possible tornado. label is now on this storm. Circulation about to pass directly to our north. Tornado possible tag on this now. Tornado possible tag. Large tornado rain shaft, obviously lots of rain. Uh, bottom right of your screen, again, I'm going to keep the rotation right there for you. We'll obviously be going frame by frame here with the rotation on radar. We do have a new severe thunderstorm warning, which again is this one that we're on right now. And then shoot off to... Or Western Ohio, sure which does include Van Wert, Ohio, where there is at least, again, some broad rotation heading that direction. Hey, Faith, for the $10 Super Chat, what about Columbus, Ohio? What do you predict um, What do you predict will happen and what time? I think the main concern, damaging winds, isolated large hail, maybe an isolated tornado, but uh, your timing probably going to be around 3 to 6. That's when I'd be watching the closest for areas like Columbus. Thank you, Ace, for the five dollars super chat. Looks, looks like, like it's near my sister's house, which is bad. Scan, but <laughs> uh, I got you, Ace. Uh, I completely understand. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Yeah. Um, just tuning in. Yeah. I, I, honestly, again, yeah, obviously, this might be close to, to that area, but like, again, the rotation's still broad. I don't warned. see a tornado happening in the next like two or three minutes. So hopefully, this stays broad. But it is definitely becoming a bit more concerning because again, it's entering into a favorable environment right now in Ohio where there will definitely be a slightly more elevated threat here for a tornado over the next hour or two. And this storm in particular really is the only one that I see right now that has a uh, at least a concerning feature for rotation. And unfortunately, this is a rain-wrapped area of rotation. This is radar. So again, reflectivity and velocities are literally overlapping right now, which means that this is mostly a rain-wrapped area of rotation. So what Connor is looking at right now is fairly rain-wrapped. And so that can be a bit more dangerous. So hopefully that, you know, changes. Hopefully if there is a tornado at some point down the road, we can actually see it. But it, this definitely could be somewhere embedded in that um, in that large rain shaft that you see there on the left side of your screen. That area of rotation is what I'm talking about. Again, there's nothing confirmed with a tornado right now. It's, again, just a, a tornado possible, which means it's essentially, again, a prerequisite to a tornado warning. Thank you, Jake, for the 499. Fort Wayne is still looking good. I think Fort Wayne... I don't think you're going to look at anything too, too concerning there. The storms are right now rolling through, and after that, you're done. So, yeah, Fort Wayne's looking fine. Strong storm rolling through. Not really seeing any rotation on that storm right now. Also, thank you, Aiden, for the 499. Thank you. A good road right here. Got a good north-south road. Welcome in. If you're just tuning in, we're on the severe warm storm. The this is basically my road. Cyclone on radar. Kind of crazy when a storm chaser goes on your road Don't and you're just like, oh here. no. <laughs> wow. Tomorrow is upgraded to an enhanced risk for severe weather. So enhanced risk just added to Kentucky, Illinois. Missouri and Tennessee. Wind is the main concern there. The hail threat has been upgraded in Texas. The tornado risk is still a 5%. Look at that rain shaft. Wow. There's the lead edge of it. Stay in your lane, brother. That is a massive rain shaft. This is from Andrew Karn on Twitter of the uh, storm right now in Fort Wayne. And again, if you have any photos, you can feel free to send these into us on Twitter at MaxVelocityWX. It's a wall. <laughs> that, my friends, is a wall of water. Pretty much is. <laughs> it's, it's essentially a wall of water that's falling out of the sky. circulation right now very broad circulation so once again connor's on the storm that is right along the indiana and ohio border this will be approaching van wert ohio over the next few minutes where again there is a chance here for a 
uh, a tornado if this storm's able to mature and organize. Rotation as of right now on radar is still fairly broad. You can see that at the bottom right of your screen. You have a pretty broad area of circulation that will be approaching Van Wert. So, again, what I have circled right now is that area of rotation. Still severe warning with the tornado possible tag. It's heading right for Van Wert. Heading right for Van Wert, Indiana. No one behind me. I'm just going to park it right here. Nobody behind me. I'll, I'll move if somebody comes behind me or in front of me, but it's a good place right here. Wind is picking up. Look at the RFD. By the way, we do have a lot of rotating storms right now, so. Look at the RFD. But they're all broad, so we don't we don't have like an imminent tornado somewhere. They're all very broad areas of circulation all across the board. This is really the closest one that has, you know, that's like closest to producing a tornado. There is one in Michigan that's become a bit more concerning, though. I think we're going to hop up to that one here in a second. Yeah, th this circulation becoming a bit more concerning in Ohio. This is near Eaton Rapids, just southwest of Lansing. This, um... Yeah, this is a bit more concerning here. That's near Eaton Rapids. Uh, yeah, another broad area of circulation, but this one's definitely a little bit more matured than the other ones that we've seen. Maybe even another broad area back here to the west, too. We got two. Two areas of circulation just southwest of Lansing. Again, neither one is, again, on the ground or anything like that. This is, again, not a tornado warning, but... Um, it obviously is a tornado possible label, which does mean that there's at least some broad rotation. And this is definitely a discrete cell. So this one has a little bit better of a shot here of producing a tornado as it does move to the um, northeast. That will again be moving towards Lansing, Michigan. So if you're in Lansing, definitely stay weather aware. So yeah, this one definitely looks a bit more concerning right now. And again, Connor's on the storm on the Indiana and Ohio border. Uh, we'll continue to go back and forth with them. Um, let's go back to the storm real quick. Yeah, rotation broadening out right now in this storm. It wasn't ever really strong, but uh, that rotation seemingly a bit broader. Again, the red indicating winds going away from the radar. The green is winds going toward the radar. Those are overall pretty weak winds right now. We'll see if it kind of redevelops here. Uh, I'm honestly starting to focus more of my attention to this storm that's up near Lansing, Michigan. Um, Eaton Rapids is specifically where it is, but this is a discrete cell that has formed that has a pretty solid area of rotation near Brookfield going towards Potterville and the Diamond or Demondale area. So this circulation I'd be watching for very closely if you are near uh, Lansing. See what the next velocity scan shows it's coming in here in just a moment. This is another rain wrapped area of rotation, too. It's the probability of YouTube glitching again. I would honestly say it's pretty high. <laughs> Yesterday was crazy. Yeah, that, that rotation still broad. It's it's not super strong yet, but. It is a developing area of rotation right now that's near Eaton Rapids. That'll be, again, approaching Lansing. Let's track it out here on Radar Omega. And again, you can track out storms on Radar Omega for yourself with the top link in the description below on iOS and Android. Fantastic weather app. It's only $8.99. Gives you access to things like live cameras, live storm chasers across the country, lots of customizability, tons of radar feed stuff as well, and um, also that tracking tool. But the timing right now in this storm, Lansing would be in the track of this here in about 30 minutes or so. Um, according to the storm, that's moving right now about 30 miles per hour to the northeast. Uh, might arrive there a bit sooner, though. I feel like that's a little bit underestimated uh, according to the speed. We're, we're going to increase this to like, it's, it's discreet and it's not nearly as slow as the storms behind it. So we'll go to 40. 
So Lansing probably in about 25, 30 minutes. And that's for the area of circulation, by the way. That's not for the hail core. The hail core and the wind with this storm that'll be approaching that area will probably be there in about 15 to 20 minutes. So that'll be there sooner. But the area of circulation that we're talking about, that'll be there a bit sooner. Uh, areas like Clinton Village and as well as Hazlitt, Michigan, will be in the track of this in 35 minutes. Shaftsburg in about 45 minutes. We got Lansingburg or Lanesburg, uh, but about 50 minutes. And then eventually going towards Bennington in about an hour. And then anything after that still remains pretty uncertain because of the fact that this storm could weaken out or something like that. Those things always happen with storms like this. So I'll have to wait and see what happens. But once again, area of rotation is beginning to increase a little bit southwest of Lansing, Michigan. Not a tornado warning, but it is a storm that has a tornado possible label, which would be indicating some broad rotation right now in this storm. Yes, tomorrow is upgraded to an enhanced risk for damaging winds tomorrow. So we now have an enhanced risk tomorrow for damaging winds. That tornado risk could also technically get upgraded. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if they will upgrade it, but we'll see. Uh, another severe thunderstorm warning near Fort Wayne. And this is also another tornado possible label. So we've had plenty of those already. Uh, but this is a new warning here for Leo Cedarville, just northeast of Fort Wayne. So some more broad rotation on this storm. Looks like that rotation area that was warned for is here. And it's kind of weakening as it's moving northeast towards St. Joe. But we'll obviously watch it and see if it does try to redevelop as it moves northeast. I still think we'll have a better shot of a tornado threat when, once these storms are into, into a, like Ohio and such. So once again, we have a severe thunderstorm warning now moving into Van Wert, Ohio. This is still a broad area of circulation. I'm not really seeing much rotation anymore. Connor Croft, bottom right of your screen, he is on that storm. And then back up to the north, that's near Lansing, Michigan. We still have a very broad, but a bit stronger area of rotation here. That's near Eaton Rapids, and that'll be moving towards Lansing. Yeah, that, that's, that's definitely there. Got a little hook developing everything. It's... Definitely a storm to watch for if you're near Lansing. And this storm's moving directly, basically north-northeast, so Lansing would be in the track of that storm. Obviously not an imminent tornado threat, but we, we definitely could get an isolated tornado if this thing matures and organizes. As it moves towards Lansing, Interstate 96, the DeWitt Charter Township, also going to be in the track of this. Go back to Connor here for a second. Connor's on the back side of the storm now. That had the uh, tornado possible tag on it. Yeah, the, the yesterday storms were moving at like 50 plus at some points. These ones should be sitting about 30 to 40, so much better much easier to keep up with them and chase. I agree with that. It's really hard when they're moving 50 to 60 on you, but these ones aren't going to be moving quite that fast. I think the tornado... I agree with that. The, um... Central Ohio. Maybe two, three I do agree with that the tornado threat will probably ramp up here. Tornado oh, wait. I think the stream's behind. I think that's when the threat could One second. Nope. Oh, never mind. This, uh, thought it was. Yeah, I do agree that the tornado threat will probably ramp up in Ohio. Um... And central Ohio in particular, because I do think that's where we have a more favorable environment. We should have more instability available, too, since these storms will be, uh, once again, entering into a fairly favorable environment where more instability will be available. The, uh, the wind profiles should also be a bit more organized. So overall, I do think we have a more favorable environment here in central Ohio in probably about a couple hours. This is a live view near Dayton, Ohio right now of the uh, cloud cover. Obviously, it's... Partly cloudy. We got some peaks of sunshine, though, and that should, again, allow for instability to grow a little bit across Ohio, and that could end up leading, again, to a little bit more of a, a an elevated severe weather risk. That's out of Warren County, just south of Dayton, on Radar Omega. So we'll continue to keep a close eye 
on that area. Um, once again, the storm that is southwest of Lansing, Michigan is, ooh, this is getting, this is getting a little bit concerning. This is going to be moving towards Lansing. Um, again, area of rotation beginning to strengthen a bit more here. It's a little bit more organized near Eaton Rapids. And this is right now moving to the uh, northeast. Without a doubt, we are talking about damaging winds here, but that rotation is becoming a little bit more organized right now. And that'll be moving towards Lansing, Meridian Charter Township, Williamston, the Delhi Charter Township, really basically anywhere in this area. You should definitely stay very vigilant as this area of rotation is beginning to intensify right now, um, just southwest of Lansing. And have the arrows drawn there to give you an idea of that circulation, but... Yeah, uh, that's definitely the most impressive rotation we've seen so far today. It's still a little bit broad. Keep that in mind. It, yeah, it's not tight rotation here, but it's it's beginning to intensify a little bit. So we'll again be moving northeast towards Interstate 96 and uh, moving towards Route 127 near Lansing, Michigan. So this one we are going to be watching very, very, very closely. There's no CC drop, by the way. We don't have any CC drop right now. Yeah, this rotation's definitely becoming a bit more organized southwest of Lansing. Once again, if you do have any photos or videos, you can tweet us on Twitter at MaxVelocityWX. Uh, we are storm chasing again with Connor Croft, bottom right of your screen. He is on the Ohio and Indiana border. And once again, we are on a storm right now that has some rotation just south of Lansing, Michigan. This is not a confirmed tornado, and it's also not a strong pocket of rotation yet, but it is beginning to become a little bit more concerning. And this is an area that we are watching for the potential for a low tornado risk which is in southern Michigan. And this is one of the storms that so far has produced at least some concern here. Now, we could get an isolated tornado, which once again, this is near Eaton Rapids. It'll be approaching the Dimmendale and the Delhi Township area over the next several minutes. So once again, if you are in this warning, uh, make sure that you're at least staying away from windows. That is the severe thunderstorm warning that we have. This will continue to move northeast over the next several minutes. Yeah, that rotation's definitely coming together right now. That's, again, just to the south of Lansing. I wouldn't rule out that some of this is coming from the, the hail core that we do have seemingly developing there. But the radar site down here to the south, we actually have one to the east here as well. You can see the, you can see the rotation from the radar site east as well. There is at least some rotation there. There you go. Yeah, that's, yeah this storm is definitely rotating right now. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised if they issued a tornado warning on this. Let's wait and see. Lansing? Is, am I not saying it right? NATO cast gave us 10% for tornadoes in, in Northeast Ohio. NATO cast is an experimental tool. Uh, it was, I, I would say yesterday, it wasn't actually that accurate. Um, most of the tornadoes that we did have were in Nebraska and um, in Iowa. So overall, I don't think it was fantastic yesterday. But yeah, today they, they put a, a little 10% little tornado risk up in Northeast Ohio and Western Pennsylvania. We'll see. I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I, I don't know. It's again, it's an experimental tool. It's it's still just a, you know, it's a forecast generated from some computer models. Um, so it's it's sometimes very accurate and sometimes it's like almost perfect. And in some cases, it's just super off. So do I have a, a new severe thunderstorm morning near the Salina in St. Mary's area in Western Ohio. That is for damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour and as well as some quarter sized hail. Now, once again, if you are near uh, Dimmendale or the Daily Charter Township, I would make sure, again, that you're staying very vigilant in case this does continue to intensify. There is, again, a little bit of rotation right now. 
just south of Lansing, which is moving northeast. So we're still watching this pocket of rotation right now near Eaton Rapids. Multiple other radar sites in the vicinity also are confirming this. So it's not just contamination from hail. So there's at least something here. But I would definitely make sure, again, if you're in Lansing, just stay weather aware. Again, not trying to scare you here. Uh, there's definitely a chance that this weakens a little bit. But once again, this is moving towards Interstate 96. Why is there not a tornado watch in Michigan? Well, the conditions in Michigan overall are not nearly as favorable here for a um, a tornado. They're, they're just not as favorable as Ohio and, and areas back down in like eastern Indiana, for example, which eastern Indiana, I don't think I've seen anything, maybe something brief that we just didn't hear about. But um, the tornado threat is much greater down here in Ohio for multiple reasons, but the environment is just more favorable. We have stronger veering profiles and we have a tornado warning. A new tornado warning has been issued. All right, we have a tornado warning now for Lansing. You need to seek shelter immediately. We've been talking about this for several minutes now. Seek shelter immediately, away from windows, lowest floor possible, interior room of your home or building. Again, that rotation is going to be approaching the Delhi, or De sorry, Delhi Charter Township, Interstate 96, Dimondale, Meridian Charter Township, and Williamston. And Connor right now, by the way, bottom right of your screen, he's going through a serious RFD right now. Like, you can see the rain going across his windshield. Uh, but obviously, again, we do have a tornado warning, so make sure, again, if you're in this tornado warning near Lansing, Meridian Charter Township, Williamston, Delhi Charter Township, Dimondale, Potterville, or Eaton Rapids, you need to make sure that you are seeking shelter immediately away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. This is a dangerous storm. We've had rotation on this for a while. Uh, nothing confirmed as of right now. But it is a developing area of rotation right now that is moving northeast. And it'll be moving towards, again, Meridian Charter Township over the next several minutes. We're going to, again, continue to keep you posted. No ads, obviously. We're going to keep you posted with this storm, so stay tuned. And we'll um, relay any updates on this as it continues to evolve and move toward, say, a very populated area here in southern central Michigan. Population of 330,000, by the way, in this warning. If you know any friends or family in this particular area, please make sure that you are giving them a call or text and make sure that they are aware of this storm at the bare minimum. As this area of rotation, again, is beginning to intensify and it is moving into a very populated area here in south central Michigan. You need to be, again, if you're just tuning in, this is for Lansing, Michigan. You need to take shelter immediately in a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor possible of a sturdy building. That is not a mobile home, by the way. That is a sturdy building away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. Basement, storm shelter, closet, bathroom. Those are the typical places. Mason, Holt, Williamston, Eaton Rapids, Potterville, Lansing are all included in this tornado warning here in Michigan. Again, this is radar indicated is not a confirmed tornado, but that rotation has uh, been strengthening over the last several minutes. And you can see it on the radar here that we have a pretty clean uh, hook that is developed here on this storm. I can't draw. This is the area, though, that we have rotation. It's going to be approaching areas near M99 right now. It's about to be entering into the Delhi Charter Township in the next five minutes. Eventually going to be heading towards areas like Lansing as we... Um, get closer to two o'clock so if you're in Lansing you got about five minutes but I would obviously get there as soon as possible to your your shelter spot just in case this does try to drop a tornado as it moves to the north east at about 35 to 40 miles per hour kids are in school yeah actually I didn't even think about that it's Wednesday yeah, unfortunately, there's also kids in school. Um, obviously, it's better than a mobile home, I'll say that, because mobile homes are not safe. I think almost anything can be better than a mobile home. Mobile homes are very dangerous in storms like this. Like if you're just tuning in, this is a tornado warning in south-central Michigan. Approaching the Delhi Charter Township. It's going to be approaching Lansing and the Meridian Charter Township. 
All of you need to be in your safe place, as this is a developing circulation that is just north of Eaton Rapids, and this could produce a tornado at any time, as it does continue to move to the northeast. We're also up to five severe thunderstorm warnings, by the way, so the, uh, the amount of warnings further down to the south are increasing. But once again, we are mostly going to be focused on any tornado warnings like this one. Also, there is going to be a potential for ping pong ball sized hail. If you are out in front of this tornado warning and not in the warning, uh, make sure that you're protecting your vehicle because there's going to be a chance here for some significant hail. And I'm talking about like Flint, Awosu, Flushing, any of those areas, you should at least make sure that you are protecting your vehicle as there is a pretty substantial hail core right now about to be moving into the Delhi Charter Township in the next few minutes. Not seeing nearly as much rotation from the eastern uh, radar site here. Now, the one that's much closer is probably going to give us a better gauge. The only problem is we do have some hail, which might play into the velocities a little bit. But we do definitely still have some rotation right now, which is, again, going to be approaching the Delhi Charter Township. Nothing confirmed as of right now. This is still radar-indicated rotation. The correlation coefficient is not showing any debris being lifted up into the atmosphere as of now. But keep in mind, we are still very in the very early stages of the storm. It's only developed in the last, like, 20 minutes. It's, it's only been around for 20, maybe 25 minutes here. So very early stage storm, and it definitely could organize more as it moves to the northeast. And something that might help weaken this storm down the road would be this line of storms approaching this storm. That actually could hinder the development long-term of that storm that's moving toward Lansing. Uh, once again, definitely a dangerous storm right now that could produce a tornado. Owasso, thank you. So that's Owasso. It's in the track of it. Not Owosu. Circle the area of rotation again. It's going to be right in there on the hook that we have that is just to the south of Lansing. Approaching Interstate 96 and Route 127 over the next several minutes. And this does include the Ingham County and Eaton County in central Michigan. Again, moving 35 miles per hour to the northeast. Tornado and ping pong ball sized hail are possible. So once again, if you are in this warning, make sure that you are seeking shelter immediately that is in a sturdy structure like a basement or a uh, bathroom, a storm shelter, or a closet. The lowest floor possible. Use that tornado action plan that I've been talking about here for the last hour and make sure that you're using that wisely, getting to that safe place. Uh, as of now, though, again, the rotation is a bit broader than we had about seven or eight minutes ago, but it's still possible that the storm does recycle. Let's, uh, let's zoom back into this. New radar scan just came in. And if we do have any tornado or, you know, the circulation, it's going to be right in there. Approaching Delhi. Charter Township. That right there will be your rotation, but radar's about to update. We'll have that updated here. Yeah, still, still broad right now. We still got a lot of broad spacing here in between this area of circulation. So it's still a broad, maybe moderately broad, strong area, moderately broad area of rotation uh, that is moving northeast. About Again, it's about to be entering into the Delhi Charter Township over the next several minutes. It is going to be moving towards Interstate 96 and Route 127 near Mason as well. Now, you got a lot of roads in here. Again, this is a heavily populated area here in south-central Michigan. And unfortunately, if it does drop a tornado, it's impacting a lot of people. I am at least seeing some signs here of weakening rotation. But I would obviously still make sure that you're staying in your safe place. Keep in mind, the radar sites that we're looking at are still a pretty good distance away from the storm. Still no CC drop. We don't have a confirmed tornado as of right now. But again, this will be approaching the Lansing Meridian Charter Township in Williamston over the next several minutes. Completely unrelated to this storm, but the Houghton, Iowa tornado that we had yesterday is a preliminary EF2 tornado. So just a heads up, that was the tornado we covered yesterday, that large tornado. Just saw that on Twitter. 
If you guys do have any reports that you want to relay to me as well, you can at me on Twitter at MaxVelocityWX. Uh, from what I'm seeing right now, we, again, do not have anything confirmed here on the ground, but this storm is still capable of producing a tornado as this moves to the northeast. And there are, there's a whole, I mean, people are taking shelter at least. I, I've seen a photo on Twitter at the Capitol building of there being everybody in like a hallway right now. So that's at least good news that people are, you know, heeding warning here and taking shelter. As the storm does continue to move to the northeast. Once again, this is your rotation. So rotation going away from the radar, radar or velocities going toward the radar. Again, that rotation would be right in between that area. Still seeing some gray bars in between, which would still indicate broad rotation. But again, this could still intensify at any moment, and it could still produce a tornado. And that could happen in between radar scans. So make sure, again, if you're in this warning that you are taking the storm seriously. Um, and the hail is really ramping up now near the Delhi or Delhi Charter Township just south of Lansing. Look at that. That is upwards of ping pong to golf ball sized hail that's going to be falling in this area too. So this is not just a tornado threat, but it's also a significant hail threat that's developing now with this storm. I'm not seeing anything confirmed as of right now, but that is a, uh, again, pretty intense supercell, at least, that's entering into Lansing with hail likely. If you're near Interstate 96, I can definitely expect that there is going to be some damaged vehicles here from the hail. New velocity scan should be coming in here in a second. By the way, Connor Croft, bottom right of your screen, he has an impressive view of the supercell thunderstorm that's back over right along the Indiana and Ohio border further down to the south. Well, he had an impressive view until that <laughs> that large truck got on his way. And again, this is a tornado warning if you're just tuning in in south central Michigan near Lansing, population of 330,000 approximately. Obviously, a lot of people are in this warning. So if you know any friends or family in this area, make sure to give them a call or text and make sure that they are heeding the warning and taking it seriously as there is still a chance here for a tornado. Um, even though the storm might be recycling here, it's definitely still possible that we get something brief. The storm itself not nearly looking as organized and it's mainly because of all the storm activity behind it that's starting to kind of eat into the storm so that might at least hinder its brief threat here of a tornado over the next few minutes but it could also recycle as it moves to the northeast eventually going towards interstate 69 uh, but even on the areas like lansing between that and uh, williamson we could still see something here as well Cincinnati should stay weather aware, but I think the main concern will be to your north. Power just went out in Charlotte. I don't know where Charlotte is. Thank you, Megan, by the way. Appreciate that. Rotation spotted by EMS or law enforcement on the radio. I haven't seen anything like that yet, but I mean, I wouldn't rule out that there's some sort of, you know, rotation up in the, you know, the cloud base. Perhaps like a wall cloud trying to develop. Oh, Charlotte. Oh, I see. I see Charlotte. I got it. There we go. Yeah, Charlotte. Thank you. So Charlotte, we're getting reports of power outages, which is just to the southwest of the storm. That is um, an area where we had this storm go through, probably with at least some gusty winds. The hail core, once again, is still increasing here. We have the potential for ping pong to golf ball sized hail heading towards the downtown area of Lansing over the next several minutes here in south central michigan that's definitely a concern for sure even though tornado threat is obviously a concern and that's really the main concern the hail is going to be going right through the downtown area of lansing oh, look at that. that that right there is the storm that's back down in ohio textbook supercell just to my south wow two of them two textbooks super yeah we'll keep them at the bottom right of your screen just want to show you that. That's that's a, a storm that's been developing there for a while back down in western Ohio. And 
And if you know any friends or family in the Lansing area, make sure to um, either share the stream with them or give them a call or text, get the word out that, again, there is at least some broad rotation right now approaching the area of Lansing. I'm going to see if that's actually rotation. That's more the hail core there. So any rotation that we have with this right now would be over the Delhi Charter Township. Moving to the northeast towards Interstate 96, they'll be approaching Williamston, Meridian Charter Township, and uh, again, approaching near Lansing, Michigan. So continue to stay in your shelter spot as this warning will still be going all the way until 2.30 uh, unless it's otherwise canceled ahead of time. This remains in effect for Lansing, East Lansing, and Holt until 2.30 Eastern Time. So again, 4, 35 more minutes on this warning. But the rotation itself, again, is going to be approaching Interstate 96 over the next few minutes. Uh, the Mar Scott area, Old Everett, Forest View, all in the track of this in the next few minutes. Meridian, Meridian Charter Township, East Lansing. You are all in the track right now of this area of rotation that's moving northeast. So continue to stay in your safe place if you are in this area, which it does look like the storm is trying to recycle right now. So just keep that in mind. It is definitely a storm right now that is kind of in a recycling stage. It's trying to reorganize itself. So it might not be producing a tornado now, but it obviously could at any time as it does continue to uh, redevelop here uh, as it moves up to the north and north-northeast. I'm not seeing a CC drop as of right now. Again, this is not a confirmed tornado. It is radar-indicated rotation. But with that being said, it obviously is a concerning storm because it is moving towards uh, one of the largest cities here in, in Michigan, which is near Lansing. Looks like that hail core is toning down just a little bit, by the way. So there's definitely still some hail there, but not nearly as large as before. That'll be moving towards Lansing. So some half-dollar-sized hail, maybe ping-pong ball-sized hail still being possible. Yeah, the rotation itself right now is over um, Delhi and Ingham. That's where the rotation is currently over here, again, just south of Lansing. So continue to stay in your safe place if you're in this tornado warning as this storm does continue to move to the northeast towards East Lansing. And I do want to remind you that this storm obviously did have much stronger and more defined rotation back when it was near Eaton Rapids. So the storm definitely has a potential here for producing a tornado I'll we'll have to see if it evolves, but it had a really solid couplet there back near Eaton Rapids. And I wouldn't have honestly been surprised if we had something like brief on the ground there. And um, obviously right now it's a bit broader of rotation. But it's definitely on the line right now that it could obviously recycle in this environment. We are starting to get uh, more into the afternoon now where the environment is going to be a bit more ripe for a tornado or two. So this storm obviously in the ballpark there for producing that threat as it does continue to move throughout Michigan. But that line of storms behind it is catching up, so that'll probably weaken it out a bit at some point here in the next 30 minutes. But for the time being, obviously, we still have that tornado warning that goes for another 30 minutes. Lansing is the capital of Michigan. I know. I was just saying it's one of the, the largest cities here in Michigan. I actually saw on Twitter that the uh, the people in the Capitol building there of Lansing were taking shelter in a hallway. And I mentioned that a few minutes ago, but in the Capitol building. There was a photo on Twitter. I'll see if I can find it again. But they, they, they're all taking shelter right now in um, the Capitol building, obviously, because of the fact that we do have, again, a tornado warning that still has a chance to produce a tornado as this continues to move to the northeast. Uh, once again, rotation at right as of this time is still on the broader side of things. But I still wouldn't rule out a brief tornado as this continues to move towards Lansing. We do have a problem with the radar sites because they are still pretty distant from this storm. So it does make it a little bit more difficult to see what's happening closer to the ground. But uh, the presumption is obviously that the rotation is still a little bit broader which means that it's kind of in between that stage where, you know, it was strong at one point or just no rotation at all. Like, again, it, it was definitely stronger probably about 
you know, 15, 20 minutes ago, and it's kind of weakened out a little bit here over the last several minutes. But it still does have a chance to drop something if it's able to recycle and intensify as it moves t into uh, East Lansing and near Williamston. And for those that are in Lansing, are you guys seeing anything or hearing anything? Let me know in the chat. Obviously, don't look out your window. That's not what I'm talking about. But if you're, if you're hearing anything or anything like that, let me know in the, um, the chat. This is still radar indicated rotation. So they've just updated the tornado warning. Uh, this is for northern Ingham County. The storm's moving northeast at about 35 miles per hour. Tornado and quarter-sized tail are now the main concerns. This does include Lansing and East Lansing, and the Delhi Charter Township is still included in this, with a broad area of circulation moving toward the east side of um, Lansing right now. Not really, it's just raining. A lot of rain and wind. Just gonna check these other storms really quickly. I just want to see if there's anything else down here that's happening. We got uh, tornado possible for the Ottawa area and western Ohio. Got a circulation developing there just west of Ottawa. Uh, once again, we'll be keeping a close eye on that storm, and if it does go tornado warning, we'll obviously bring some attention to that. We'll stay on the tornado warning for now, though. Again, this tornado warning still ongoing for those in Lansing, Michigan, East Lansing, Meridian, and the Delhi Charter Township. If you are in uh, Demondale, Eaton Rapids, you no longer have to be in your safe place, but I would at least stay away from windows as there is at least a chance here over the next few minutes for some gusty winds as those storms do continue to move through your location. There's no reason to panic, by the way. No reason at all. Even if there is a tornado, the environment is not really supportive for something that's strong or large. It's, it's, a, it's a very low chance that happens. So, no reason to be panicking here. Just make sure that you are staying in your safe place and you will be fine. There's no reason at all to panic. Still looking to see if we have any reports on this storm. It's still a broad area of circulation right now that's going into East Lansing. And keep in mind, by the way, this is near the warm frontal boundary that's up here in Michigan. So we do naturally have a bit more shear up here. And that's why there is a slightly more elevated tornado risk if we end up getting any storms right along the warm frontal boundary here in Michigan. That'll increase the tornado risk by just a little bit because there's a little bit more shear available usually right along that warm frontal boundary. So that's the reason why this storm has been rotating, you know, this entire time. Go back to Lansing in a second. Look at Connor, by the way. He's he's in the St. Mary area of Ohio. Look at that storm. Wow. That's that, that storm's also rotating, so we'll have to keep a close eye on that. Have to get out ahead of it, I think. That is an impressive storm. That is, again, not the storm that we're on up here in Michigan, but that is one that's back down in Ohio. That is rotating. New velocity scan is going to be in here in just a second. All right, here's that latest scan. And it looks like the rotation is trying to come together again. Um, again, it's still broad and weak, but that right there is your area of rotation that's going to be approaching... Um, East Lansing over the next several minutes. Here's the correlation coefficient. So again, we don't have anything confirmed on the ground right now, but that would be your pocket of rotation that is going to be approaching East Lansing over the next few minutes. So once again, if you're in East Lansing or on the west side of Williamston, make sure that you are seeking shelter away from windows, lowest floor possible if you've not already. Yeah, this storm right now moving northeast at about 30 miles per hour. Uh, we'll see if they issue a new tornado warning out in front of this at some point. It's going to depend, I think, on the next couple of scans with the current pocket rotation that we have. And we'll see if it continues to intensify or it kind of fizzles out. 
But this will be approaching the Bath Township in Maurice area, or Maurice. Eh, I think it's Maurice. And then eventually going towards Durand um, here in southern central Michigan. Yeah, if I'm getting the pronunciations wrong, just, just roll with it. Again, I'm not from Michigan, but... It's more important to know what's actually happening with a storm than knowing a city's pronunciation. Because I think you can just look at the map and, you know, get an idea of what it is. But obviously, Lansing is a, you know, it's, it's close enough. Uh, quickly going to go to Connor. He's on that Ohio storm. There may be a funnel there on his right he was just talking about. Might be a funnel. He's, he's on uh, St. Mary's, Ohio, on that storm that is not tornado worn, but it is a, I believe, a tornado possible over there. Don't have a good enough angle. Nowhere to get off the highway. Have to watch that closely. New radar scan should be coming in here in a second. Again, if we do have any sort of tornado here, or a lowering, or a funnel cloud, or whatever it might be, it would be approaching the east side now of Lansing. And eventually going to be going towards Interstate 69 near the Bath Township in South Central Michigan. So once again, stay in your shelter spot for the next few minutes in case this does try to drop a tornado. Stay away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. That is a storm shelter, that is a basement, that is again an interior room of your home or building as this storm does continue to move to the northeast. Again, Connor's on a completely different storm, not the Lansing one. He's in St. Mary's. And apparently the rotation is ramping up there. It's pretty rough right now, but that is definitely a spot they'll be watching. Things rotating pretty good though. It's just coming into the front camera frame. Things rotating pretty good right there. It's got good rotation. Well, we'll go back to him if he has a better view on that. I'm going to go back to the tornado warning in Michigan. And he's at the bottom right of your screen in Ohio. Uh, but once again, this is our only tornado warning right now that we have. And it's going to, again, be in for those in Lansing, Michigan. This is moving northeast. It's a uh, pretty broad area of rotation that is going to be moving towards Interstate 69 in the Bath Township area. Um, no new tornado warning out in front of this yet, but we'll see if they issue a new one in a few minutes. My thought is that they probably won't unless this rotation does, um, you know, intensify in the next few minutes or becomes more organized. But we'll have to wait and see what the uh, National Weather Service does on that. We'll wait for the next radar scan and see what it shows here in a second for the rotation. I literally can't see anything outside right now. Well, the rain is heavy. You know, we're not, we're not dealing with a little baby shower. We got... Some seriously heavy rain where that rotation is right now. And also the potential for some hail. So, got a dual threat right now of a lot of rain. And then the visibility issues come with that. And then we also have the hail. It's a you know, dual threat there. I'm wrapping rain curtains. So circulation, by the way, in St. Mary's. On right now, but textbook right there. It's an Ohio... Yeah, he's gonna have to start driving again, so we'll go back to him in a minute. RFD's picking up as well. Uh, latest radar scan on the Lansing storm here in South Central Michigan. Uh, rotation seemingly is weakening at this point. I'm not seeing a super definitive area of rotation anymore. Um, it, there's still at least a broad area, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to continue this tornado warning past Bath uh, Township. I would still stay in your shelter spot though until this warning is officially lifted, just in case there's something happening that we do not see on radar, because the radar only does so much from this distance away. Um, from the uh from the rotation so we we could still have something here but 
But yeah, I'm, I'm seeing some video on Twitter that there was a lowering and quite a bit of rising motion, but I, I just don't... I, at least at this point, we don't have anything that was confirmed. I'm retweeting a video on our Twitter page of the, um, the rotation on the storm and a, a little bit of a lowering on our Twitter. That's at Max Velocity WX. Um, it happened in Eaton County, back down where the rotation was much stronger with this storm. Because at one point, this rotation was really strong back near Eaton Rapids. So when the storm was down there, we had a very impressive view of the rotation on radar, and it maybe you know maybe dropped a brief tornado. But at this point, we haven't had anything confirmed there yet. Um, and the you know the Eaton County area here of Michigan. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing much anymore. I think really the main concern is going to turn into damaging winds with the storm for the time being. And it could always recycle down the road. That's entirely possible. But I, I do think that area of circulation here is uh, beginning to weaken out. Once again, I would stay in your safe place for the next few minutes just in case something weird or, you know, something like that happens. But I, I think this storm is definitely losing its grip right now um, on the rotation side of things. But Again, if there is any sort of tornado, any sort of, you know, again, rotation, it'll be approaching the Bath Township area over the next few minutes. And eventually, the Owasu area and Flint will be in the track of this. Yeah, I think this tornado warning will be canceled. Uh, we'll see, though. It's still ongoing for 18 more minutes unless it's canceled. Hearing sirens again in Lansing? They'll probably still keep going off until this warning's officially lifted. This is Connor on the storm that is uh, your St. Mary's that is rotating. You that one's not tornado warned. The you RFD is pretty crazy on this one. It's in St. Mary's, Ohio. Wow, look at a rip. Going right into the storm. Rear flank downdraft is what RFD is. It's usually associated with a, you know, rotating storm. At least helps to rotate it. I'm just gonna get the Wapakoneta on this road. Keep all three storms in play. Still a raggedy wall cloud off to my left. Raggedy wall cloud, doesn't look anything... Doesn't look I'm gonna like go down to the Ohio storm real quick, we'll look what the rotation looks like. We're between three radar sites in Northwest Ohio. So unfortunately, it's going to be hard to see anything on radar uh, when it comes to rotation. With that said, I'm not seeing anything super definitive, at least in the higher elevation of that storm right now on radar. But we'll uh, continue to keep a close eye on that. Quarter size hill uh, now being reported on the south side of, of Lansing. So this is still a tornado warning that is still in effect right now, but Lansing, uh, there was a couple of hail reports of quarter-sized hail in Ingham County. That is a couple miles just to the southwest of Lansing, and as well as in Diamonddale, or Dimondale, excuse me. So a couple reports there of some quarter-sized hail. The hail core itself has been kind of fizzling out here over the last few minutes. We do still have some broad circulation approaching Interstate 69 in south-central parts of Michigan. But I do think right now that threat of a tornado is pretty low comparably to what we had at the very beginning of that tornado warning. We'll see what the next radar scan holds and we'll see if anything develops. And here's the latest scan. 
Yeah, again, I'm not I'm not seeing anything here that's too concerning. Very, very weak and broad area of circulation now north of the uh, capital here of Michigan, but it, it's it's still overall moving out of the area. I would still again stay in your safe place until this warning has officially been canceled. But uh, this area in particular is still under a warning um, until 2:30 p.m. Eastern time or otherwise canceled by the National Weather Service. Dispatch is confirming a rotating wall cloud in Oakmos. There, there might have been, or there might be one still, but I mean, the rotation again is not super impressive on radar. And if, if that is true, which I'm not sure if that's 100% true, I don't, I have not seen any reports of any of this yet. Um, and I, I usually can get good reports of this, but you know, I, I think that the rotation is pretty weak. And so I, I don't think we're going to get anything, but I would, again, stay in your safe place just in case if you are near Williamston. Heads up, by the way, the tornado threat will be increasing over the next few hours in Ohio. Here is the latest from the National or from the uh, Storm Prediction Center. This is their latest mesoscale discussion. Storms may intensify as they approach central Ohio in the next one to two hours. A downstream watch, which would be a tornado watch, is likely for eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. And this is the area where the greatest short term tornado potential exists, which is where Connor Croft is right now on that storm that has been rotating for a little while near St. Mary's, Ohio. So that is the latest from. Um, them on the uh, the Ohio area, which again, I think Ohio would be the most concerning area for a tornado risk today. So a new tornado watch will probably be issued there probably in a, I, would, I would say a couple hours from now. I think we're still an hour or two away from that. If you are in downtown Lansing, you no longer have to be in your safe place. The storm is now past you. The tornado warning is still ongoing, though, if you are just to the northwest of Williamston. On the east side of Lansing, this does include Oakmos and Hazlitt, Michigan. It's still radar indicated rotation. We don't have any confirmation of anything when it comes to a uh, wall cloud, but it is still possible that we have a wall cloud. It's just we don't have anything getting close to the ground, at least as of uh, right now on this storm in Michigan. Yeah, there have been some reports of wall clouds, so I'm seeing a couple of reports of wall clouds now, but nothing confirmed as of a funnel cloud or a tornado. So, the only report that I've had so far would just be of wall clouds, which that is something that happens quite often with tornado warnings. It doesn't always mean we're going to have a tornado. It's just the beginning process, essentially, of there being a tornado would be a wall cloud. So, we've had at least some reports of a wall cloud at this point. I'm an Oak, Oakmos storm cloud storm wall clouds were low. I don't doubt it. You know, the environment today again has us in for very low clouds. You know, the, the lifting condensation level is only a few thousand feet off the ground. So even if there's a wall cloud, it's it's going to get pretty low to the ground. And that's why we have a bit more of an elevated tornado risk, especially as we go further into Ohio. Bath Township in any danger? Uh, mostly gusty winds. That's about it. The uh, the main threat here of severe weather, though, is, is down to your south. If you do, ha if you do have any photos or videos, you can tweet us on Twitter at Max Velocity WX. In addition to that, if you have Facebook, you can also send them to us on Facebook at Max Velocity WX. All of the links to our socials are in the description below. We also are, we also have a Discord server, which is also linked in the description below. Once again, rotation on this storm just east of Lansing now is becoming, at this point, again, pretty weak. There's still a low chance for something brief out of this, maybe an isolated tornado. We've had a report of a wall cloud with this, but it's still a uh, it's a fairly weak area of rotation at this point. It still has a relatively low chance of producing maybe something you know on the brief side of things. We are now in between two radar sites, so we have two different views of the storm at this point, which we've had this entire time, but they're kind of all in between it now.
rotation in northwest ohio uh we'll check it out see if there's anything here we actually have a uh, tornado possible on that storm a couple we have multiple storms here um all right, so the one that Connor is near, we're getting a much larger and broader area of circulation now near New Knoxville. So there is definitely more here than we had before on this storm. Which again, this is where the greatest tornado risk will be over the next few hours. Um, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of rotation here otherwise, like up here further to the north. It's like a very broad area of circulation here, just north of Interstate 8090. And then back down here, we also have a very, very broad area of circulation. So I'm not seeing anything too definitive here. I'd say the one storm that I would be watching, though, would be near St. Mary's, which, again, Connor Croft is on at the bottom right of your screen, which there is a little bit more circulation there. Once again, we still do have a tornado warning just east of Lansing in uh, southern central Michigan. This goes for another nine minutes, unless it's otherwise canceled. And the rotation at this point has remained fairly broad, but there is still a chance for a, um, again, a, a brief tornado if it's able to develop. We've had a wall cloud on this storm, and it's going to be approaching areas near Bell Oak and Nicholson, just south of Shaftsburg in Michigan. Hey, we got somebody watching me on a TV screen. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. Those are not the kind of photos I'm looking for, by the way, if you're sending them into me on Twitter. <laughs> looking for storm photos if you have any. How's Southwest Michigan? Uh, Southwest Michigan, you're you're done. Basically, if you're anywhere to the west of this line here, you're done. D-O-N-E, you're done. Um, if you're anywhere east of that line, you still have a threat of severe weather uh, over the next few hours, depending on where you are. Again, if you're in like eastern Ohio, your threat really won't ramp up until five or six. If you're near Detroit, your threat is in about an hour or so, maybe hour and a half. Which again, the main concern today is damaging winds and isolated large hail. And maybe an isolated tornado or two. Uh, do you think the greatest tornado risk again will exist in Ohio today? Again, Connor Croft is on that storm right now near St. Mary's. Look at that supercell right there. Uh, once again, producing some large hail, potentially, and maybe some damaging winds. A couple flashes of lightning. Oh, yeah. Whoa, that's a bowl. Might be a bowl over there. How much snow are we getting? Snow? Snow in, snow in April? Two point two miles. Oh, it looks really interesting over there now. Big wall cloud. Okay, Connor's on the one storm right now that's near uh, like Wapakoneta. I think that's how you say it in Ohio. And once again, we have a tornado warning still in um, the east side of Lansing for a couple more minutes. That's on the right side of your, or bottom right of your screen. Waiting for a new radar scan, but it's a very weak area of rotation north of Williamston. It could still drop an isolated tornado. But it's a pretty low risk at this point. You can see the wrapping rain curtains from here. All right, here's the latest radar scan. And once again, very weak area of rotation at this point. Um, again, if this produces a tornado, it's going to be small and weak. But um, if you're in Perry or Marice, I would just stay vigilant in case the storm does try to produce something down the road. <coughs> the uh, National Weather Service does have this tornado warning going until 2.30, which is about, again, five minutes from now or so. So, uh, again, this could still produce something brief. But I'd say overall at this point, the uh, risk of this producing something is low. We will continue to stay on the storm for a few more minutes, and then we'll focus more on Ohio, just in case this does try to do something weird. But we got a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings lining up now, back down to the south of where this activity is with the tornado warning 
we have a bunch of severe thunderstorm warnings up and down from southern Michigan back into um, Ohio. And once again, the storm that Connor is near has at least some broad rotation. So we'll have to watch that storm closely. Notice all the hail reports, by the way, coming in right now. We got a ton of them right now on this storm that just went through the south and east side of Lansing. We have seven different hail reports, the highest one being half dollar sized hail in Holt, Michigan, but plenty of hail reports here around quarter sized hail. So these storms definitely were producing some, or that storm, that discrete cell that we had, it was definitely producing some hail. No doubt about that. But at this point, it looks like that rotation's been kind of weakening out. They do have a special weather statement for those west of Flint for some gusty winds, but no warning here um, for damaging winds. So just some gusty winds, a strong storm for that area. And again, Connor right now is positioning on that storm in Ohio, so we'll, we'll go to him once he's back into position. And by the way, for anybody that has super chatted or become a member, I appreciate that. I will try to get to your messages soon. We are uh, currently at five severe thunderstorm warnings. We do have one tornado warning, and that's the one storm that we're on right now. Uh, warning goes for four more minutes, and I'll be right back. So once again, we do have a tornado warning still for a few more minutes, just east of Lansing. So once again, if you are in the east side of Lansing, just stay in your safe place for a few more minutes. Sorry, just give me one minute, guys. I'm still here. trees right here what is this uh we do have a couple more severe thunderstorm warnings just back down to the south wow it's getting active down in ohio right now we got a bunch of severe thunderstorm warnings uh, ramping up across Bowling Green with damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour being the main concern. Once again, multiple storms right now producing damaging winds. We don't have any tornado possible labels right now in western Ohio. But uh, we do at least have some broad rotation where Connor is. And we're going to go back to Connor, I think. There's a little better shot right now of that rotation, it looks like. This bridge. See if there's an area to stop. Might be back there. Really, I need to be. Dang it. Wait, hold on. There's a and by the way, that rotation right now that is in uh, Michigan has completely fizzled out. That tornado warning should be ending here in a minute. Okay, now just reverse. Forward. And reverse. Yeah, this is an impressive storm right now back near uh, Wapa Conita in uh, southwest Ohio. Or western Ohio more than anything, not really southwest. Yeah, this thing doesn't look impressive anymore at all. Scary looking storm, lots of scud cloud. 
This is not a tornado worn cell. There's some very broad rotation on this still. They'll be approaching Freiburg over the next several minutes. Tornado warning, by the way, has officially been canceled in Michigan or expired. One of the two. I think it expired. Yeah. Tornado warning has expired in Michigan. We do still have multiple severe storms right now in Michigan. none of these look too promising right now. And once again, Connor right now is on the storm near Wapakoneta, that is in Western Ohio, that has a at least had a lowering at one point and it's also producing the threat of some pretty significant hail and wind and again this storm right now moving east northeast towards waynesfield roundhead and blanchard over the next few minutes and yeah just it looks good it's a good looking storm it does not look too tornadic to me right now Might be, might be further back there. Let's just go further in there and see what it looks like up close. Sometimes you can't. My lights flickered in Columbus. No storm. It. Columbus. Columbus is still far away from this hits. area of storms. You still got another hour. All right, we're gonna go back to back to here. All right, so here's the update on the warnings right now. We'll go, we'll go wide, we'll go wide view here. Um, all right, we got we got six severe thunderstorm warnings. We do have a new warning, uh, actually, in Michigan, and that is on the one that was tornado warned. This is still producing some damaging winds as it approaches the Genoa Township in Hamburg and Handy Township, and as well as Owosu near Interstate 69. This is again moving east northeast with some damaging winds, and the uh, main area of damaging winds will be approaching the Handy Township. You can see these bright green colors. That is all damaging wind potential right now. It'll be approaching areas just off to the northwest of Detroit. So Detroit. Detroit, you're only about an hour out from these storms and uh, using the Radar Omega Cyclone port in Detroit. It looks beautiful right now, but it probably will not be like that in a couple hours once these storms do get a little bit closer uh, to your location there on the north side of Detroit. We also have a damage report coming out of the Hallock, Ohio area. A uh, report of severe damage to a home on the 14,000 block of County Road. No other information at this time. That was as of 30 minutes ago, but that is a brand new report that we are just getting in. And then once again, further down here to the south across Ohio, this is where the greatest tornado risk will be existent over the next couple of hours. And we do have some rotation right now near the Freiburg area, near the Wapa Kanita area of western Ohio. And that's the storm that Connor is currently on that does have the chance to produce an isolated tornado as it moves to the east. So we'll be definitely watching the storm very closely as it continues to move in that direction. Also, <laughs> by the way, there was a maintenance guy here. So just an FYI, that's why I had to get up. I forgot that was today. So yeah, we're good now. All right, let me... Uh, but yeah, again, what we're on right now is an area of rotation that is uh, gonna be approaching Waynesfield and Roundhead over the next few minutes. We're gonna go full cam to Connor here in a second, so I can take a quick bathroom break. Yeah, we're good now. And I'll get to Super Chats here in a minute, by the way. I do appreciate anybody that has sent any Super Chats or Venmos. Really do appreciate your generosity. And become a member. Ohio is a tornado magnet this year. Yeah, tor th th I mean, again, we've had like 30 tornadoes in Ohio this year. That's, more that's one of the highest numbers in the entire country. Just for the record, there's a lot of tornadoes that have happened in Ohio this year. A, a, a normal amount of tornadoes through not even four months of the year. It's pretty crazy stuff. So once again, this storm, I would not be surprised if we did get a tornado warning on this, if the rotation continues to intensify. Uh, granted, we are pretty far away from the radar site, so the, ro the rotation that we're looking at is technically still a little bit on the broad side of things. We are looking up probably about six, seven, eight thousand feet onto that storm. And there's Connor looking at that storm right now. I'll be back in 60 seconds, but um, yeah, this storm again near Waynesfield, Ohio. including mesocyclone back there. Really? You could just see it a second ago, now it's gone. It's completely wrapped in rain. Well, all right. Completely wrapped.
completely wrapped now. All right, we shouldn't have any more interrupted breaks over the next couple of hours. <laughs> Everything happened there at once. All right, um, again, Connor's approaching a storm that is rotating near Waynesfield, Ohio. That is in Western Ohio. Again, no tornado warning, but it is a, a storm that does at least have some rotation right now. And once again, this is moving to the east. Really good view of that storm right now. All right, now, I don't know how far back I have to go here. Are you uh, live for the 199? Yes, there is a tornado watch in Dayton, Ohio. And it, it, it does go for much of the state. Anywhere from there all the way up into Cleveland. But once again, your tornado threat, if you do get any sort of tornado threat, it's probably still a good hour out from now. So you still have at least some time before you have to worry about any storm activity near you. Thank you, Knight, for the report. Uh, Aries, you're looking at storms here within the next 30 minutes in Toledo, Ohio. Uh, Toledo, in particular... We'll, be, we'll go back to Connor here in a second. Uh, this is what Toledo looks like right now. So we do have some storms arriving to your location. Main concern, in my opinion, right now is just damaging winds and maybe some isolated hail. I think the tornado risk is uh, very low at this point out of that storm. By the way, this storm that Connor's on is producing a ton of lightning. The radar omega de lightning detection right now is, is showing a ton of lightning right now. Might have just occluded. Probably occluded and now it's gone. So this storm is definitely intense. I, I think that this storm might be a concern down the road. That is, um, again, going to be approaching Waynesfield, Ohio. Thank you, John. Yeah, I do apologize about the pronunciation there in Michigan earlier. Thank you, Aaron and Sam, for becoming minimum velocity members. Appreciate that. Welcome to the Velocities. Thank you, DJ, for the $5 super chat. Getting ready to head to work. Is Indy okay? Yeah, Indian Indianapolis is done. You're, you're done with severe weather. The, all the storms at this point are going to be marching across Ohio and eastern Michigan, eventually going into Pennsylvania and West Virginia later tonight. But really, the main concern today is Ohio and Michigan. Michigan is a slightly lesser concern than Ohio, per se. But, you know, the, the greatest concern, again, will be across Ohio where we do have the chance at least for a couple of tornadoes. And again, the greatest tornado threat right now would be over the next couple of hours in western and central Ohio. Also, thank you, Rose and Juliana, for your very generous $10 and $15 super chats. Appreciate that, Juliana. Why do discrete storms seem to produce more significant tornadoes than normal storms? Uh, discrete cells, I mean... You could kind of consider it to be kind of normal almost, but like a discrete supercell is individualized. And so if I kind of draw like, you know, let's just say this is discrete, which it's not, it's semi-discrete, but um, any discrete cells will have a stronger inflow that goes into them. It also has a much better potential of producing something because it's individual. It's not like combined with a bunch of other storms. Think of it as you as a person, for, per, for example. Let's say there's a tray of 10 cookies and you have 10 people. Now, would you rather have 10 people having those 10 cookies or one person having those 10 cookies? Think of that as a storm. If there's only one storm having 10 cookies, it's going to be, you know, a stronger storm overall. It's going to have more instability, more shear, all that sort of stuff to work with, comparatively to 10 storms. They only have so much to work with. So that's my cookie example <laughs> for, uh, for storms. Might make you hungry, but what kind of cookies? We're talking chocolate chip. Yeah, Lansing is no longer under a warning. Thank you, Will, for the $5 super chat. There is a threat for damaging winds in Columbus. That's the main concern. Isolated large hail and maybe a isolated tornado. Thank you, uh, Jivo, for the 499 Southeast Missouri. I'll talk more about that either later in today's live stream or in a video tonight or tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I think the main concern down there will be hail, though, and wind in, in Missouri. A conditional tornado risk will exist. Thank you, Jay, for the very generous $20 super chat. I gotcha. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, we're past this town name, so we don't have to worry about it now. But thank you for the pronunciation. Let me look up where Sunbury is. And Connor's right now in this storm that had some rotation. It doesn't look as impressive on radar right now. Um, just off to the east of near Waynesfield. Lowering is right in front of us. It's just a little bit through the rain. 
I've got two more supercells directly to my south that are also rotating that I'm keeping in mind. May have to drop south and intercept. Uh, anywhere in Columbus, I think the main concern will be damaging winds, so that would include Sunbury. Maybe some isolated large hail, and again, maybe a, a tornado. Thank you, Nerd, for the 999. Uh, opinion, opinion on Cincinnati. I think the most of the severe weather will stay north of Cincinnati. I, I don't expect anything too substantial there in the Cincinnati area. Um, if you get anything, it'll just be isolated, you know, uh, isolated damaging wind gusts, and that will be about it. Drivers do know that they just, like, floor it. They'll get out of the rain quicker, right? Connor's kind of in the middle of this storm right now. This storm that's that we're looking at on radar is producing some hail right now near Waynesfield. So there's definitely some hail here. But again, I'm not seeing anything too definitive when it comes to rotation. This will be the area that we're looking at, which as of right now is still broad. We have a lot of space in between the bright red and the green colors, which would represent it's a more broad area of circulation. Uh, we'll be approaching Waynesfield and Roundhead over the next several minutes. It's actually approaching a storm chaser also on Radar Omega, which, by the way, if you need a weather app for today or even any other day for severe weather, you can download Radar Omega on your iOS and Android device. That is the weather app we've been using throughout this entire live stream. It um, has a ton of features. It includes live cameras all across the country that you can watch exclusively in the app, in addition to live storm chasers. They have all sorts of live radar feed, like the velocities, for the correlation coefficient. In addition to that, you can use this handy-dandy tracking tool to track out where storms are going and when they will arrive to your location. Uh, you can get watches and warnings inside of the app alerted to your phone. They have computer models and satellite imagery with their subscription model. You can download the app for only $8.99 on iOS and Android with the top link in the description below. It's a fantastic weather app. A lot of you guys have it, and um, I highly recommend it if you need something to keep you ahead of the storms here across the Ohio Valley over the next few hours. Radar Omega is the way to go. Do you have a, another severe thunderstorm warning for Ann Arbor for damaging winds? We also have one for Adrian and Owusu, and as well as Genoa Township and Hamburg. All still looking at damaging winds right now in Michigan. I do not see anything that is rotating to the point where it is a concern right now. So we'll continue to keep our focus for the time being in Ohio, and if anything does develop there in Michigan, we will keep you posted. Also, Canada does, does work... Uh, Canada, oh my god. <laughs> Radar Omega does work in Canada. That's what I was going to say. So if you are in Canada, they do have radar sites up there. We do have a little bit of circulation right now near St. John's. Very weak and broad rotation, but that's what Connor's looking at right now. And we'll go back to him in a second. Do have a new mesoscale discussion that just came out from the Storm Prediction Center? This is a uh, new area for central and eastern Michigan. Damaging wind gusts and isolated large hail threat will persist across eastern Michigan for the next few hours. So this will go all the way pretty much until about 4, 430. So the severe weather threat luckily in Michigan is going to wind down by about 430 or so. So it's really the next couple of hours. And then if you're back over in Ohio, you have all the way probably until about eight o'clock for a severe weather threat. It's definitely an elongated threat here today across Ohio. We are still looking at a broad area of circulation right now here near Waynesfield and Roundhead. That'll be approaching the McGuffey area and Roundhead over the next several minutes. This is uh, Brandon Pukes on Twitter. He's watching my... Well, he's a looks like a truck driver, and he's watching my stream while he's driving. Good times. But I'm helping you stay safe there on the road. Thank you, Biker, for the $5 super chat. You said chocolate chip cookies, so I decide that was worth a donation. Well, I appreciate the $5 super chat. Good old chocolate chip cookies. Sugar cookies are good, too.
Yeah, look at all the lightning on this storm up here. This is the one, again, that Connor's on at the bottom right. There is a ton of lightning that's approaching uh, Kenton and eventually going towards Sandusky, northwest of Columbus. That storm is highly electrified, which at least gives an indication that this is an intensifying storm right now. And then back over west of Cindy, we also have another storm that's beginning to ramp up there, which this one's on track for Belafonte. Belafonte, is that how you say it? Um, that'll be approaching that area. But this storm in particular, it's more on track for Upper Sandusky, Marion, and the Buckris area. And Mansfield down the road as well. Which again, the more significant tornado risk that is, you know, potentially going to happen, or at least where the greatest, I should say, risk of tornadoes will be over the next few hours, would be in this area here, basically. So anywhere just south of Toledo, back through Columbus and Springfield. Right now, there's no storms near Springfield or Columbus. We don't have any storms that are right on track for you, but we would basically be watching for this area back here for storm development. And then that would be something we'd have to watch for down the road in that area. Bell, Fount Bell, Bell Fount Fountain, that's it. Looks It looks fancy. Bella Fonte. <laughs> looks fancy. Bell Fountain. ETA on Kenton? Uh, probably in the next 15 minutes. We can track it out, though. Use the Radar Omega tracking tool. It's moving east at 50 miles per hour, so this is a fast-moving storm. So here's a track on this storm. It'll be in Kenton in about 10 to 15 minutes. And then eventually going towards Blanchard in the same time frame. Kirby in about half an hour. And again, in Ohio, we're talking about Upper Sandusky in about 40 minutes. Marion in about 45 minutes. And then about an hour if you're back over near Martle or Brandywine or Climax, Ohio. Climax, Ohio might be where we have the climax today. We'll see. And again, Connor's kind of where this area of rotation is. It's a very weak area of rotation still, so I don't think we have a whole lot here, but uh, he's basically in the area where if there was a lowering, uh, it would probably be in this vicinity. I have to go north here anyway, right back to the road that we were on, so... That was a strategical error by me. It's just so desperate to get off of that road. You know, I probably shouldn't have. And a friendly reminder, if you do have any photos or videos, you can tweet us on Twitter at MaxVelocityWX. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We'll be keeping you posted with the latest with severe weather coverage throughout today. And um, also like the stream if you've been finding it informative so far. <laughs> Detroit. Thank you for the pronunciation. Wow. This again. That is a rain wall right in front of him right back through this RFD thing. About to drive right into the storm. That's here in Western Ohio. Off that road. What was I doing? Michael, that's correct. Yeah, you, you can get Radar Omega for $8.99 for uh, some of the like the basic features, so like the live radar feed, the velocities, all that sort of stuff. Um, there are some things that you can get with the subscriptions, like computer model data, satellite imagery, that sort of stuff. Uh, if you go to their website, Radar Omega, um, you just look it up on Google, go to their website, uh, they have the list of features with the subscriptions. And somebody was asking about um, Europe. They do have radars in Germany. I do know that. Not sure about other countries. I don't usually look over there. I look like Fuller from Home Alone. So we are now up to Fuller on Home Alone. I also look like Peter Griffin, apparently. And I also look like that guy from The Office, whatever his name is. Dwight. Got three different people. Three different people that I look like. Yeah, so Connor right now is on Route 33. He's going eastbound on this storm. That uh, is, again, entering into a more favorable environment. The uh, storm that's near Sydney, just west of Sydney, is uh, definitely developing into a hail core. I, I don't see any, like, hook or any imminent rotation threat here. But this storm in particular definitely has a little bit more of a hail core developing approaching Sydney in western Ohio. 
So that'll definitely be a storm to watch. And once again, if you are in the Lansing area, there was a ton of hail uh, reported there. At least quarter to half dollar sized hail was reported in that area. For those in Lansing, did anybody actually see hail? Or do you guys stay dry? I know the downtown area didn't, but like just south of there, it definitely did. Severe Thunderstorm Watch has just been canceled, by the way, for Lansing and Mount Pleasant. And we are still watching this area of storms that is producing damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. Uh, once again, if you are in a mobile home today, you need to make sure that you have an alternate plan to go to a sturdy structure. Uh, because, again, we do have a threat for damaging winds here across eastern Ohio or, or eastern um, Michigan. And this right here is a really high core area of wind that is occurring right now near Handy Township, approaching Genoa Township. We uh, use the magnifying glass you can see here that the velocities right now are around 50 to 60 miles per hour so the winds are definitely high here we definitely have some damaging winds right now that are going to be moving toward brighton township route 23 approaching hamburg and the genoa township area over the next several minutes And once again, we got multiple storms in Ohio. This is the one we've been watching the closest for, which is also the storm that currently Connor Croft is on at the bottom right of your screen. He, this is a severe thunderstorm. It's not a tornado warning, but um, it has had some broad rotation here for quite some time. So we'll continue to keep a close eye on that. This is in Fastoria, Ohio, which this is a virtual rail fan camera. There is a storm that looks to be approaching here in Fastoria. We got some rain falling. Storm coming into the area there on virtual rail fan. Looks like somebody's car is getting towed as well. Unfortunate. We actually got a police officer there. Look at that. Crazy stuff. <laughs> it's in Fastoria, Ohio. Um, Elizabeth, there is a chance... Once again, main concerns, just damaging winds, isolated large hail, maybe an isolated tornado. Those are the main concerns for today. Thank you, Bob, for becoming a Maximum Velocity member. I do appreciate that, and welcome to the Velocities. Also, thank you, Jay, for the $5 Super Chat. Radar Omega saved my daughter and I. We drove up into a tornado-warned area and didn't know until we pulled up the app. We navigated us out of the uh, NATO, and the NATO did drop where we, we would have been. That's crazy. That's actually a crazy story. I'm glad you stayed safe. That's awesome that... Radar Omega was able to help you out in that way. That's always why you should stay weather aware. It's a perfect example of it. And I always say that. I always say the term weather aware because, it, I mean, it's, you know, it's true. You, know, you need to make sure that you're always watching the weather closely. It's a big part of your life because, you know, it's what's happening outside. It's when you go from your house to Bucky's or your house to, to Walmart or whatever it is. Like, you know, weather could always play a factor. Weather plays a factor every day. But obviously, severe weather is the one thing that most people are concerned about. Um, you know, temperatures and stuff, obviously something that you dress up for. So weather does play a pretty big factor in everything. Somebody's getting towed there in, in Fastoria, and there's a police officer there, so I'm, I'm assuming it might have not been a good thing. Oh, actually, uh, I'm looking back at the Virtual Rail Fan. <laughs> you, you can go back in time on Virtual Rail Fan. Um, if we go back to a little while ago, this car, I, I'm guessing that this car is just, like, not supposed to be there or something. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So if you're if you're wondering, <coughs> I was thinking we we're watching live PD for, there for a second, watching somebody get pulled over and get arrested, but I guess not. Local media reporting rotation near Toledo. Uh, look, we are in between four radar sites so i don't know what we're actually going to see here on radar that will be helpful i'm not i'm not seeing much but i wouldn't rule out that there's at least some rotation there near perrysburg that would be like the only spot that i think if there is rotation that would be in <clears throat> <laughs> uh, 
Thank you, uh, Vigil, for the $5 super chat. I did not want to see my hometown of Astoria in this live stream. <laughs> I found where Astoria even is. I think it's near Toledo, isn't it? South of Toledo. Yeah, storms are approaching. We, we might get a, a live view of that here soon. This is Connor Croft on the storm that's near uh, Russell's Point, Ohio. That's further south. This is the one that's had some broad rotation for some time. Definitely an impressive looking storm. Around that corner there. Rotation's still very broad on radar, but. Oh, uh, this guy's going freaking 50, so I gotta pass him now. Yeah, that's a storm to watch for there. And that's back over near Kenton, um, Ohio now. <coughs> Impressive storm, though. The other one that's going towards Sydney, too. Sydney, Ohio. Got a little interesting kind of hook here. Got a hail core that's going to be approaching Sydney. Wouldn't roll out some hail upwards of quarter to half dollar sized hail. And the hail is actually now being picked up by the correlation coefficient. So we definitely got hail here. Hail core is definitely here, producing some in quarter half dollar sized hail right now. Moving east. Going to be approaching Sydney. The graph and Bella Fountain will also be in the track. Or Bell Fountain will also be in the track of this over the next few minutes. It's probably still a good half an hour away from Bell Fountain, but if you are in that area, definitely stay vigilant because that storm will be the one that's coming toward your location. And if you are able to, make sure that you are protecting your vehicle because this particular storm is making an approach toward that area. We have a new severe thunderstorm warning for Toledo, Ohio. That is for damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. They don't have a tornado possible label on that storm. And all storms right now across the board, we do have seven severe thunderstorm warnings. None of them right now have a tornado possible label. <clears throat> so that's at least good news for now. No tornado possible labels. With that being said, there are still multiple storms that do have at least broad rotation. Uh, I would be watching really these, this this cluster of storms in particular is the area that I would be watching for the closest, especially if you're closer to Columbus or, um, you know, Sandusky, Marysville, Delaware, all those areas here just to the east. I would definitely be mindful of these storms. I think these ones, again, really have the greatest chance of maybe rotating and producing a tornado down the road um, as they do continue to move eastbound. <coughs> Do you know of anything that you could do possibly do in the weather field without a degree? Um, broadcast meteorology. That's one thing that you don't need a degree for. Uh, people think you do. And you, uh, actually, a lot of meteorologists on TV aren't actually meteorologists. I'd say there's, uh, you know, I, I think there's somewhere around like 40 or 50 percent that are actually aren't meteorologists on TV. With that said, um, you need to have good communication skills and stuff like that. Like you actually have to have some level of skill that can actually like, you know, propel your presentation. Because if you don't have, if you're just like, uh, it's raining, uh, it's sunny, like, I mean, like that sort of thing, like, you're just not going to get anywhere in that space. But like, if you, if you have those kind of skills and you can kind of grow it up, then you really don't need a degree for that. The technical stuff you do need, a, you usually do need a degree for. A lot of them don't have meteorology degrees. Most times it's journalism. Yeah, it really varies. It depends a lot on, it depends on a lot of things, but, but I mean, you can go on TV without a degree. There was a funnel photographed in Eaton Rapids about an hour ago. Yeah, that storm that was in Eaton Rapids had the strongest rotation then. Uh, if you see that photo on Twitter, at me on it, if it's on Twitter. I'll, I'll at least retweet it on um, on Twitter. We do have some photos on our Twitter page, at MaxVelocityWX. And if you do have any photos that you've taken, you can feel free to tweet me on Twitter, at MaxVelocityWX. Uh, we do have some messy storms right now going across western Ohio. Once again, all these storms are capable of damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour and quarter-sized hail. And we've just hit 3 o'clock, which means... We are approaching rush hour soon. 
And also, we are starting to approach probably the greatest tornado threat in this entire event, probably within the next hour or two. Uh, probably closer to 5 o'clock, I would say, is when we'll have that peak tornado risk. And that'll probably be across this area in here once the storms move closer to Columbus and Cleveland. With that being said, an isolated tornado or two are still the main concerns. So we're not talking again about a widespread tornado outbreak today, but there is still a chance here for a couple of tornadoes. We do have seven severe thunderstorm warnings, again, stretching all the way from Michigan back into Ohio. Still got a plenty of storms up here west of Detroit that are severe. None of these are producing tornadoes, but they are producing damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. Have some storms approaching Flint. Got some storms approaching uh, Genoa Township. Again, this is where the highest wind core is right now. This could be producing damaging winds upwards of 60 to 65 miles per hour. Near Heartland Township, Tyrone Township, and the Osceola Township. Is anybody in either of these townships? Have you guys seen anything or heard anything when it comes to the wind? I am curious because it does look like this area has the strongest area of winds, which will again be approaching Route 23 just north of Interstate 96 here in southeast Michigan. I was Mentor, Ohio looking later today. Um, that's in the Cleveland area. Uh, I'll do a future radar here in a second since we're in between a lot of this activity. I don't have any tornado warnings right now. Let's go to the future radar. Kind of time it out. So we'll go to the latest HRRR model run that we have, which is about an hour ago. So this is what the storms will look like at about four. <clears throat> I do think they'll be a bit further to the east than this, but at least a general perspective. They'll be basically around Columbus and Mansfield. Once we get closer to five o'clock, those storms will be moving towards Mansfield near Interstate 8090 and approaching Cleveland uh, around six o'clock. Now, so again, the peak of this tornado risk will probably fall around five to six, somewhere in this area, um, not this far to the east, but basically in this area, uh, this will probably be where we do end up having the peak of the tornado risk, which again, just means maybe a tornado or two around that time frame somewhere in this area by around six o'clock the storms are approaching cleveland and as well back through interstate 70 near lancaster the main concern again will be the threat of damaging winds and isolated large hail but a tornado or two cannot be ruled out this is by seven o'clock so storms will be moving into the eastern half of the state near youngstown back through near wheeling and also near canton and just west of pittsburgh by eight the storms are moving into pittsburgh and by about nine o'clock these storms start to weaken with mainly a damaging wind risk by about nine o'clock tonight um, I do think, again, the greatest concern right now is going to be anything from about now up until about 7. I think anything after 7 becomes a lot less concerning when it comes to severe weather. Uh, even though you are under the slight risk in western Pennsylvania, I just think naturally these storms will be a bit weaker once daylight heating does end. And again, that slight risk for severe weather today does go into western Pennsylvania and a small sliver there of northern West Virginia. Um, also, I just want to throw this out there. Tomorrow, we do have an enhanced risk for severe weather across parts of southern Illinois, western Kentucky, and northwest Tennessee. We may go live for this. I'm not 100% sure. I'm trying not to, but if we have to, we might have to. Uh, that also will extend all the way back into the DFW Metroplex. So we will see about that. The main concern tomorrow is damaging winds and hail, and there is a conditional tornado risk across parts of southern Illinois. So that'll be something to watch for for tomorrow as well. But once again, we are planning on being live today, probably all the way through about six or seven. If needed, we will go later than that. So this will be a pretty lengthy live stream. We're already almost three hours in, so definitely a good amount of streaming to come. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below and we'll be keeping you posted with the latest as these storms do continue to evolve. As of right now, we do have a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings, but again, no tornado warnings that are active. That could always change, though. All storms right now are behaving themselves when it comes to the rotation, but once again, that could always change. I lost all my plant starters in the last windstorm last week. Greenhouse blew over. 
and we were out of town good thing i didn't redo them yet yeah good thing you didn't do it yet because you know we're getting more damaging wins right now here's connor by the way on that storm near russell's point got a nice cloud base out there in the distance you'll kind of see it a little bit Thank you, Con. Appreciate it. Still getting comments about my haircut, and it happened about a week ago. <laughs> Still getting comments about it. I do appreciate it, though. I do enjoy it. Yeah, and Connor right now is near Russell's Point, Ohio. That is um, not far from Sydney, just southwest of Kenton right now. Just tune in. We're going back south again towards Sydney. To yeah, that's the store right there, bottom right of your screen that he's going toward. Supercell. <coughs> oh, Buck, 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 Bucky Russ, is that how you say it? You still probably got about an hour until storms arrive to your location. And again, main concern is damaging winds and isolated large hail. Thank you, uh, Campbell, for the generous 499 super sticker. Appreciate that. Thank you. Let's just hope Biosyrus does not get a warning, because I'm not going to be able to pronounce that <laughs> if that happens. Yeah, we do have a tornado watch that is in effect again until 7 p.m. tonight. That includes a large chunk of central and western Ohio. The Storm Prediction Center did mention that a new tornado watch may be needed downstream, which would essentially include anywhere in this area here. Uh, this is still uncertain, but there may be a tornado watch somewhere in here as we get closer to uh, probably 4 to 5 o'clock. As long as there is some sort of tornado risk going on in here, I would assume that they're going to issue a new watch there. Uh, probably a tornado watch as long as trends continue in the direction of there being a couple of tornadoes we do have some damaging wind storms that are going to be approaching the detroit suburbs in the next few minutes this is a live camera view out of detroit michigan on the radar omega cyclone port right now so pretty ominous skies we're looking northbound uh, nothing crazy yet storms are still a good solid 20 30 miles west of detroit about 30 miles west of detroit still so uh, not too close right now. So far, the storms in Michigan have mostly been considered wind threats. With that said, I'm not ruling out a brief tornado out of one of these storms. We do have at least some very weak rotation in a couple of spots, but nothing super concerning as of yet. But if we get any like little notch in this line of storms, it's definitely possible that we do get an isolated tornado. I'm kind of seeing one right here that's west of Tyler, or Highland Township, just a small one that might be trying to develop. That, threat, that, that little threat there might materialize a little bit more as these storms move further east, closer to areas north of Detroit. So we'll, we'll be watching that threat closely. But so far, the only tornado warning that we've had so far today was the one that was in the Lansing area. So we'll see if anything evolves though out of that storm activity. Here's another live cam view on Radar Omega. This is a cyclone port near Dayton, Ohio. And plenty of clouds out there. We do have a little storm developing just to the north of that live cam near Middletown, south of Dayton. Not really materializing, but that is a small little cell that is at least trying to develop there. But the most intense storms that we have right now are primarily here near Kenton and Sydney. And we also have one kind of in between here near the Bell, or the Bell Fountain. <laughs> Pronunciation with the two E's makes it crazy. Bell Fountain um, near Route 33. That storm is not currently severe, but it is producing plenty of lightning. Yeah, the, uh, Connor Croft right now is going toward this storm near Sydney that does have at least maybe some sort of upper level rotation somewhere maybe in that cloud base. But no imminent tornado threat with this one. But it is going to be something to watch for as it continues to move eastbound towards Bell Fountain over the next several minutes. 
<clears throat> Thank you, Blossom, for the $1. Thank you to um, Jill for the generous $9.99. I appreciate that. Also, thank you, Blossom, again, for the $2 super chat. Is Detroit area in a big risk for a tornado? I'm not expecting really much of a tornado risk there. Uh, if we get any tornadoes, they'll probably be on the brief side of things with that line of storms that's ongoing up that direction. So I think overall that concern for tornadoes in southeast Michigan, it, it's still low. It's not like zero, but it, it's low overall. It's Bella Fountain. B Bella Fontaine? I've gotten so many different pronunciations for this. <laughs> They actually just canceled the uh, severe thunderstorm warning for Sydney. Not really seen a whole lot on radar anyway. The uh, hail core was more impressive near Newport in Russia. But overall, it's not looking nearly as impressive at this point. The storm that's near Kenton has really been probably one of the more impressive supercells that we've had. That one's going to be approaching Upper Sandusky near Route 23, approaching Marion as well. Belle Fontaine. Okay, we'll hopefully be able to go with that. Here's Connor Croft in that storm near Bell Center, Ohio. Connor's gonna pull over and I think get a better view of this. Yeah, this one. He might, he might wait for the storm. This is near Russell's Point. It could, it's a pretty storm, but it just doesn't look like a tornado party. So let me get my make sure my roads are right real quick to that south storm. We're not, don't have to really rush too much to that it. That storm's at the bottom right of your screen. So make sure my roads are right. Oh, sorry. Thank you, GG, for the 199. Uh, I, I already, I already said, I already answered that. And you're still, you're still a good 30 to 45 minutes from that storm from earlier. And the main concern is damaging winds. Yeah, there's not much rotation on any of these right now. Yeah, you're still, you're still a good 30 to 45 minutes from any storms. Main concern again: isolated hail and wind. Just north of Columbus, will end up being the ones. Sorry, hit my mic. Look at chat real quick. I the severe thunderstorm warning time. now in Kenton has also been canceled. So we are actually kind of, we're now back down to five warnings. The majority of them are now in Michigan. My mom, Daniel, CS, congrats on quitting drinking. Kevin, Jim, uh, Steve, B. Gross. What's up, guys? Rob, Lady J. What's up, guys? Welcome in. Happy to have you guys <laughs> along for this ride. 2,000 watts, the only 1.4 thousand likes. Got a little bit of rotation near Fenton, Michigan. It's not much, but it is a little bit. Uh, again, we are watching for a slightly more elevated tornado risk now in southeast Michigan. And it's a low risk, but the uh, tornado threat is just slightly higher than what it was back out to the west in this area. Um, out of this line of storms that's developing, we do have a discrete little storm that's developed just south of Highland Township, but it is not really rotating right now. So this will be an area to watch for if you're in eastern Michigan, including Detroit suburbs and also Detroit. Again, very it's a low threat. Don't panic, but uh, just stay weather aware. Because we might end up getting an isolated tornado out of this activity. As this does continue to move um, into the Detroit suburbs. But a lot of this is definitely damaging winds, but we do have a couple of spots of maybe some weak rotation that we'll have to watch for closely. I think that's probably the best move. And Connor right now is in Russell's point. Keep everything in play. On a storm that is producing potentially some small yes, hail and gusty know. winds. Got a beautiful shelf cloud right there. Storm to my north. My favorite kind of cloud. Doing anything right now. So I think I'm just going to go east and keep all of this in play. I think that's the best option. Just in case this one to the north. How is Finley, down. Ohio? South looks like they're struggling right now, so... Right now, the play is just... Um, you're looking yeah, at just like some gusty take, winds so like at, at, at anything. The storms that are moving through your area have already moved through. So your severe weather threat will be going down. Look at something and like, that's it. That's the storm. That's the target. Also, thank you, Scott, for becoming a minimum, minimum velocity member. I do appreciate that. And welcome to the velocities. I think anywhere for Ohio at this point is kind of in a more elevated tornado risk now. So it literally anywhere in Ohio, other than like the very far southern part of the state, or if you've already gotten hit by storms up here, uh, I think your tornado risk at this point is equal to anybody else's. So no matter where you are, again, it's a low threat. 
and again maybe an isolated tornado or two between now and seven or eight o'clock but uh, i don't think there's really a specific area here that has the greatest or the smallest tornado risk other than the two areas i outlined which are uh pretty much with a very near zero tornado risk at this point uh this area definitely done because there's no storms here anymore but back down near cincinnati georgetown portsmouth i think if you see anything down there it would be primarily just an isolated damaging wind event and that's if storms fire up down that direction, which that still does remain a bit more uncertain right now. Yeah, we have no severe thunderstorm warnings anymore in Ohio, aside from Toledo. And we have two right now just southwest of Detroit. So we are in a bit of a lull right now with the severe weather. Uh, but we are going to have to watch this area of storms that's near uh, Fenton, south of Flint, Michigan. This is an area that I would not rule out an isolated tornado risk if any of these storms are able to come together in this line of storms just tweeted you something okay i'll check it out yeah, if you guys do have any photos or videos you can tweet me on twitter at max velocity wx this is from brandon Brandon Lewis. On Twitter. This is from earlier. Maybe a little funnel trying to develop. It looks mostly like Scud. But this is, this is back over in um, Indian Lake. Going towards Kent in Ohio about 15 minutes ago. There's a little bit of something there earlier. It looks more to me like Scud, honestly, but maybe some, maybe a little bit of rotation in there. I'm not seeing a whole lot of rotation on this, but there's a little bit. Yeah, there might have been a little brief funnel there. It definitely didn't last very long. It looked like a lot of Scud clad there. That was, again, from Brandon Lewis on Twitter. It's an SCL, scary looking cloud. Yeah, I, I mean, it's more of, I think it was more scud. Scud clouds are just rough shaped clouds that look scary, basically. <laughs> That's basically what it is. It, 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 it's very m commonly mistaken for funnel clouds, like very commonly. And, you know, a funnel cloud usually is a lot more like, you know, this, where it's not like rough. And then a, a scud cloud kind of sometimes looks kind of like this, almost. It, it just looks rougher in shape and nature. So that was more likely than not just Scud Cloud, but I'm not ruling out that there might have been a little bit of rotation there. Either way, we didn't have a tornado, which is good. Got a weak pocket of rotation right now near Lake Fenton. It's a little weak area there. It's west of Ortonville. Again, nothing I'm seeing too concerning of right now, but there's a little pocket there. I'll be approaching Interstate 75 here in eastern Michigan over the next few minutes. Yeah, usually with the funnel cloud, you see spin. There was a little bit of spin there, it looked like, but it wasn't much. To Connor here for a second. I'm continuing to investigate if we have any pockets of rotation right now in, in either Ohio or Michigan. I have to say that this is interesting right here. This is um this is near Ida. It's be approaching Trenton eventually in Monroe. We do have a pretty strong pocket of winds right now. That's near the Raisinville Township, approaching the Frenchtown Charter Township, going towards Interstate 75. So it is an interesting area. Uh, that's definitely damaging winds. There is a, maybe a little bit of very broad circulation. It's not much. I don't think it's that concerning, but uh, this will be an area that we are watching for, for perhaps an isolated tornado risk to develop. So this will be one of those spots they'll have to watch um, a little bit more closely here over the next little while in case that tries to develop to, into anything. 
And then once again, further north, we've had a couple of pockets of rotation on this line of storms, but it has not been anything that has been substantial at this point. Nothing that I'm seeing that is indicating some sort of significant tornado threat developing, but we could also, again, get an isolated brief tornado uh, with any of these storms that are right along the line of storms here. But it's, it's a relatively low risk. I think a lot of the storms right now in eastern Michigan have been kind of struggling to come together and try to produce like a tornado embedded in the line of storms that we have. But um, that's what I'm thinking right now. I think mainly the damaging wind risk would be the main concern there. And then right now in Ohio, we have multiple storms ongoing. And once again, all these storms mostly are strong at this point. Uh, I would say the one, though, that's near Bradford and Covington might be producing some quarter-sized hail. Not seeing really a whole lot of rotation here, but there's at least going to be some hail there with this particular storm as it does continue to move towards the Piqua area near Interstate 75 in western Ohio. So that's a new storm that is developing right now. And then again, Connor's on in the uh, Bell Center, Ohio area, so he's a little bit further up to the north near Russell's Point. Wow, they went enhanced for us tomorrow. Which is a strong storm. Can't believe they went enhanced. But yeah, not severe as of right now. Across southern Illinois. Uh, if you tweeted me something, I don't think I saw it. But you have to mention me on it, because I don't see it. <laughs> Misty said, Every time I listen to you live, my husband thinks I'm watching baseball. You have a great announcer's voice. Thank you. We have the storm going into left field. And it's a home run. <laughs> All right, we do have a, a new severe thunderstorm warning on the storm that I was just talking about uh, in Piqua and Troy for quarter-sized hail and 60 mile per hour damaging winds. This will eventually be approaching West Liberty. The storms that were going towards Bell, Bella Fontaine are uh, weakening overall. These are just strong thunderstorms, not severe. So once again, strengthening storm right now near Piqua and Interstate 75 near Troy. So quarter-sized hail, 60 mile per hour damaging winds again are the main concern. Not really any rotation on this right now, but we'll continue to monitor this storm and see if it does try to rotate. Looks awfully similar to the storm we had in Sydney a few minutes ago. Uh, maybe even a little bit more intense. The hail core is definitely growing here. That black area there would be representing some hail. This is a smooth out feature. So again, you can see that hail... Definitely some significant hail there falling near Covington. Thank you, Mystic, for becoming a 20-month minimum velocity member. Tornado warning at my school in Lansing is pretty crazy. Yeah, I, I gotta say, you know, that tornado warning, there was definitely a shot that it would produce a tornado. But the rotation weakened pretty quickly after it got past Eaton uh, Rapids. So, luckily, it did not turn into anything like significant or substantial. But that definitely had a shot at producing a tornado. By the way, correlation coefficient is going crazy here with the threat of hail. So lots of hail potentially falling right now in Covington, Ohio. So it's definitely a pretty significant hail storm. The black area and the white area that you're seeing here on reflectivity, that is indicating some large hail that is falling. I would not rule out that the hail is a little bit larger than quarters. I would not rule out it's closer to like ping pong ball sized hail right now as the storm is intensifying right now uh, also we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning near marion upper sandusky and also near the the buck rias area <laughs> we're not gonna be able to pronounce that uh this is mainly for the threat of quarter sized hail and 60 mile per hour damaging winds once again we have another hail core just northeast of kenton right now that is again tracking to the east so we'll continue to watch that storm pretty closely and then back up in Michigan, we have plenty of storms that are ongoing right now, but most of these are not severe. The only ones that are severe are west of Detroit, with damaging winds as the main concern. And that's what we're looking at right now. I don't see any sort of rotation right now that's concerning, so nothing too crazy as of right now. Yeah, the storm has a hook, but it's, it's not really rotating. Definitely an interesting looking storm, though. Hey, uh, Connor's about to see a shelf cloud. Look at this. Shush! Shelf cloud. Favor cloud. Russell's point. 
gonna hit across this whole area. So I don't, I don't really know what's gonna happen there, but hopefully they're okay. I, I gotta be honest with you, this storm on radar looks pretty impressive. I don't think it's an imminent tornado risk because we don't really have any rotation, but um, you know, if it, if it you know gets enough of an inflow, we might get a tornado out of this down the road. We'll have to wait and see. This one's again near um, Farrington, Ohio, near Interstate 75, near the Piqua area. Look at that blue! Look at those blues! Thank you, Douglas, by the way, for the very generous 1999 super chat. Appreciate your generosity. Thank you, Douglas. What's the cape? Are you talking about like the actual values or are you wondering what cape actually means? Cape is essentially look it's essentially putting gasoline into a vehicle, but in this sense we're talking about severe storms. So it's basically it's basically like the fuel for severe weather. <coughs> Just an analogy, but that's essentially what it is. The values um, I'll check. I don't, I don't think they're super high today. But since we're so close to the low pressure system and the uh, the the veering profiles are pretty impressive. That was really the main reason why today had a bit more of a tornado risk. I'm checking one second. I don't think they're super high right now, but we'll check. Yeah, they're, they're right now around 1,000 joules per kilogram, so it's, it's nothing substantial. Uh, we had much higher values a few days ago. But yeah, it's not it's not substantial today. With that being said, you really don't need instability for there being severe weather. It's just one of the ingredients that can go into severe weather. All right, this storm has been upgraded now to ping pong ball sized tail uh, near Piqua. So this storm is beginning to intensify. It's going towards Fletcher, Millerstown, Christiansburg, and Piqua with the threat of up to ping pong ball sized hail. Again, moving eastbound right now. Then Connor's right out on a storm that is also uh, pretty strong. I don't believe that one's severe. That's near Russell's Point right now in Ohio. So a bit further north. But once again, this storm near Covington and Piqua producing now ping pong ball sized tail. And we're not talking about those little soft ping pong balls that you play with, you know, when you're playing ping pong on a table. This is ice stones that are falling out of the sky at the size of ice or at the size of ping pong balls. So make sure again to stay away from windows if you're in this area near Piqua, Ohio. In addition to that, if you're out in front of the storm, you should definitely protect your vehicle just in case you do experience some hail in your location because that could damage your vehicle. Thank you, Tanya, for becoming a minimum velocity member. I appreciate that and welcome to the Velocities. Should I calm down? You should not be panicking. Again, this is not a big deal. Trust me, it's a, it's a low threat of severe weather. The only thing that you need to make sure that you are doing is just staying weather aware. There's, there's nothing else to it. There's no reason to panic. This is not a tornado outbreak. We are not currently witnessing the great migration of flying trampolines of 2024. That's not happened yet. But with that being said, again, there's, there's no reason to panic. None at all. <laughs> You should stay weather aware, as I said, because there is still a chance for an isolated tornado or two, but it's not a tornado outbreak. From what I've seen so far today, we're not on track for a tornado outbreak. There was a, was a chance that we had if storms really got going, but so far the storm convection has been pretty messy. We haven't had a whole lot of discrete cellular activity, which is good news so far. Obviously, that could always change, but right now a lot of the activity is kind of clustered together. We have a little bit of broad rotation <clears throat> near Bell Center. So a little bit of rotation developing here. Um, keep that in mind. If you're north of Bellefontaine, if you're near um, Marion or Upper Sandusky, I would keep a close eye on this storm. There's at least some rotation beginning to develop on this storm near Kenton.
And man, this storm is looking crazy right now. We have a scatter spike on this storm near Piqua. Piqua, Ohio. Stay away from windows. We got a huge hail core here. Yeah, look at this. We got a scatter spike developing. We haven't seen one of those yet today. That scatter spike indicates some pretty significant hail that's falling with the storm right now. That white right there, that is all significant hail. That's possibly golf ball sized hail. Maybe even some Easter egg sized hail that's falling out of the sky right now. That is uh, definitely an impressive looking storm right now. That's again near Piqua going towards Fletcher and Millerstown. Is anybody in Piqua right now? Are you guys seeing any hail? That is an impressive storm though. We have a severe thunderstorm warning now in Canada, just south of Detroit, by the way. Any concern will be damaging winds. I'm not seeing any rotation right now in um, Michigan, but we do have possibly a water spout trying to develop. <laughs> they just issued a special marine warning as we're talking about it. Uh, possibly a water spout developing north of Port Clinton. So if you know any fish there in Lake Erie, make sure to let them know. Uh, there is a potential for a water spout. Yeah, I, I got I, I got two storms right now that I'm concerned about. So the one that's back up near Kenton, uh, we are beginning to get some more rotation on this one. This is going to be something to watch for as it moves towards Marion. All right, so if you are in these areas, stay vigilant. Again, it's not an imminent concern, but it is something we'll have to watch for during the long term. And the Piqua storm, that's the one that is producing some significant hail right now. Uh, again, we are talking the potential on this storm for upwards of golf ball to Easter egg sized tail falling right now in Piqua, which is up to two inches in diameter. This is definitely a more intense supercell that has developed here in southwestern Ohio. With that said, it is not rotating. It is not a tornado risk right now, but it is a pretty significant hailstorm that will be making its approach towards Urbana and West Liberty here pretty soon. Hailing heavily in Piqua from a couple or from somebody in chat. If you do guys, if you guys get any photos or videos, you can tweet me on Twitter at MaxVelocityWX, but make sure if you're doing that, you're doing it safely. <clears throat> yeah, there's definitely some significant hail right now in Piqua. I'm getting a report of half dollar sized hail and half inch sized hail in the Piqua area. The correlation coefficient scattered northwest of the hail is wild. Wow, yeah, that, that scatter spike is crazy on the correlation coefficient. Which again, that scatter spike is essentially representing the significance of the hail that is falling right now near Piqua and um, Lockington. We should have a new radar scan here in a second, but this is definitely pretty significant. This is the close-up radar site, which again, we're not seeing any rotation, but we are seeing some significant hail here. Yeah, there's your latest scan. Snifkin Hail Corps right now on the south side of Piqua, Ohio. That is going to be going through Farmington and Midway over the next few minutes. What was my smoothness set to? Uh, it's the lowest smoothness that you can go. This is the rough shape. I'm keeping it smooth for hail, and then for any rotation, we'll go rough. Here's the latest radar scan. Uh, let's go to correlation coefficient here. Yeah, so again, hail right now moving through Piqua, Ohio. So lots of hail. Um, yeah, not really rotating much. I'm not super concerned right now about a tornado out of this storm. I'm more concerned, again, about the hail threat that's developing there. And then further up here to the north, this doesn't look pretty right now. Um, pretty broad, but large area of circulation here near Mount Victory. It's just south of Kenton, west of Marion. So we'll have to watch this storm closely. Again, this is a broad area of rotation. And Connor is also just saying that on his stream. And I just spilt water. Fantastic. But once again, a broad area of circulation developing just west of LaRue and Marion. All right, we're good. Just put water on my desk. Third time in the last three days. They have issued a new severe thunderstorm warning here for damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour and quarter-sized hail. They did not issue a tornado possible on this, but that doesn't necessarily mean we won't see a tornado here. 
Uh, it's still a very broad area of rotation, but obviously the velocities on radar here are quite strong going away from the radar. And I'm hearing possible wall cloud on this storm that is near Mount Victory. Connor's like on the storm. Let me see where he's at. He's close to it. Yeah, he, he should be relative. He's not far from this, so um, if there is a wall cloud or something, we probably will have a view of this here in a few minutes. It's a large and broad area of circulation. <clears throat> Which, once again, the areas that are in the track of this are uh, Marion, Ohio, near Upper Sandusky. Bucky's, and then um, <laughs> Mansfield will also be in the track of this. And then eventually going towards uh, Lexington as well. Those will be the areas in the track of this particular storm. That right there, a pretty broad but large area, and even strong area, of really, of, of velocities. Definitely could produce a tornado down the road. Here's the latest scan. Still broad area of rotation. We're definitely going to watch that closely. And then back down near Piqua. Uh, we still have a pretty large hail core here. Again, ping pong to golf ball sized hail possible near Fletcher. Just east of Interstate 75. Again, this storm is not tornadic as of right now, but it is producing some hail. Yeah, this is... The radar hasn't updated locally in seven minutes, but the, uh, the radar a little bit further away has updated recently, and we definitely have a hail core here. Um, kind of investigate this here. Might be contamination. Yeah. It's a little bit of at least broad rotation here near Fletcher. There's a little bit of rotation near Fletcher. We'll watch it closely. And yeah, that's near uh, Piqua, Ohio. It's going to be moving towards uh, Urbana, which Urbana had a tornado, I think, last month, beginning of the month. So they've already been hit by tornadoes in the past. Hopefully that doesn't happen there. But again, broad rotation doesn't mean anything crazy is about to happen, but it does mean that we are watching at least for some rotation that could produce a low tornado risk. I would really be watching this storm closely, though. Um, if you're near Marion and Clarendon, the storm's going to be on track for you here. Large and broad area of circulation there. So we'll zoom out a little bit here. We're basically watching this and this. So near Piqua and Kenton. The Kenton one is a bit more of a rotation area. The Piqua area is more of a hail threat that does have a little bit of rotation. And a lot of lightning, by the way. So there's a frequent amount of lightning with these storms as of now. Thank you, Martin, for the $5 super chat. How is... I don't even know how to pronounce that name, but I will look. It's near... Cleveland. Uh, you still have a couple of... You at least have two to three hours until you see storms. Cleveland's not going to see storms until closer to six or seven. The main concern there, again, being damaging winds, isolated large hail, and maybe a brief tornado threat. The latest radar scan is going to be coming in here in a second. And this area of rotation is still broad, but it is a large area of circulation. And once again, Connor Croft, bottom right of your screen, he is going to be relatively close to this over the next few minutes. And for some reason... There we go. I say he was kind of running off the screen there. Yeah, it's still a broad area of circulation. I'm not seeing anything super concerning here right now, but uh, if it does end up developing down the road again, Marion and Claridon will be in the track of that. And then the storm that is currently near Fletcher is starting to lose its hail core a little bit, so not nearly as concerning for the hail core. But we have another area of circulation there near Fletcher and Conover, approaching St. Paris in Millerstown over the next several minutes. So that is another area of at least ro broad rotation that we're looking at here in Ohio. So we have two different storms right now that are at least rotating to some extent. We got the one near Kenton, we got the other one down here near Sandusky. Or sorry, not Sandusky, near Sydney, just south of Sydney. But Sandusky, you're also in the track of that storm up to the north that is producing a little bit of hail and wind, and a lot of lightning as well. Thank you, Lucky, for the 499. Columbus, Ohio, you are not under any tornado warnings, and you are under no warnings at all. Um, the storms are still a good hour out from you. All right, 
new radar scan just came in and still got a broad area of circulation near La Roe. It doesn't look super concerning as of yet. Uh, again, this has been a larger area of circulation that we've been watching for several minutes now, but I'm not seeing any tightening yet. It's been actually broadening out a little bit more here over the last few minutes. I would still be watching the storm closely if you are near a Piqua. And once again, this is right now moving to the east-northeast. The short, the, the short span radar site here doesn't really show that rotation that the other radar site shows. Which is interesting. See that right there that we're looking at. It's in the position where a typical area of rotation would be. The storm has been producing hail for the record, but the hail threat on this storm was significant at one point. It looks like it's dying down a little bit. Um, northwest of Springfield, Ohio. So the hail threat, a little bit lower near Fletcher. But the rotation has increased a little bit near Fletcher. So kind of a balancing act right now when it comes to the severe storm. Half inch hail in Fletcher. Thank you for the report. Sirens in Detroit. Uh, if there are any sirens, it's for a severe storm. There's no tornado warnings right now. Um, they are under a severe thunderstorm warning. We actually have a live cam on, on Radar Omega here. We'll see what the storm looks like. Yeah, they're actually, I think we're looking out to the lake. I know we're looking like south. So the storm, if there, the, the storm here would be over here to the right. I don't, I don't really see anything right now, but this is currently located um, near Detroit. If you're in Detroit, the main concern right now is damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. No tornado risk on this storm right now. Not expecting a, um, Really a significant tornado risk, at least. We have a small area of broad rotation northwest of Dearborn that's just developing. Now look at that right there. But once again, super small area. Further north, Franklin. Let's check this out. It's pretty far off from the storm, but the velocities are two minutes ahead. So uh, the so there is a little bit of rotation there near West Bloomfield as well. It's broad rotation. And further north, I'm not seeing much. But yeah, we have a couple pockets of like broad rotation. We got one small one northwest of Detroit. We got another one that is just northwest of Springfield. And again, the reflectivity is two minutes behind, so it's it looks like it's completely off, but it's not. Um, but yeah, we have two little areas of rotation right now north of Detroit. Again, we are still monitoring the threat of a potential tornado threat, at least near Mount Victory, uh, approaching La Rue, Ohio. <clears throat> that is a pretty large, again, storm that has been developing that at least has some broad rotation. But if it does materialize and matures, we could get a tornado out of that. This is uh, from Todd out of Piqua, Ohio. This is the hailstorm that we're talking about that was going through this area. And so this storm was warned for ping pong ball size tail. It was definitely producing hail. Um, it also had at least a little bit of rotation on radar. So that's a lot of just scary looking clouds by the looks of it. But that storm at one point at least was producing some broad rotation. I think it still is rotating a little bit on radar. Let's go back to that real quick. This is... Um, near Piqua, just east of Piqua. The rotation looks like it's weaker now, but there is at least some broad and weak rotation there. I don't think that's an imminent tornado risk. I do think the storm that's near LaRue has a slightly better shot there producing something. Even then, though, that rotation's also been weakening a little bit here over the last few minutes. So we'll continue to watch that storm closely. They have another severe thunderstorm warning there for damaging winds up to 60, and as well as quarter-sized hail. And then once again, in the Detroit suburbs... We do have a couple of spots of weak, but noticeable rotation. We actually have multiple here. We got like 
We got one very small area there. We got kind of another one near Southfield. We got another one right there. These are all very broad and weak right now, but a couple of spots where we could get maybe a brief tornado touchdown in one of those areas. And that's on the north side, northwest side there of Detroit. They got a little couplet there uh, near Southfield in eastern Michigan. Trying to develop here. This will be the latest radar scan. Let me go back and turn that off. And we'll keep it on for now. Yeah, we still got a couple of areas here. And we got one south of Southfield. It's not overly impressive, once again. If we get any tornado out of any of three of these areas, it would probably be brief and weak. But uh, just a heads up, if you are in, like, Sterling Heights, St. Clair Shores, Warren, Madison Heights, any of those areas, just stay vigilant here in case we do end up getting something brief out of those storms, maybe, like, a brief spin-up or funnel cloud or maybe a brief tornado. They can't be ruled out, even though the rotation isn't super strong. It is strong enough for maybe something brief. Um, I think we got a tornado watch issued for... Yeah, we got a new tornado watch. All right, we got, we got a couple of big updates. Um, not just the tornado watch, but we also have another update. So, the first update is that we have a tornado watch that was just issued. Should pop up here on Radar Omega in a couple of minutes, but that's your tornado watch. That is for northern West Virginia, western Pennsylvania, and eastern Ohio. That goes actually until midnight tonight. That's a late watch. Uh, that tornado watch will go all the way until midnight for eastern Ohio, northern West Virginia, and western Pennsylvania. The main concern, again, is going to be damaging winds, but a couple of tornadoes will be possible. That's not the only update, though. The Storm Prediction Center has also just mentioned that the there will be an increasing risk for all severe hazards that includes damaging winds, large hail, and a threat for a tornado or two across central Ohio over the next one to two hours. So definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware if you are in central Ohio, where there have been multiple storms over the last few minutes that have had some rotation. And even though none of these, at least as of now, have produced a tornado, they obviously could as they begin to move closer to areas in the Columbus and surrounding areas. Um, and once again, we do have actually now a tornado possible on this storm, so this warning got upgraded. Um, well, not really an upgrade, but um, at least has that tag now on it that says tornado possible, as we have had some broad rotation here west of Marysville. So if you are in this warning, I would just recommend that you do stay away from windows, as there is a threat there again for a um, tornado down the road if this is able to organize more obviously it was a bit stronger earlier with rotation but it obviously could recycle and then back over near la row or la rue excuse me that that storm right now still has some rotation but still broad as of right now and we have multiple severe thunderstorm warnings now in michigan we got one for detroit we got one just north of detroit that is for damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. Um, as I've mentioned a couple of times, we do have a couple of couplets that have very broad and weak rotation. So I'm not ruling out a brief tornado out of one of these areas. Not significant threat by any means, but it is something that I would at least stay, stay, stay aware of because there is still a chance there for maybe a, a brief tornado just north of Detroit. Uh, Lucky, I responded to your super chat. I, I already told you, there's no warnings in Columbus. And the storms are still a good hour out from you in Columbus. All right, uh, here's the latest radar scan. We do, again, have a couple of spots of, again, weak and broad rotation, but uh, just a couple of areas where I would be watching for a brief spin-up or maybe a brief tornado uh, north of Detroit. That's going to be approaching areas like Troy, Madison Heights, Sterling Heights, and Warren over the next several minutes. 
So again, if you're in these areas, just make sure that you're staying away from windows just in case something does happen. Uh, it's still a damaging wind threat without a doubt. So we definitely have damaging winds in this area of storms, but uh, there is still a chance for a brief tornado. If any of these areas of circulation are able to get going, we get enough of an inflow briefly uh, with that area of storm activity. Here's your new tornado watch. So once again, this does include a large chunk of eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. If you are in this tornado watch, obviously make sure that you are staying weather aware. This watch has been issued again, western Pennsylvania, northern West Virginia, and eastern Ohio. Also, Connor is on a storm. Here, uh, Bellefontaine that is looking pretty impressive there. It's not severe, but it is strong. Circleville, Ohio. Circleville is going to probably be only an isolated wind or hail threat. I don't expect much severe weather there. Thank you for your 499, Michaela. Also, thank you, Eagle, for becoming a minimum velocity member. No problem, I. Glad you found it. That was a good rolling stop right there at the stop sign. <laughs> Nobody's there, though. It's all right. <laughs> for tornadoes is expected in the one the next in the next one to two hours all right what do we want to hear for tornado chasing purposes by the way here's that full tornado watch now so west virginia again included in this athens marietta and southern ohio all included in that watch Connor has a pretty good view on this um on this storm right now in Bell Fountain. Apparently it's Bell Fountain now. I thought it was Bell... F I don't even know anymore. There's so many pronunciations that I've seen in chat for that. So Bell Fountain will go by. Um, in that area, the storm's already moved through Bell Fountain, but the... Uh, ooh, look at this. This is a storm north of Bell Fountain near um, LaRue. This is a stronger area of rotation. That is attempting to develop near Green Camp. We might have some sort of lowering on this at the bare minimum, but that's a stronger pocket of rotation now. This right here. It's approaching Marion and Clarendon right now. So once again, this storm is at least rotating a little bit. Possibly some sort of lowering. Uh, we do have a report of a wall cloud in Fletcher. So that is a report that we're now getting. Fletcher is back down on the peak, the, the Piqua storm, but that... That's another storm that was rotating as well, but this one definitely has some rotation here. This is the one further down to the south that is also rotating near Piqua, uh, approaching Millerstown and, and Eris near Westville, going toward Urbana. It's become a much more messy storm, but uh, some, some hail and maybe an isolated brief tornado can't be ruled out there. Uh, but I'd be watching this storm very closely if I'm in uh, Marion or Clarendon. That is a stronger area of rotation that is attempting to develop here. Again, approaching Marion and Route 23. This is uh, very random. <laughs> a new mesoscale discussion in central Texas. Isolated supercell threat this afternoon and evening. Alrighty. So that is over uh, west of Waco. If you're in Texas, be mindful of that. That's Connor's view, by the way, on the storm that is just down to the south of this area of rotation that we're looking at. There there this is not a storm. I don't think that is really... Yeah, that storm's not really rotating. It's down to the south of him. Still a pretty impressive looking storm there. Um, we got a stronger area of rotation developing near Troy, Michigan. 
It's not tight, but it is, um, a, it's a bit stronger than before. Area of circulation right there. And again, this is the area that we're watching for a couple of brief tornadoes. This is near Rochester Hills. I would stay very vigilant if you're in this area. Again, north of Detroit. Had a lot of circulations like this that haven't come together, but I'm not ruling out that this one tries to. Anyone unusual bread for the 499? Uh, we just got a tornado watch that expires at 12 a.m. in western Pennsylvania. Looks like we're going to get hit in three hours. Uh, you'll probably get hit closer to, yeah, about 7. 7 to 11 is the time frame I would be watching for if you're back over there in western parts of Pennsylvania. Oh. A new tornado warning has been issued. We do have a tornado warning now in this storm that is near Marion. That is going towards Clarendon and Mount Galad. If you're in this tornado warning, you need to seek shelter immediately away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. This is radar indicated rotation. It's not a confirmed tornado, but we do have a brand new tornado warning now. So if you are in Marion, Green Camp, Prospect, Waldo, Clarendon, Aberia, Mount Galad, or Cardington, you need to seek shelter immediately away from windows and on the lowest floor possible interior room of your home or building. This has been an area of rotation we've been watching for uh, a long time now. I mean, we, we've been watching this for... I don't even know, maybe like 30 minutes now. Uh, the rotation's been slowly but surely intensifying, and it is a very broad but large area of rotation that will be approaching areas near Marion, Clarendon, and eventually Mount Galeed or Galad. Uh, if you're in that area, again, make sure that you are getting to your safe place, that is a basement or a storm shelter, away from windows and on the lowest floor possible, as this storm could produce a tornado at any time as it does continue to move to the east. We are in between a ton of radar sites, so overall, we're not going to have a great view on the storm. This is a closer up radar site, and you get an idea here that the rotation, again, uh, definitely there near uh, Big Island. Let's see what we have on this radar site. We got multiple. Yeah, that one's too far, so I'll have to stay on this one. Maybe this one. No, this one. But once again, this is a tornado warning in central Ohio, north of Columbus. It is moving eastbound. It is not going towards Columbus, but it is north of Columbus. Uh, areas in the track of this here soon will include um, Clarendon, Marion. So if you're in Cl Marion or Clarendon, you need to get to your safe place now. If you're in Westfield, Waldo, or Prospect, uh, you should also get to your safe place. Even though this storm might just stay to your north, it's a good precaution to take in case this tornado, if it does drop, takes a turn to the, to the south. Sometimes happens. Tornadoes can sometimes be unpredictable. Uh, in addition to that, this will be moving towards Mount Galeed and Iberia and Cardington. I don't know if Connor is going towards the storm. I think he might be going south. Yeah, I think he's going south, so I think he's going for the southern storms. He's not far from the tornado warning, but I think he's changing directions and going southbound. <coughs> Yeah, this rotation, again, is getting stronger, though. Uh, we did have rotation near Troy, Michigan. I'm going to give a quick update on that from my phone. Uh, still some broad rotation right now in Troy, Michigan. That is going to be approaching the Macomb Township, Shelby, and Sterling Heights. We have, like, three pockets of rotation north of Detroit. None of them seemingly too concerning right now, but we could get a brief tornado out of that activity. And once again, this is a tornado warning if you're just tuning in for Marion County and Western Moreau County in Ohio. This will be approaching Clarendon and Marion over the next few minutes. This is moving east at 40 miles per hour. If you are in this tornado warning, once again, get to your shelter spot away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. The interior room of your home or building. I'm going to see if we have any reports on this storm right now. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not seeing any reports on the storm right now. Uh, again, it is a broad and large area of circulation, so it's, I don't know if we're going to get an imminent tornado, but we are pretty far away from the radar site, so it's going to be pretty hard to see uh, whatever's happening here inside the storm since we are just so far away from the radar site. We have been looking at a couple of different radars, both indicating that we do at least have some rotation here um, across areas near Marion. So if we do get a tornado, uh, and if there is a tornado currently in progress, it would be impacting Marion and Clarendon over the next few minutes here in central Ohio. Again, this is our only tornado warning right now, but I do want to reiterate that we do have some broad rotation north of Detroit on three different storms right now. One of them is near Troy with broad rotation. We also have got another one near Lake Orion, Michigan, and we also got another one that is closer to Warren, Michigan. So if any of those do come become concerning, we'll go to them. But right now, our main focus is on this tornado warning that is right now approaching Marion. So once again, if you are in this tornado warning, make sure that you are getting to your safe place away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. As this storm is becoming a little bit more concerning right now. Let's go back to Southwest Radar Site. Also, no severe thunderstorm warning anymore near Piqua. That storm is weakened out. Still producing some small hail and gusty winds, but no longer a tornadic threat. This storm here again near Marion is a potential tornado threat right now. This is going to be going right into Clarendon in the next five minutes. Again, if you're in Clarendon, get to your safe place. This could drop a tornado at any time as it does continue to move to the east. And we are very far away from the radar site, so we don't have a great view here of surface-based rotation, but we do have some visual, at least, of the rotation that is up in the cloud base, and uh, some are kind of up in there, a few thousand, at least about seven or 8,000 feet off the ground. And once again, this is going to be approaching Martel, Iberia, and Mount Galad over the next several minutes. <clears throat> rotating wall cloud. Yeah, there probably is a rotating wall cloud. I mean, it's almost undoubtable with rotation like this that we have a rotating wall cloud. Um, yeah, we are. I'm getting visual now. We do, we do have a rotating wall cloud on this. So again, there is a rotating wall cloud near Marion. That is a precursor to there being a tornado. It is a, it's a beast, by the way. This is a large wall cloud that we're talking about near Marion. And this could produce a tornado at any time. But currently a large rotating wall cloud in Marion that could produce a tornado. <clears throat> We've had a large area of circulation here for quite a while as well. So once again, rotation is going right through the downtown area of Marion right now. No confirmed tornado right now, but we do have at least a report again of a large rotating wall cloud. And we do have some strong rotation also back up near Shelby, Michigan. Just heads up there, possibly a, a brief tornado in that area can't be ruled out. We're still watching multiple different storms. That one's not tornado warned, but that one is rotating. But there is, again, a large rotating wall cloud right now in the storm near Marion, Ohio. This is just to the north right now of Columbus. But this storm is definitely the real deal. Um, this one is un almost undoubtedly the most impressive uh, rotation area, at least, that we've seen on radar today, but... This rotation in the next five minutes will be over Clarendon and eventually going into areas near Cardington and as well as Mount Gleed. We also have another severe thunderstorm warning just to the south of this. We are up to eight severe thunderstorm warnings. And again, this is our one tornado warning north of Columbus in central Ohio near Marion. Caledonia, Iberia, Edison, Cardington, Waldo, Prospect, Green Camp, all included in Ohio in this tornado warning. The Storm Prediction Center has just issued their new outlook for severe weather, so I just want to pull that up real quick. The 5% tornado risk is still in play anywhere from Ohio back into western Pennsylvania. Wind and hail threats remain the same, and a marginal threat for severe weather was just added west of Dallas, Texas. So just a couple updates there on the other stuff that's also happening here across the country today.
Is anybody in this area, by the way, near Marion? Are you guys hearing or seeing anything right now? I know we've already had some reports of a large rotating wall cloud, but... Just wondering if we had anything else reported on this. If there is a tornado, by the way, it is almost 100% rain-wrapped, so do not try to look outside. Try to just stay in your shelter spot. It's not worth getting a video for TikTok right now when you might or might not even see anything. This is, again, moving to the east. Still a broad and large area of circulation that's going to be moving towards Clarendon as well as Mount Gleed over the next several minutes. Once again, continue to stay in your safe place as the storm does continue to move to the east. Areas out in front of this, if this storm does continue past this tornado warning, will, into, will include Lexington, Fredericktown, north of Mount Vernon, Shreve, and Danville. So fairly rural areas here north of Columbus would be in the track of this eventually. For this particular storm that has a chance of a tornado. Uh, I do want to give a quick update. We have had a couple areas of rotation in Michigan. Um, right now, I'm not seeing anything too substantial, but we have a couple of areas of rotation just northeast of Roger Hills. So just a heads up, I would still stay away from windows if you are in that severe thunderstorm warning, uh, just in case we do get a brief tornado there. That has been something we have been talking about uh, a little bit, because there is definitely that potential. You can see here, this is a pretty broad area of circulation still, but it's a large area. So I'm definitely not ruling out a tornado or even two tornadoes out of this if it's able to develop. But all this like dull green in the middle here, that usually represents some broader area of rotation. And we are looking at a closer up radar site to this. So at least that's giving us an idea that the rotation might be a little bit more on the broad side of things. But uh, with that being said, this could intensify and produce a tornado. We have had reports, again, of a large rotating wall cloud that is currently moving towards Clarendon, Martell, and Cardington, Ohio, just north of Columbus. Storm's moving east at about 40 miles per hour, which is a pretty fast-moving storm. I'm getting a report of a tornado on the ground in Ohio. Is it on the ground? I haven't seen anything officially confirmed here. But once again, if you are in this tornado warning, you need to be seeking shelter immediately. Please take this seriously in case we do get a tornado. And I've not seen anything officially confirmed, but we are very far away from radar sites and it's entirely possible. Yeah, still nothing official on this storm in terms of there being a tornado on the ground. I am getting a lot of reports, though, again, of a large wall cloud and um, very strong RFD on this storm. So this is definitely an intense area of rotation. Again, the correlation coefficient isn't indicating a tornado on the ground right now either. It's indicating a, a pretty large hail core. But um, yeah, again, if there is a tornado, it's going to be rain wrapped somewhere in here near the uh, Clarendon area. Again, this is right now moving eastbound at about 40 miles per hour. You need to be seeking shelter if you've not already. If you are in Cardington or Iberia or Martell, as there could be a tornado on the ground at any time as this continues to move to the east. This is a dangerous storm. It is a rain-wrapped area of rotation, so even if there is a tornado, it will probably be impossible to see it. Uh, rotation is still pretty strong. Also have a new warning uh, back over west of Akron for large hail and damaging winds. This storm's been developing over the last few minutes. I would actually, if you're, this storm will have to be watched too. This one's a new one, but uh, this, this storm could potentially produce something. That's really discreet and well out in front of the storms. I'll have to watch that one too closely. Uh, once again, tornado warning north of Columbus near, Mar near Marion and Clarendon, where a tornado could be on the ground at any time. And we've had reports of a wall cloud, a pretty large one. 
very strong winds have been reported in the area. I've yet to see anything confirmed of a tornado, even though I've seen a couple people mention it. I've not seen anything confirmed on that. But it is entirely possible that we have a tornado that was on the ground or may be on the ground. It's still radar indicated, so nothing confirmed as of right now. Oh, man. It's Wacky Weather Wednesday, and guess what? We have tossing trampolines not on a tall tree's Thursday. Flying trampolines becoming an issue here across um, Ohio. Again, flying trampoline meter today is at a medium risk. I'm still looking to see if we have any reports on this storm. Sorry, I hit my mic. And if you are in Clarendon, you need to be seeking shelter immediately in case a tornado does drop with the storm. There is a large rain-wrapped area of rotation that we cannot see. So once again, if there is a tornado on the ground, uh, it's going to be extremely difficult to see, which means that there could be a tornado. We just don't know. There's a lot of storm chasers in this area. And so if there is a tornado, it is heavily rain-wrapped right now with this particular cell, as the rotation is literally embedded in all this rain that we have here. So, again, if you are in Clarendon, near Cardington, you need to be seeking shelter. We do have seven severe thunderstorm warnings elsewhere. Again, we're going to be focused mainly on tornado warnings, like this one right now. That is, again, in central Ohio, north of Columbus. We may have had a brief tornado, by the way, northeast of Shelby um, in Michigan. There was a bit of a tightening on the radar there a few minutes ago. Uh, we do have another tornado possible storm for Shelby and Mansfield in Ohio. This is not the one that's back up in um, in Michigan. This is Shelby, Ohio. So another tornado possible label, which does mean that there is some rotation, which you can actually see that right now, right over the Buckris or Bucky's area. I'm just going to call it Bucky's. It's easier to say. Uh, this is moving east, going towards Shelby and Mansfield. But uh, once again, broad area of rotation there. It's not imminent for a tornado, but we'll have to watch that storm closely. And then once again, we do have the potential for a tornado near Clarendon that is moving east, going towards Mount Gleed, near Martle, Iberia, and Cardington. Let's go back to this radar site. We don't have really a great view on this um, in terms of even, even the correlation coefficient. But yeah, that right there is just, again, it is pretty strong rotation that we're looking at. And it's almost undoubtable that we have at least a wall cloud of some sort. It's, it's almost undoubtable that we have that. Uh, we just don't know if this is getting to the ground or not. The only way that we'll probably know is if, one, we have some sort of damage path behind it. Um, two, a storm chaser gets too close to it, which is entirely possible. But, um, yeah, th this this particular cell, again, is, is definitely in the ballpark of just being too far away from really any radar sites, which makes it very difficult to be able to know what's actually happening here. But that is still a very strong area of rotation. So it's, it's very possible that we do have a tornado that's about to drop or one that may have already dropped here in Ohio. Yeah, this rotation is definitely on the stronger side of things. But once again, this area of rotation that we're looking at is looking pretty far up into the clouds. I mean, we're looking at something that's uh, more than likely about eight to 10,000 feet up into the atmosphere. So we're probably looking at the wall cloud basically on radar. There's the latest scan. Again, this is right now approaching Mount Gleed. Still radar indicated rotation. Continue to stay in your safe place. That is a bathroom, a storm shelter, a basement. All of those places are in consideration right now if you're in this area because there is a potential here for a tornado at any time. And again, I'm still siphoning through reports. If we do have a tornado confirmed at any point, I will let you know. We don't have anything confirmed. So basically anything in chat right now is probably not correct in terms of if there's a tornado on the ground. So once again, I've, I've, we've yet to have anything confirmed. 
but it is a very strong possibility that we could get a tornado with this it is a very large um, area of rotation it's pretty strong we at least have a rotating wall cloud from what i know on this storm and then um again it's very possible that we do get a tornado here at any time as this moves eastbound uh we will probably get a new tornado warning on this if this rotation keeps up belleville fredericktown chesterville lexington and butler and perryville or perrysville you all need to be on alert because this storm will be heading in your direction as it does continue to move eastbound so a new tornado warning may be issued on this here in a few minutes This storm, by the way, near Ashland is a completely discrete cell. I'm not ruling out an isolated tornado threat with that one, by the way. Uh, that's going to be going towards the Medina area and Lodi in West Salem. That, that's a discrete cell that is at least 30 miles out in front of the storms over here that are more kind of clustered together. So that storm up there to the north. Uh, definitely keep a close eye on that if you're near Cleveland. It's very discreet compared to these other storms. And once again, if you are just tuning in, this is, again, an active tornado warning north of Columbus, Ohio. Again, what we know on the storm is that there is a rotating wall cloud, at least as of probably about 10 minutes ago, but it's probably still happening with how strong the rotation is um, with what we're looking at, you know, higher up into the atmosphere. Uh, in addition to that, there, again, is a potential for a tornado at any time. We have not had any confirmation quite yet on there being a tornado, but one could drop at any time as this moves to the east. Mount Gilead in, in uh, Central Ohio will be next in track for this. Cardington also, you need to be in your safe place. And then also back up over in Iberia and Martell, you also should be in your safe place. Away from windows, lowest floor possible. We do have some rotation also near Macomb Township in Michigan. And there is another tornado warning on this. A new tornado warning has been issued. All right, so um, this tornado warning is a bit larger than the last one, but it is basically going to be here for the same areas that I just mentioned. Uh, Lexington isn't in this tornado warning, but Galleon or Galleon, um, Blooming Grove, the Schauk or Shuck and um, Chesterville are all included now in this brand new tornado warning in Ohio. So this is for the same rotation that we've been talking about for the last several minutes. All right, this is the same area that's producing rotation. So once again, if you are in this tornado warning, you need to seek shelter away from windows and on the lowest floor possible as this storm does continue to move east toward areas near Lexington and just west of Fredericktown, or Fredericktown, near Mount Gleed and Cardington. All right, this will be approaching Interstate 71. It's going to be approaching Route 42. If you know any friends or family in this tornado warning, please give them a call or text. Make sure that they're seeking shelter. And also, if you... You know, we need those friends to have any sort of storm coverage or anything like that. Again, we'll be live this entire time throughout this entire tornado warning and any other warnings that come after this. So, uh, again, make sure to share it with them if needed. But obviously, most importantly, make sure that you are getting to your shelter spot, again, away from windows on the lowest floor possible. That is a bathroom, a basement, a storm shelter, or a closet. So once again, large and broad area of circulation. We've had reports of a wall cloud with this a few times. If you do, if you guys do see any reports on Twitter, by the way, that you want to relay information to me on, then just feel, feel free to at me on Twitter, at MaxVelocityWX. I'm continuing to look at various reports and seeing if anything gets confirmed out of this. Um, once again, it has been radar indicated rotation for a while. Haven't had any reports on the warning either of like a wall cloud or anything, but we have had past reports at least of there being a wall cloud. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything right now on Twitter. All right. Severe weather, again, is ramping up pretty quickly. We have um, nine severe thunderstorm warnings 
We got our two tornado warnings there. We actually got a couple of storms now forming near Dayton, Ohio. None of them are rotating, but those are brand new storms. Um, and also, by the way, near Urbana, we do have a storm there that has some broad rotation. And then obviously our main storm that we're watching for right now, which is north of Columbus, Ohio, that has been rotating for quite a while now. Uh, still ongoing near Clarendon and Mount Glead, approaching Chesterville and Blooming Grove over the next several minutes. And uh, Mansfield, by the way, you're not far from the storm, so definitely make sure that you are staying weather aware. It's still a pretty large and broad area of rotation from what I'm seeing from a distance. Again, we are in a big radar hole here in central Ohio, so we don't have a great view of this storm. But this is still a broad area of circulation near Mount Glead that is moving eastbound. Let me go a little bit further here to the right. So that's the areas in the track of this. Long term will be Perrysville, Butler, and Belleville. Looks like over the last couple of scans, that rotation's broadening out a little bit, which is good news if that continues. <clears throat> it's a little bit broader than before, and again, we're looking pretty far away from the radar site, so uh, it's possible that we're not really looking, you know, directly at that rotation, because again, it's it's a bit more elevated in the clouds, that was what we're looking at right now, but definitely a little bit concerning here, um, still. If this does try to produce a tornado again, it would be near Mount Gallead uh, in Ohio, again, north of Columbus. Columbus, Ohio, again, is not in this warning. I'm just saying Columbus, like north of Columbus. This is um, in that area here in Ohio. A new tornado warning has been issued. All right. This also just got tornado warned. And Connor Croft is on that storm. That is tornado warned. Uh, this is a brand new tornado warning west of Columbus. That is going to be for those in Milford Center and Marysville. So if you're in this tornado warning, you need to seek shelter immediately away from windows, lowest floor possible. This is another another uh, developing area of rotation right now, just west and northwest of Columbus. All right, it's going to get active pretty quickly, guys. We got three different tornado warnings, at least one of those storms. At least the storm up near Mount Khalid is weakening a little bit. Uh, this storm, though, definitely a bit more concerning. Wow, that yeah, that rotation's a bit stronger. Um, that's going to be near Mechanicsburg. This is from a different radar site, but that rotation is definitely a little bit on the stronger side right now, northwest of Columbus. This is another view of it. It's a little bit weaker from this radar site. We got three views on this. Nonetheless, if you are in Union Center or Unionville Center, um, Plain City, if you are in Milford Center or north of Mechanicsburg, you need to be seeking shelter immediately away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. Connor Croft, I think we'll have a view of this here in a minute. We'll go to him once he has that view. Uh, he is in Marysville right now, so we'll see if we get anything on that storm. Uh, this, again, will be your hook right here. It's much easier to see this storm on radar since we're much closer to it. Uh, but again, this storm right now moving towards Milford Center. A long-term track would be Dublin and on the northern suburbs here of Columbus, Ohio. And then again, this is your other tornado warning. That is back up in central Ohio, near Galion, Mount Galeed. It's a broad and large area of circulation. We'll continue to watch that one closely if anything does develop. But um, obviously a more concerning storm was this one now on the northwest side here of Columbus. As this one could drop a tornado as it moves eastbound. This is near the Caledonia, Martell, Iberia, Edison. Or Sorry, that's the other tornado warning. Um, so Marion, Caledonia, Iberia are still included in that warning. I don't think Marion's in that warning. I think that's a bug. Okay, so Marion's not in the warning. Um, for whatever reason on Twitter, the warning just updated and shows Marion still in the warning. It's not. So Marion, you're no longer in the warning, but for those in Clarendon, Mount Gallead, and, Car and Cardington, you're still in that updated tornado warning. And then this tornado warning, which I don't think has gotten posted yet, but this tornado warning, again, mainly includes Milford Center, Marysville, Woodstock, Union Unionville Center, and Plain City. Yeah, I think tornado warnings on the National Weather Service Twitter is uh, they're bugged right now. So they're they're behind on that. But again, this is live. So this is an active tornado warning right now.
Once again, if you are in Woodstock, Milford Center, you need to be seeking shelter immediately. Again, a potentially stronger area of rotation will be approaching here over the next few minutes. That is going to be approaching, again, Unionville Center, Plain City, Milford Center, Woodstock, and Marysville. Connor Croft, bottom right of your screen, he's storm chasing with us. He is going to be approaching the storm as well um, over the next few minutes. The strongest area of rotation is right here, north of Route 36. That is on 216. So that's where the strongest part of the rotation is right now. And that would be your that strongest area of rotation from the other radar site down to the south. Connor's saying he thinks it's on the ground. So, again, when, when he gets a view of it, we'll go to him. He's awfully close to that area of rotation. He has a lot of trees in his way. Um, again, this is near Woodstock. Nothing confirmed as of right now. Obviously, just speculation. But uh, this obviously could go on the ground at any time. That is the storm right there that we're looking at. <clears throat> and notice that is a pretty large supercell. I think we have a better view of it right after that house. Wow, look at that. Uh, uh, that's the storm again. Tornado war northwest of Columbus. And there's a pretty strong likelihood that that is a rain-wrapped area of rotation. So if there's a tornado on the ground, it's, it's going to be very heavily rain-wrapped here. Near Woodstock and Milford Center. Once again, just a friendly reminder, we do have a tornado warning near Mount Galeed. Uh, still an area of rotation that has, it's still rotating uh, north of Mount Galeed. Again, we're very far away from the radar site, so it's very hard to see this storm um, on radar. But it is going to be approaching the shock area near West, or uh, near Chesterville, excuse me. Eventually going towards Belleville and Lexington. Still tornado warned here for another 30 minutes, unless that's otherwise canceled. And once again, really the most concerning storm right now is going to be this one that's going to be approaching uh, Milford Center and Unionville Center. And again, this storm's moving east. Power just went out. Yeah, power outages are definitely possible. And a good reminder as well, make sure that you are... Um, make sure that your flashlights have batteries in them, have flashlights with you, just in case this tornado does drop. Uh, the rotation from the short term radar site shows it very strong rotation if we go back to the one that's south of here it's not nearly as strong but that other radar site doesn't have nearly as far of a distance that it can go so there's definitely a chance that it might just be kind of bugging out a little bit i'm not seeing any definitive correlation coefficient drop yet but there's definitely a potential here that this does drop a tornado in the next few minutes it is very close to doing so if it you know if it does end up dropping a tornado again it's it's very close to doing it so again near woodstock approaching milford center Continue to stay in your safe place away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. Any debris? We're not getting any CC drop yet on this. Now there's a little bit of orange there, but I, I gotta think that's just hail. Because it's not it's not deep enough. It's not deep enough to be a tornado. This is a view of that storm, by the way. Uh, he's going down through the downtown city area there at Milford Center. Jeez, so the that right there... Can't get through it. That right there is the... Um, again, that, that's the storm back there behind the buildings. So he's getting pretty close to this particular tornado warning. <clears throat> and again, that's your rotation right there near Woodstock. It's embedded in a lot of rain. So if there's a tornado, it is 100% rain-wrapped. I mean, there's just almost no doubt about that. Unfortunately, we have another situation where there's a potential for a rain-wrapped tornado. It's pretty much the same situation as what we have up north, too. It's like the same thing. But again, this, this could very easily be a rain-wrapped tornado right now near Woodstock. Um, again, we're going to be approaching Milford Center and Unionville Center. Again, if you are in this tornado warning, you need to go to your basement... Your storm shelter immediately. If this does drop a tornado, it definitely could produce some damage in the area. So get to your safe place immediately. Basement, storm shelter, closet, or bathroom. Whatever you got. Lowest floor, interior room. Dangerous storm right now northwest of Columbus that could drop a tornado. It is heavily rain-wrapped once again. The tornado warning, by the way, that was back here for Marion has been canceled. Tornado warning still goes for Mount Galeed. North of Fredericktown. Still some broad rotation there. 
But really, the greatest concern that we are going to be talking about right now is this storm. And wow, that is a beast of a storm right now. Look at that thing. That is a large rain shaft. And obviously, this is a, a beast of a supercell uh, that is currently west of Plain City, approaching Plain City. Uh, once again, rotation is heavily rain wrapped. I don't think we're going to see a tornado if there is one there. Unless it gets closer to this. And this is Storm Chaser Connor Croft uh, approaching this tornado worn cell in Milford Center and Unionville Center. But wow. That's just a massive rain shaft right there. That is. Um, the, the rotation is probably just completely rain wrapped in that. Keep an eye out. All right, we got a couple of updates here. Uh, tornado warning has been condensed, it's still ongoing. We'll go back to Connor in a second. This is the tornado warning. It still does include Unionville Center, Marysville, and Milford Center near Woodstock. Uh, rotation seems to be a bit broader than before. It's kind of getting kind of cut off, it looks like, back near Woodstock. It still has a chance to produce a tornado, though. So continue to stay in your safe place. Away from windows, lowest floor possible. We have another severe thunderstorm warning as well, just south of this near Springfield. Main concern is quarter-sized hail, 60 mile per hour damaging winds. Uh, we'll go back to Connor in a second. But again, this rotation is completely rain wrapped at this point. Do not look outside for this. Just stay in your safe place, away from windows, lowest floor possible. If we do have a tornado in progress, it would be just southwest of Milford Center. It would be approaching Route 36 and eventually going towards the Unionville Center. Again, nothing confirmed yet for a tornado, but if there is one, that's where it's going. So it'd be going right into Milford Center and Unionville Center over the next few minutes. Yeah, look at this. I mean, if there's a tornado again, it's in here. It's it's. There's no way to see it. It is so rain wrapped. And if if somehow Connor sees it, I'd be shocked. Like it, it, that's how that's how rain wrapped this thing is right now. If you know any friends or family in this area as well, make sure to give them a call or text and make sure that they're weather aware. You can share this stream with them as well. Again, we'll be live here throughout this entire tornado warning. Milford Center and, and Marysville are, again, the main locations included in this tornado warning right now. Retimer just tweeted that this is a confirmed tornado. Is there any report of that on Twitter? I, I don't know about that. Let's check out correlation coefficient again. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything definitive. This is, this is live. If there's a tornado, it is in there. In that mess of rain. It's that wall of rain right now. I have to be in it to see it. If the tornado is here, it's gonna be, it's gonna be in that large sheet of rain. Uh, we have a... Tornado on the ground, I think. I think we're getting actual confirmation of that now. A, mile away. a storm chaser in the area is reporting a tornado on the ground. A mile away. Right here, still in the path. And as you can see, we're not going to see it. So, I'm going to try and get a little bit south. See if uh, that helps my vantage point. And also, that should put me just out of the. Wow. Path of I mean, radar. this this rotation. Let's go back to radar. Sorry, I was. Let's put it back on radar. That right there is from the radar site to the east. And a storm chaser is reporting that there is a tornado on the ground here. Um, still trying to get more confirmation because it, it. I'm retweeting the photo on Twitter. Um, potentially a cone shaped tornado here near Milford Center. It's, it's not officially confirmed, but it is. It's likely that we have a, a tornado here near Milford Center and northwest of Columbus, Ohio. If you are in this tornado warning, you need to be in your safe place immediately. That is a very strong area of rotation that we're looking at here from the radar site that's back over north of Columbus. So if this is on the ground, it, it definitely could be on the, the stronger side of things. 
It is completely rain wrapped once again. So if there is a tornado, you're not going to be able to see it. Again, I'm not seeing anything super strong here from the radar site to the south. And um, I'm still waiting for more evidence of there being a tornado. It's not been confirmed yet by the National Weather Service. But obviously, if you are in this tornado warning, you, you need to make sure that you are staying in your safe place. Again, your shelter spot, you need to be there now. Run, do not walk in case this is on the ground. You need to be going to your shelter spot immediately. There's always a chance, too, that that hail that it's showing here on radar could be contamination. So just keep that in mind. I'm still not seeing anything officially confirmed here. But obviously, again, if you are in the Milford Center area, you need to stay in your safe place. I'm not trying to create a false alarm. That's why I'm not, you know, putting the tornado on the ground thing on. Just in case it's, again, I'm not seeing a, a definitive evidence of it. Correlation coefficient also not showing anything definitive as of right now in this tornado warning. But once again, if you are in Milford Center, Unionville Center, you should stay in your safe place. As this tornado continues. Tornado warning continues to move east. A new tornado warning has been issued. We have another tornado warning, and this one is strangely large here. Uh, this is a new tornado warning near Lexington, Fredericktown, and Danville, south of Mansfield, Ohio. Rotation is back over here near Lexington. Uh, if you are in this tornado warning, again, get to your safe place immediately, away from windows, lowest floor possible. This is a new tornado warning again for Lexington, Danville, Fredericktown, Ohio. This is our... We now have three tornado warnings, again, two of them on the same storm here. Uh, again, near Mansfield and Interstate 71, Fredericktown, Belleville, Perrysville included in this tornado warning. So another area of rotation here developing. Uh, it's been ongoing for a while, but uh, that's been a broad area of circulation that we've had probably for about an hour now. That will be approaching areas near Lexington. If there's a tornado, we could have one here near Lexington. We also could have another area here that's going to be approaching Belleville. So we got two areas here right now that are rotating near Lexington. So again, get to your safe place. That is a huge tornado warning. I don't, I don't know why it's so big, but it probably accounts for the two different areas of rotation that we have. So Frederickstown, Danville, uh, again, Belleville, all you need to be in your safe place. Another tornado warning there. And then we have our tornado warning here near Columbus. Which, once again, if there is a tornado, it would be near Milford Center. We've had no confirmation officially of that yet. There has been speculation that we've had a tornado on the ground, but nothing officially confirmed as of yet. But once again, if you are in this tornado warning northwest of Columbus, Ohio, you should be seeking shelter. Away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so everybody has a view of what's happening right now. Again, we got multiple tornado warnings in prog or multiple tornado warnings ongoing um, from Mansfield back through Urbana. We got three of the pink boxes. Again, our tornado warnings. We have multiple severe storms, again, producing the threat of damaging winds and large hail. We have three different tornado warnings. Again, the two that are back up near Mansfield. We got the one that's back over northwest of Columbus. We've yet to have any official confirmation of a tornado in any of these storms. With that said, there could be a tornado with any of these storms at any single time, as there is a tornado warning in those areas. So, again, if you are in the pink polygons, you should be seeking shelter away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. With that said, if you are in the severe thunderstorm warnings, you should still stay vigilant as there is a threat for damaging winds, large hail, and the potential for an isolated tornado at some point with those thunderstorms. And once again, the airport radar site that's back over north of Columbus has been showing pretty strong rotation, but there is a, a, a potential there that the hail core is playing a factor into that, um, potentially creating some contamination there. But there could obviously be a tornado here, so just make sure that you're staying in your safe place. We've had a few reports there of possibly a tornado. Um, for those that are in Milford Center or Unionville Center, have you guys heard or you know seen anything? Let me know in the chat if you if you heard anything.
Yeah, the rotation just from the southern radar site has not looked like much here. Again, Connor's inside of this uh, particular tornado worn cell. So, um, you know, if anything, if we if we do see anything, we'll we'll, we'll go to him. If you don't have a basement, then a, a storm shelter, if you have that, which I doubt you would have a storm shelter if you don't have a basement, but, um, you know, a bathroom, a closet, something that's very interior and away from windows. The furthest away from windows is where you want to be. So put you away from, again, the windows, basically. You just want to be in the most interior room. That's what, you know, any interior room. It doesn't have to be a bathroom. It could be your bedroom. You never know. I, I, usually bedrooms aren't in the middle of the house, but, you know, that's a place that you want to be if you're in these tornado warnings. We have a new severe thunderstorm warning for the north side of Columbus near Dublin and Gahana. This is going to be for that um, area with that tornado warning. We'll see if they issue a new tornado warning. Uh, but for the time being, it is a new severe thunderstorm warning for the north side of Columbus near Dublin and Berkshire or Berkshire and as well as Sunbury. Main concern here is damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour and as well as the threat for quarter sized tail. And by the way, according to local meteorologists, it is still radar indicated rotation. There's not been anything confirmed. And that's why I've been very hesitant to say that it is on the ground. We've not seen anything official that is confirming a tornado with this storm. And um, it, it, again, the rotation on radar hasn't shown that there's been any sort of CC drop either. So just keep that in mind. With that said, obviously, again, there could still be a tornado at any time. So continue to stay in your safe place if you are in this tornado warning near Milford Center in case it does try to drop a tornado. And Connor, again, is going through this entire storm right now. I'm just going to quickly pan to him. This is what it looks like right now, near where that area of rotation is. Wow. The winds are really strong. And Connor's inside the tornado warned cell near Milford Center. And uh, so far, I see some flying leaves. But nothing definitive there yet. Yeah, uh, that's what it looks like to go through a tornadic, <laughs> tornadic cell. That is some, that's some seriously strong winds. Yeah, look at those trees whip. This is in the Tornadic Supercell near Unionville Center. Not a confirmed tornado, but it has been tornado warned for quite a while now. Like They've way. just officially canceled the tornado warning, by the way, for this storm. So the tornado warning has officially been canceled uh, on this storm near Unionville Center and Plain City. With that being said, there is still a tornado possible label, so we'll still have to watch for that potential for a tornado with this as it does continue to get closer to Columbus, Ohio. Uh, that's where that area of storms is going. I do want to remind you that we still do have a tornado warning back up here near Lexington in central Ohio, just south of Mansfield. We have an area of rotation near Lexington, and we also have another area of rotation that was trying to develop down here near Belleville, but it's not nearly as intense. So that area, we're still watching for the potential for an isolated tornado or two as these storms do continue to move east. So again, this is really going to be another focus point. We'll be obviously watching the areas down near Columbus pretty closely as well. But once again, a couple areas of rotation that we're watching on this storm. This will be approaching Perryville or Perrysville, uh, Hayesville, Jelloway, and Danville in central Ohio. But guys, it's been a crazy stream so far. Obviously, already a lot of tornado warnings. Um, and again, we'll be keeping you posted with the latest as these storms do continue to develop. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. And uh, by the way, the Michigan storms are still ongoing north of Detroit. We've had a lot of brief circulations with those. We've um, possibly actually had a couple of brief tornadoes north of Detroit, but...
at this point, there's never been a tornado warning on any of those. They've been very weak and broad circulations. See if we have any better view on this storm. Again, we're in between a lot of radar sites on this Lexington storm, unfortunately. It's a big radar hole, so we don't have a great view on this. Um, but again, the rotation that we're looking at, again, would be near Lexington and near Interstate 71. They are both still broad areas of rotation, but we will continue to watch that storm closely. This is a long-tracked rotating supercell. It has been ongoing for a while. Uh, we have yet to have anything confirmed on that, but there's been a lot of rotation there. Um, and since we're in between a radar scan, I'm going to quickly take a bathroom break. We'll be back in 60 seconds. I'm going to go full cam to Connor real quick. We'll be right back. Almost produced in the rain on, on airport radar. We were never able to see anything but rain. But right now, I'm just kind of in the RFD. Just kind of trying to punch out of it. semis always turn out ahead of me like like every time every single time like clockwork All right, let's go back to live radar, sorry. All right, so once again, we still have a tornado warning near Lexington, Ohio, south of Mansfield. Connor Croft is on the storm that has a uh, tornado possible label northwest of Columbus. Once again, very broad area of rotation, maybe on the leading edge here of this activity. We do not have any tornado warnings again right now near Columbus, but if you are in Columbus, stay vigilant. There is going to be a chance there for some damaging winds, perhaps some large hail. And then once again, back up near Mansfield, that is where we're dealing with the potential still for a tornado. The uh, tornado warning still goes for about 30 more minutes. Broad area of circulation still near Mansfield, and that's really the main area of rotation that I would be watching for. Uh, that's going to be going through Mansfield, or just south of Mansfield, but going to be going through areas near Perrysville and Hayesville over the next several minutes. So once again, if you are in this tornado warning, continue to stay in your safe place, away from windows, and on the lowest floor possible. If you do get any photos, by the way, feel free to send it into our Twitter page, at MaxVelocityWX. We'll be um, trying to show some of those as well. Once again, all this storm activity right now moving eastbound. Tornado watch has been condensed. It still does include many areas like Columbus, Mansfield, and back through Cleveland. And tornado watch also for those in western Pennsylvania and even northern West Virginia. And by the way, this tornado watch here goes until midnight. So this tornado threat will be going down for a little while. I'm going to say you zoomed out here for just a moment. Tor tornado sirens going off in Lexington. Thank you for the report. Yeah, tornado sirens are almost definitely going to be going off, especially if you have a tornado warning. But I do want to remind you, if you are in a uh, tornado warning and the sirens are not going off, that's because sirens are not super reliable. Keep that in mind. Tornado sirens don't always go off when we have tornado warnings, so always have another way to receive alerts other than a tornado siren. They're not very reliable sometimes. Power out in parts of Lexington. Again, that's where we have our tornado warning. And I'm not ruling out that we have a tornado there. It's just, it's extremely hard to tell from this far away from a radar site. Because um, if we look at the correlation coefficient, uh, this, by the way, is just, <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Just, that's just contamination. Um, I think that's range folding. But um, the correlation coefficient, what we're looking at here, if there was debris being lifted up into the atmosphere, we would need a pretty strong tornado 
for there to be something being lifted up into the atmosphere because we are looking like 10,000 feet into the air at this point from this radar site. We're nowhere close to this particular storm. So, um, again, if there is a tornado, it's going to be very hard to tell unless we get some sort of human report. This is another radar site to the northeast, pretty much looking at the same exact thing. Looks like we may have had something brief, though, in Lexington. If not, we at least had some damaging winds in that area. Sorry, that is really annoying. I keep hitting my mic. I have this mic stand on Amazon for like 20 or $30, and it's like super squeaky now for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like I got it from like Wish.com or something. Yeah, so still a pretty, rel it's a relatively broad area of circulation right now in east of Lexington. Still has a chance to produce a tornado, but again, it's it's a broad area of circulation right now. <clears throat> but stay in your safe place again if you're in this pink polygon. That is again our active tornado warning. And as of now, it is our only tornado warning. We are still watching for a tornado risk further down to the south. And then we can still make out. Look at this, by the way, the wind going across the road here near uh, Dublin, Ohio, just northwest of Columbus. Some very strong winds, that's without a doubt. Uh, again, we haven't really seen any sort of like... Any, any sort of like strong rotation, but we've seen some very strong winds here with that particular storm. Back to here. We're going to stay on this zoom angle for a second. Thank you, Zero, by the way, for the 10 gifted memberships. I appreciate that. If you got a gifted member, make sure to thank Zero. I appreciate your generosity. Also, thank you, KG, from earlier for the same thing. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Appreciate the 10 gifted memberships. If you got a gift, if you got a membership, by the way, make sure to thank either KG or Zero. Should I be worried in Cleveland, Ohio? Uh, you're still a good 45 minutes to an hour out from the bulk of the activity. There is a storm south of you, but that storm's been weakening. I would honestly just be weather aware. I, I don't think there's any reason to worry right now. Uh, it's too early to tell, though, what you'll be getting. It's probably going to be damaging winds. Uh, there is a low tornado risk still even up that direction. So back over in Cleveland, that would be the main concern. Uh, Turner, I, I mean, I kind of agree with the slight risks today. I think an enhanced risk may have been a little bit too much. Uh, maybe an enhanced for wind. I mean, really the only thing that I could imagine for an enhanced risk. I don't think the tornado threat should have been enhanced um, for today's event. Agreed. Come on. Look at this, by the way. The wind is very strong out of the storms. Once again, back down uh, west of Columbus. This go. is just west of Columbus. Strong damaging winds for sure out of this storm activity. That's undoubtable. The tornado threat obviously is it's it's um it's it's lower than before on those storms near Columbus. Still has an area of rotation on airport radar. Wow. Yeah, we still have some broad rotation on the airport radar near Dublin. That is a tornado possible storm still. And Connor is going right through the bulk of it. And bottom right of your screen, that's the tornado warning that we still have as well. Yeah, that's near Butler and Perrysville. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to get on one of the major highways through Columbus in order to get ahead of this again because it'll be impossible if I'm stuck by. The RFT on that storm down there has been un unbelievable. It's been very strong. Uh, once again, back up here to the north of Columbus, we still have this tornado warning. It goes for approximately 20 more minutes. This does include areas just south of Mansfield near Interstate 71. Again, a broad area of circulation just south of Mansfield. I don't think we'll have a continuation of this warning. It, it, the rotation hasn't been super strong recently, at least from the radar sites that we're looking at. There's a little bit of rotation right here, too, um, right there, back down south of Interstate 71, um, approaching Highway 3. So tornado warning still ongoing here, at least for a little bit longer. Just stay in your safe place again if you are in Perrysville, Butler, or Jelloway, or Hayesville here in central Ohio.
Yeah, the, I mean, I, I don't know if we're really going to get a tornado here near Columbus, but the damaging wind threat is uh, definitely ramping up. Again, you can see that here on the velocities. Very strong leading edge right now, this damaging wind threat here near Plain City. That's going to be moving towards Dublin, Hilliard, Upper Arlington, and Columbus. So definitely an impressive area there right now. Thank you, Amp, by the way, for becoming a minimum velocity member. East Columbus getting dark here. Yeah, if you guys get any photos from Columbus, again, feel free to tweet me on Twitter at MaxVelocityWX. All right, we'll stay zoomed out. We'll go back to this radar here. All right, new radar scan should be coming in here in a moment. And once again, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Again, we'll be live here for the next few hours with severe weather and tornado warning coverage across Ohio. We still have one tornado warning again near Lexington. That rotation's been broad for a little while now, but we're still going to keep a very close eye on it in case it does try to produce something down the road. Getting dark in Niles, Ohio. Yeah, it's going to get dark out there. Uh, we do have a cyclone port on Radar Omega down near Dayton, and this is an idea of what it looks like behind all the storms. It looks beautiful. Hopefully this happens for everybody else in a little bit here. But unfortunately, we have to get really through the next hour or two of the peak of this threat, which is happening right now. And um, again, hopefully we don't get any more tornadoes, but this is right around where we're going to be peaking for that tornado risk today. Be right about now. In the next hour or so, really. Still have some broad circulation right now approaching uh, Jelloway. It's, a, again, a very broad area of circulation near Perrysville. That is, again, going to be moving towards Highway 3, just west of Nashville. Once again, if you are in this tornado warning, continue to stay in your safe place, away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. And again, this storm right now is moving to the east. I don't know if they're going to issue a new warning on that, though. That, that rotation, again, has not been nearly as impressive as earlier. I do think the main concern right now across this entire area does remain damaging winds. So anywhere from Springfield all the way back into Ashland and, um, again, really across most of central Ohio right now, the main concern right now is damaging winds. And then large hail and maybe an isolated tornado or two, which is still what we're watching for right now across this large area of showers and thunderstorms. Have I announced if I'm going live tomorrow? Um, I don't know yet. I'm hoping I don't have to. As long as the threat... I don't know. We'll see. I'll see what it looks like tomorrow morning. My plan was to go to my local Fox station tomorrow, but... And see some meteorologists. But if not, then we'll, we'll try... We'll go live if something appears a bit more significant. Canton, Ohio, you're still a, a good hour out from the storms. And you're probably going to get some storms. Just a matter of what it looks like there here in a little bit with damaging winds and um, a tornado threat potentially down the road. Just sent you a shelf pick photo. Or shelf cloud picture. Oh, yeah, look at this. This is in Waldo, Ohio right now. This is a shelf cloud. There's your shelf cloud. I was sent in by Seamus McMasters on Twitter. Uh, this is from Brad Sheets out of London, Ohio. This is actually one of the most impressive photos I've seen. That is a large shelf cloud right there. That is definitely a damaging wind producer. That's without a doubt. Wow. Wow. That is impressive. We are back down now to three severe thunderstorm warnings, and we still have our tornado warning there uh, south of Mansfield. 
Again, that rotation's still very broad. I I'll keep you posted if anything changes there. We're just going to stay zoomed out for the time being because I, I don't think that storm is super concerning right now. But if anything changes there, we'll, we'll go back to it. We'll just kind of stay zoomed out in this angle. Storms are going to be approaching Columbus over the next 20 minutes. Again, damaging winds likely going to be the main concern there. The purple. Uh, purple is the tornado watch. And then purple on the reflectivity is usually either heavy rain or even hail in some cases. ETA for Western Pennsylvania. Uh, you're probably going to get some storms closer to like, I don't know, pr probably going to be on the, the later half here. Probably 7 to 10 is, is my guess. Thank you, Panther, for the 499. Why do you think Ohio's been getting so much severe weather the past few weeks? It's, it's just really where the trough has been going, all these tro the different troughs that have been going through this area. Um, and a lot of the events that we've had the low pressure system is in a position, usually in Michigan, where it can produce or at least bring more shear to this area and kind of favor more instability and a stronger southerly wind that will usually lead to more moisture. So I would say it's really a mix of things, but the trough positioning has a lot to do with it. And with our transition going back to La Nina now, that has to do with it a little bit here with the overall weather pattern that we're seeing. Now, obviously, Ohio has had... 30 around 30 tornadoes just this year and that's you know well above average and that's one of the highest amounts in this entire um in country i mean this is ohio has one of the highest counts of tornadoes in general in the country i think they're second or third place right now so there's been a crazy amount of tornadoes well above average but sometimes happens we sometimes have these anomalies that happen Thank you, Kayla, for gifting five members of the channel. Appreciate that. And um, if you got a gift a member, make sure to thank Kayla. Florida has the most, yeah, Florida has the most tornadoes this year, which is actually, that was to be expected. Usually in winter, Florida gets a lot more uh, tornadoes. It's, it's much more common. Especially during El Ninos. Look, look at that storm, by the way. This is on the back side of that storm near Dublin, Ohio. This is Connor Croft storm chasing. Yeah, I guess I'm just about to stay on this road. Like, I don't think I can go through. What the heck happened here? That certainly doesn't help our car. Like somebody's tire blew out right there. But, really yeah, pretty impressive storm. That's the back side of the severe storm. That is, um, again, back near Dublin. Does this support the... The tornado alley shift fear theory? No. Yeah, I, I, just, I, I, I was actually talking to somebody about that earlier today, about the uh, tornado alley shifting uh, theory. And honestly, I, I just I just don't think that's a thing. I think tornado alley is tornado alley. I think Dixie alley is Dixie alley. And I think Ohio Valley is Ohio Valley. I, I don't think that needs changing. Once again, we do still have this tornado warning for some really broad rotation right now. Uh, it's going to be approaching Shreve and the Worcester area in central Ohio. Uh, once again, if you are in this tornado warning, continue to stay in your safe place. The only area that you really need to be in your shelter at this point would be here. So if you're near Lexington, you are fine. But this is the area of rotation that we are going to be having to watch as it approaches Millersburg. New Philadelphia and Canton will be the long-term tracks of that particular area of rotation. So this is kind of the direction it's going. Obviously kind of a large area that we'll have to watch for here as that very broad but large area of rotation does continue to move to the east. And tornado warning has just been condensed. So that's the only area that's included now. Basically Perrysville area right now. Thank you, K for the $4.99. And also thank you, Space, for the $2.00. Fairport Harbor? I don't even know where that is. When you guys are putting towns or cities on locations and stuff, please like make it something that's known. Like an actual city. Because specific stuff like this is just kind of eats up time. That's um yeah, that's like Cleveland. Anywhere in the Cleveland area, again, you're gonna get storms within the next hour, hour and a half. Main concern is damaging winds if any of these storms are severe by that point, and maybe an isolated tornado. 
So yeah, if you're you know if you have a town within 50 miles of Cleveland, just say Cleveland. It makes it easier for those sort of questions. No fake cities? Yes, no Gotham City, please. Yeah, once again, we still have some broad rotation approaching Nashville. Um, the National Weather Service may issue a new tornado warning on this. I don't feel like they will, but um, if they do, it'll be for Nashville, Holmesville, Millersburg, Apple Creek, Millbrook, Shreve, and Fredericksville, uh, or sorry, Fredericksburg, um, those areas just stay weather aware and stay vigilant. There may be a tornado warning there soon. I don't know if they'll issue that, but it's definitely a possibility. The rotation is, I feel like, broad enough, though, to probably just have this be a severe thunderstorm warning um, in those areas, mainly for damaging winds and maybe an isolated tornado risk. Here are the storms that are closer to Dublin and Columbus, Ohio. Once again, I'm not seeing any rotation here. I'm seeing more of a straight line damaging wind risk near Dublin, near Worthington and Westerville on the north side of Columbus. So definitely some strong damaging winds. And Connor Croft, by the way, he's been on this storm for a while. He's on the back side of it now, but that particular storm there is the one that is producing some significant damaging winds, upwards of 60 to 65 miles per hour. So definitely an impressive storm right now. Here's another photo from Chev Valley on Twitter of that shelf cloud. We're gonna see. One second. There we go. So that, that's the other photo of a shelf cloud. Again, we've had an impressive shelf cloud here rolling across southern central parts of Ohio. This is actually in Springfield, Ohio. So that, again, very ominous skies, but that would be a um, shelf cloud and also a lot of scud cloud activity in there as well. Again, if you do have any photos, you can tweet me on Twitter at MaxVelocityWX. Try to show some of those photos here. This is in Washington, Michigan. Sent in by Life of Miz. That is some damage. Some sh even some of the roof was damaged there. All right, they issued a new severe thunderstorm warning on this storm now for those near Canton, New Franklin, and Worcester. There is a tornado possible label on this, but they'll probably end up, what they'll probably end up doing here is just getting rid of this uh, tornado warning. There is a uh, damage report in Belleville, Ohio. Multiple trees down on Route 97 between Butler and Belleville. One and a half foot diameter trees snapped about three feet above ground. Time estimated by radar. So... More than likely, that's straight line damaging winds, but I'm definitely not ruling out maybe a tornado there. Uh, in Marion, we also had tree and utility poles down, which, again, promotes probably a damaging wind threat that went through there, like straight line winds. Even though this area was tornado warned, it is definitely more of a possibility that that was just simply a um, some straight line damaging winds. Yeah, the storm near Dublin, north of Columbus, I think will stay predominantly damaging wind uh, threat here. Still low tornado risk. We'll have to keep monitoring that closely. <laughs> Large trees down is a bad is a sign of a bad weather. Yep, yeah, that's that's about right. It's usually how it goes. Wow. Bucky Russ, Ohio has quite a bit of damage. I uh, retweeted the photos on Twitter, but yeah, there's there's quite a bit of damage there. Bucky Russ, Ohio, which uh, likely had it's just straight line damaging winds, but there was a tornado warning in that area area earlier. The only tornado warning that we currently have, again, is near Perrysville, Ohio. It's that pink polygon in the middle of your screen. It is, um, in my opinion, not really too concerning right now for an imminent tornado. And it's not concerning enough to even talk about it anymore because it is now no longer tornado warned. So we're back down to a tornado possible, uh, which does mean there's at least a potential here for maybe an isolated tornado embedded in this line of storms. Still have a large area of at least some broad rotation here. It's not significant, but this will again be approaching... 
the Worcester area and Shreve over the next several minutes. And then back further down to the south, we still have our ongoing storms down near Columbus that are also producing some straight line damaging winds. Uh, let's go to the bottom radar site here. I'm going to smooth out these storms again. So yeah, these are the storms that are still producing lots of lightning, damaging winds and hail on the north side of Columbus. One cool thing that you can do on Radar Omega is make this a 3D radar, and um, this is pretty cool. See the storms here approaching Columbus, um, the pink obviously representing heavy rain and perhaps some small hail. So pretty cool stuff there, and the storms again approaching Columbus over the next several minutes. Again, you can download Radar Omega. It is a fantastic weather app for your iOS and Android device. Uh, you can download it on iOS and Android <clears throat> with the top link in the description below on iOS and Android. Tons of features, including the live radar feed. Satellite imagery and computer models are also in it with the subscriptions that you can get in the app. In addition to that, they have tons of features like live cameras, storm chasers, literally live in the app. We have uh, three different storm chasers right now live on Radar Omega near Columbus. So you can also watch storm chasers live in the app. Make sure to check out Radar Omega. It's the top link in the description below on iOS and Android. It is only $8.99, but it is worth $8.99. Like, it is a fantastic weather app, and that's a one-time fee of $8.99. has tons of features, again. has live radar and um, live cameras, tons of cyclone ports, live storm chasers. Correlation coefficient velocities and the live reflectivity are all included in the app. That's on iOS and Android. Top link in the description below. And I do appreciate Radar Omega for sponsoring today's live stream. We have a couple of areas of broad rotation near Nashville right now. This is going to be approaching Shreve, Millersburg, and Worcester. Uh, Canton, by the way, Ohio, you would be next in track for this. So that's going to be coming toward your area here relatively soon. By the way, I do appreciate anybody that's become a member or any Super Chats. If I miss yours, I do apologize. Uh, I usually do not answer Super Chats and stuff during Tornado Warnings, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but I do appreciate your generosity. And thank you for supporting the page. Well, at least we have a break from the tornado warnings for at least a temporary amount of time. Obviously, it's been uh, it's been pretty active here over the last couple hours. I hope everybody's hanging in there. I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, we're about about five hours into the stream now. It's been crazy stuff here. Rotation in Mount Vernon, according to Mount Vernon. This is another spot in the storm that has a tornado possible label. I think it might be hard for there to be a tornado down here, but we'll see. Bit of a difficult spot to get one. It's more of a Boeing segment right now, but if we get a little inflow into it, we could get like a little QLCS tornado. We do have another severe thunderstorm warning now for those in Warsaw near New Philadelphia south of Canton. So we do have a tornado, or sorry, severe thunderstorm warning, not a tornado warning, severe thunderstorm warning for Warsaw, New Philadelphia, near Interstate 77. Um, again, damaging winds and isolated large hail being possible. And Connor, by the way, he's, again, storm chasing bottom right. He's north of Dublin. Uh, I would say out of any storms that we have right now, when it comes to severity, I do think the worst ones right now are in Dublin. We've had some pretty significant damaging winds in this area. All just staying just slightly north of Dublin. Or, sorry, just north of a Columbus. And uh, that storm activity, at least so far, has mostly been damaging winds. We have very strong winds, those green... Areas that you're seeing on the velocities, that would indicate high damaging winds. We do have a small broad area of rotation that's north of Worthington, north of Columbus, near Westerville. We'll have to watch that closely. And just a little north there of Columbus, small little area of rotation. Yeah, we'll stay on this storm again, just north of Columbus right now. Also, an update for those that are behind the storms. Um, essentially, if you're anywhere west of this line, you are done with storms. So you are D-O-N-E. You're done. <laughs> you're done with storms. 
what weather radar is this this is radar omega you can download it with the top link in the description below on ios and android I wish I was done with storms. I wish you were too. We've been live. I posted a, I made a post about this last night. We've been live 14 or 13. Yeah, 13 out of the last 17 days. So we've been live 13 different days this month for severe weather coverage. And we've been live now for a total of 65 hours. 65 total hours in the last 17 days. Which obviously might not sound like, you know, it, it sounds like kind of like a, like a full-time job almost. It's not there yet, but, you know, it's it sounds like it's a 40-hour per week sort of thing. But you, you, need to, you need to, you know, realize that there's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that I do too before and even after live streams. It's not just we're live, you know. There's always stuff that happens before and after. And even with that being said, you know, I make videos too. We haven't had a, few, a video in a couple days, but like, you know, a lot of those days that we were live, we also had a video the morning of. So uh, there's a lot that goes into doing this stuff. It's uh, very time consuming, but yeah, we again, we've probably about 90 hours at least. I think in the last couple of weeks, it's been pretty crazy. Getting some uh, reports of small hail in Dublin. This is from Marianne on Twitter. Some small hail. Some cheese curd sized hail falling in Dublin, Ohio. Thank you guys, by the way, for all of you for sending in photos on Twitter. <laughs> if you ever come to Ohio, I'll buy you a few rounds. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be in Ohio anytime soon. Hey, Douglas, for the four ninety nine. how bad do you think Pittsburgh will get? I'm starting to think I should look into a storm shelter. Um, I mean, honestly, Pittsburgh, I feel like you don't really need one. Need one, but like, you know, it's not its not a bad thing to have. It's just, I don't feel like it's super necessary. Uh, let's check out the latest triple R or la latest H triple R computer model run. So this is for tonight. This is um, right about now. This would be six, seven. The so storms will be there around eight or so. I honestly think the main con concern by that point will be damaging winds, maybe an isolated tornado. Uh, I think the tornado risk, though, for really anywhere near Pittsburgh is quite low. I also think this tornado watch is going probably a little bit too late. It goes until midnight, I believe. Is that somewhere in here? Um, yeah, it goes until midnight right here. Uh, but it goes until midnight tonight. I don't think we're going to have storms that late, maybe in West Virginia until 10. So I think the majority of the severe weather threat today is going to go all the way up until about 9 or 10 in areas like Pennsylvania and West Virginia. And um, again, the main concern being damaging winds, but maybe an isolated tornado or two. That would really honestly be the main concern at this point. Got a, a large area of rotation developing near Nashville and Shreve. That's going to be going towards Canton, by the way, down the road. All right there. Large area of rotation developing. It's very broad, but it is a an area that we'll have to watch for as it approaches Worcester, Millersburg, and Canton. Let me uh, redraw this. There we go. So broad area of circulation right now here. Approaching Shreve and Worcester. And again, we'll continue to keep it posted with the storm as it continues to develop. Is New Philadelphia in the path? You will be in the path of these storms here pretty soon. And your main concern being damaging winds. Friendly reminder, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Again, we'll be live here with severe weather coverage for the next several hours, most likely. And, um, yeah, we'll keep it posted with the latest. 
as these storms do continue to evolve. We've had no reports yet today of any sort of confirmed tornadoes. I'm going to see if we have anything updated on the Storm Prediction Center website, but I don't think we've had anything confirmed today at this point. Yeah, we've had no confirmed tornadoes. We've had 17 um, wind damage reports across areas like Ohio and uh, Michigan. Uprooted trees reported near Detroit from earlier. Multiple large tree branches down near Toledo. Near Mansfield, we also had multiple trees down on Route 97 between Butler and Belleville. And tree and utility poles down as well, west of Mansfield. A box truck was blown over over in Coldwater, Ohio. And that was right around lunchtime, so we've actually had that reported too. A few various reports of damage. Obviously, there's been more than that, but we've had a lot of various reports of damage. There's a couple of areas I'd be watching. We, we have a few areas of rotation. Um, let's go south to north, though. I just want to see if there's anything down here. Uh, the rotation, I, I don't see any rotation here near Columbus. Again, it's mainly damaging winds right now. Uh, further north, though, with this activity, again, we have that large, broad area of circulation south of Shreve. That's this right here. So a large, broad area of rotation. And then back up here near Cleveland. There was a little bit of rotation on this low top supercell, or not really supercell, but low top cell um, near LaGrange. So we'll have to watch this one too as it moves northeast. Interstate 80, Strongsville, and North Olmsted will be in the track of that down the road. So we'll have to watch that storm in case it does try to produce anything. Uh, again, it's, it's a relatively low chance, and if we got a tornado with a storm like this, it would be on the brief side of things and probably weak because it is just such a small little cell. It's not going up too high in the atmosphere, but that would be a storm to watch for. I think a better shot for a tornado, though, is with this activity down here near Worcester. And this large area of rotation that's going to be approaching Shreve right now, and it's eventually going to be going towards uh, Canton, New Philadelphia, and Worcester. Thank you, Tony, for becoming a minimum velocity member. I do appreciate that, and welcome to the Velocities. Largest tail I saw was about pea-sized tail in Dublin. That is cheese curd-sized tail. Some cheese curd-sized tail over there in Dublin. We had a video of that. Um, I did retweet it on Twitter. And once again, if you do have any photos or videos, you can tweet me on Twitter at MaxVelocityWX. And again, we do have Storm Chaser Connor Croft with us, bottom right of your screen. Um, we also have live cameras. I'm not sure if we have anything on those. Let me check. We have some virtual rail fan cameras. I'm not sure. I don't think we have any storms in those areas yet. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else right now, but if we get anything on those, we'll pull them up. This is from Columbus from Nightly or Night Owl on Twitter. Very ominous skies in the Columbus area. Pretty typical, looks like a spring day here in Ohio. <laughs> Not a typical spring day, but it is a spring day here in Ohio. We got a little notch developing near Shreve. This is a little bit concerning right here. We got a little notch developing. And we could get a tornado with that if it, if it ends up intensifying a little bit. We do have a little kind of notch developing there near Shreve. So again, if you are in this area near Shreve, I would make sure that you are, again, continuing to stay in your safe place. Just at least away from windows. This is from uh, Shoe Guy on, on Twitter, too. Wow. This is a really impressive view of this storm. Zoom out. Let me center this a bit more. Look at that. That is the, that's a beast of a storm. That was in northern Columbus in the, the uh, Dublin area. This is the leading edge of the damaging wind threat right here. Got the shelf cloud. You got a massive rain shaft, kind of like an eerie blue almost in there. Cyan color. That's an impressive view, though, of that storm that went through Columbus, uh, near Columbus, near Dublin. My brother in Columbus said he had marble-sized hail. Once again, some small cheese curd-sized hail on the north side there of Columbus.
thank you panther for the 499 super chat what's the difference between straight line wins and a tor and tornado wins uh straight line wins is when we have straight line wins like they're going one direction to another uh, but when we have like a tornadic storm like something that's you know a, a tornado they are gonna spin more so if there's like you know if there's damage let's just say there's a couple trampolines they're probably gonna be looking in the same direction so like any damage that we see will probably be oriented west to east um so like that would be kind of the direction but if we have a tornado things are gonna kind of be all over the place and they're kind of gonna be like you know just in different areas like something might be facing like this something might be like this like that sort of thing like if you know what i mean like again any any sort of rotation that we have any sort of like tornado that happens usually things are thrown around more in different areas and oriented different ways but straight line wins almost all the time you're going to just see items like loose line items or trampolines or whatever look in the same direction across the board And we are watching a damaging wind threat right now north of Columbus, Ohio. Uh, if you're in Columbus, again, you still got some storms in your vicinity. Actually going through Columbus right now. Uh, main concern again right now is going to be the threat of damaging winds and some isolated quarter-sized hail. We actually did have quarter-sized hail reported there in Dublin, Ohio. And then in addition to that, uh, that hail core will be moving towards Heath and Newark here in south central parts of ohio but we are still watching for some rotation back west of canton so um we are watching this area pretty closely there is still a tornado possible label this warning just got upgraded we're up to 70 mile per hour damaging winds now near Shreve and Worcester. That'll be approaching Canton, Massillon, I think, as well as uh, Berlin and Millersburg. So damaging winds now up to 70 miles per hour out of this, moving to the east. If you're in Canton or Worcester, make sure that you're going to be staying away from windows as the storm does make its approach. That is an intensifying area of storm activity. I'm not ruling out an isolated tornado near Shreve either. That storm's been, again, increasing a little bit when it comes to the uh, inflow on that storm. And then the Cleveland storms right now that are just west of Cleveland, those are not severe as of right now. And the severe thunderstorm watch across Michigan has all been canceled aside from a couple areas, which uh, I would expect this entire watch to just be canceled here soon. Large tree fell onto the road in Warren, Michigan as well. So we've had some um, reports there of damage. And this is a live radar Omega cyclone port north of Detroit. So things are clearing out right now in Detroit. So if you're Michigan, you're basically done with severe weather and you can... Go about your day. But if you're in Ohio and Pennsylvania and West Virginia, we are still far from done as this tornado watch does go again until midnight tonight in Pennsylvania and West Virginia. The tornado watch across much of central Ohio will go all the way until 7 o'clock. So that one's a little bit shorter, but obviously the one that's back over in Pennsylvania will be going till midnight tonight. So we are still well away from done from this event being done. Hopefully it's done soon. I don't think anybody else wants to deal with severe weather today. Any bad weather for Kentucky? I'm not expecting anything. I, I know Kentucky's in the thumbnail. I couldn't change the thumbnail before the, uh, the outlook came out because the new outlook basically removed Kentucky. And not really much was expected in Kentucky anyway, but you were under a marginal threat. Uh, that ended up getting removed, though, uh, recently. There are some storms down in Alabama, but... Again, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. So I do apologize. The thumbnail is not updated. Kind of, we went live before that update came out. <clears throat> I do a broadcast on March fourteenth. Uh, yeah, I believe so. If that was the tornado outbreak in Ohio, I was live, and we were also with Connor Croft. I, I didn't go live though until like the night. Yeah, once again, guys, we have multiple areas of rotation. Um, we have a little bit of, like, very weak rotation right now near... Um... That is a little concerning. This is a minute old, but that looks to be pretty... Pretty strong area of rotation right there. Um, let's put it in a loop here. 
Yeah, that may have been a brief tornado there north of New Al 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 Albany, uh, north of Columbus. Let's see if this radar gives us any better view of that. But that was a very brief instance there of pretty strong rotation. And the correlation coefficient is not going to be our friend today, so I guess we're not going to look at that. Um, yeah, that, that right there, just briefly, let's go back in time a little bit. There might have been a brief tornado uh, near Harlem. Near Fancher Road. Is anybody on Fancher Road or Harlem? You guys hear anything or see anything? Maybe have been a brief tornado right there. That's just north of New Albany. North of um, Highway 161 and north of Columbus. It's, it's weakened out now, so if there is a tornado, it's lifted. But there was, at least briefly there, possibly a tornado. Hailing in a few spots around, around Westerville. That might have been a brief tornado. Yeah, there's no tornado warning here, but there might have been something brief there. Uh, that's weakened out entirely in the last couple of scans. Um, this was... I don't know what time this was at. Was that 526? That was 526. Let me go back to reflectivity at 526. Yeah, that, that was possibly a tornado there briefly, or maybe even just a funnel cloud. We don't have a CC on this radar because it's a it's the airport radar site. They only have reflectivity and the base velocity. So unfortunately, we can't use a CC on that one. But um, if anybody's in that area, feel free to go, you know, maybe go look or something. I don't know. It, look, it looked like there may have been a brief tornado there, though. I can't, I can't confirm it by radar. We don't have the correlation coefficient. That's really the only way we could confirm it. We do have a large, broad area of rotation near Millersburg right now in Ohio, just south of Worcester. That's going to be making an approach eventually towards Canton and Beach City. So damaging winds once again up to 70 miles per hour still remains a threat here as this storm does continue to move to the east. And Connor Croft is looking at a storm right now. He's near Delaware, Ohio. He's kind of on the back side of the storms right now. Yeah, that rotation here is getting a little bit stronger. It's a little bit. Near Millersburg and Berlin. It's a pretty large, broad area of rotation, but it definitely could produce an isolated tornado threat. As it moves towards Beach City, Mount Hope, Brewster, and eventually going towards Canton. I live in Delaware, in Ohio. Delaware, Ohio. Delaware, Ohio is not seeing anything right now. Uh, Connor's just on the back side of that storm. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing any rotation again in uh, the Columbus area. Uh, we do have a hail core, though, growing. Um, potential for quarter, half-dollar-sized hail near Interstate 71 north of Columbus. So right there north of Columbus, we do have a hail core that is in progress. Correlation coefficient is picking up on a little bit of hail there. So um, if you are near Gahana, I would stay away from windows. Northeast there of Columbus, Ohio, we do have a hail core that is growing. That will be moving towards Jersey, Highway 161, and near New Albany over the next several minutes. Got hail downtown, hail east of Columbus. Got a lot of reports of hail at this point. Oh. A new tornado warning has been issued. I got you, Sam. I got you. Um, brand new tornado warning northeast of Columbus. Yet again. This is the storm we were just talking about, I think, unless this is the one further north. Yeah, this is the storm, I think, that just produced a tornado. So this is for Johnsontown and Fredonia. I, I, we were just talking about this. I think this did produce a tornado. Um, if not, we have another chance for a tornado now near Johnsontown. Uh, if you're in this warning, seek shelter away from windows, lowest floor possible.
And that's possibly on the ground. So if you're in this tornado warning, again, get to your safe place away from windows, lowest floor possible. This tornado could be on the ground at any time. It also might just be on the ground right now. It's um, We'll check out the correlation coefficient from down to the south. But that is a strong pocket of rotation going right into Johnstown, Ohio. It'll be approaching Cokesbury Corners, Bear Corners, and Fredonia. Once again, Johnstown, you need to be in your safe place immediately. There may be a tornado on the ground right now. I'm going to see if we got any sort of verification from the correlation coefficient. We are um, we're a bit far away from the storm from this radar site. Yeah, we're, man, the, the radar the radar has been horrible today. This is we're, we're not going to look at that. All right, we're not going to get any verification by radar, but we will at least tell you that again. There's strong rotation over Johnstown, and this could produce a tornado again at any time, and it might already be on the ground. So if you're in Johnstown, you need to get to your safe place immediately, away from windows and on the lowest floor possible interior room of your home or building we have some quarter sized hail falling in the columbus area by the way that is some that's a pretty solid sized cheese curd there in columbus so we do have some hail that's falling there near columbus in the campus area that was sent in there by chelsea on twitter uh but again tornado warning right now that it does include johnstown seek shelter immediately if you're in the storm it is a, a relatively small tornado warning but uh, this storm, again, I do think produced a tornado a few minutes ago. Can't verify it by radar, but that rotation was tight enough to the point where it may have been on the ground. And it looks like it's recycling and trying to produce another tornado. And this will be moving right into Johnstown. So, again, make sure that you are staying in your shelter spot. That is a bathroom, a basement, a storm shelter. Away from windows, lowest floor possible. And this is not far from Columbus. I'm zoom out a little bit, but... This is only about 15, 20 miles northeast of Columbus right now. All right, here it's a little bit broader on the latest scan. And this could be on the ground, though. It could still be on the ground. A possible tornado there near Johnstown. Let me uh, do this again. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of scrolling around a lot. But that right there, again, would be your area of rotation. Near Johnstown, Ohio. It'll be moving towards Fredonia over the next several minutes. And also, there is another broad area of rotation near Canton, Ohio. It's going to be approaching that area soon. We are still watching that storm closely. It is not tornado warned, but there is a broad area of rotation there. We'll go back to that storm in a few minutes. Let's see if we have any reports on this storm. Once again, tornado warning. If you're just tuning in for Ohio, it's going to be for those in Johnstown, Ohio. This is um, a storm that may have already produced a tornado. If we go back a few scans, you'll see it was a pretty strong area of rotation before the tornado warning. Uh, but in the last few scans, it has re-strengthened. So that's why they issued a new tornado warning here for Johnstown. Right, again, radar indicated rotation for the time being. So if you're in this tornado warning, again, stay in your safe place. That is a basement, a storm shelter, a closet, or a bathroom away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. But this could drop a tornado at any time if it didn't already do so. No new reports on this storm, though, as of right now. The only verification we're going to get of a tornado on this will be from a, you know, like somebody observing it. Because the correlation coefficient is just is horrendous right now. We, we can't see anything from that radar site down to the southwest. Due to the hail that's falling near Columbus, it's playing a factor right now into us being able to see anything here. But with the last couple of scans, the rotation has broadened out a little bit here. It's not nearly as strong. So that's some good news. <laughs> Obviously, the bad news is that we could still get a tornado. The hail is definitely in Columbus. We had hail here in Grandview. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people reporting about hail in Columbus. Let's just real quickly go back down to this radar site. Wow. Yeah, that's hail. 
Look at that thing. That's a huge hail core right now near Gahana. Or Ga Gahana. Gahana? Gahana? Whatever it is. There, that's some significant hail right there. And that's why the correlation coefficient has this massive area here that's just blue. It cannot detect anything far away. That's that's definitely hail. Um, it's going through near the Columbus area. That hail core is getting bigger. It's, it's not shrinking. Gahanna, thank you. So yeah, this is Gahanna. It's getting some really significant hail right now. Now, again, our rotation and our tornado warning is for those in Johnstown. So that right there is the potential for a tornado. Pretty rain-wrapped area. And then this right here, again, is hail. That's some pretty significant hail, again, just north of Columbus. And I am getting some reports from people, again, that there has been some hail on the north side of Columbus, as in, like, this area near Interstate 71. I've seen a couple of photos on Twitter as well of hail that large. Again, you can check out those photos on our Twitter page, at MaxVelocityWX. Here's some hail near Gahan or Gahana. Gahana. Gahana from a Night Owl. So once again, some hail there. Cheese curd sized hail falling there. Quarter sized hail in Gahana. Yeah, but that's it's probably around quarter to half dollar sized hail there. <clears throat> Is it Kahana? <laughs> I don't know which one it is anymore. Either way, again, that's a pretty significant hail core right there. That That's actually going right toward Vince. It's uh, near New Albany, um, north of Reynoldsburg. It's going to be approaching Jersey. And eventually going towards Highway 16. Gahanna. All right, we're going to go with that. Pronunciations have not been my friend today whatsoever. <laughs> they usually aren't too bad in Ohio. We usually don't have issues with that. Once again, tornado warning still ongoing for Johnstown, Ohio, near Fredonia. Uh, rotation's been broadening out. This warning might get canceled, but stay in your safe place if you're near Johnstown or Fredonia, as there is still a chance here for a tornado. This may have already produced a tornado, so if you know any friends or family near Harlem, uh, please make sure to make sure that they're doing all right. There may have been a brief tornado there. It's not confirmed, but radar did show a strong pocket of rotation here earlier, and I'll go back in time to show you. So there was a possible tornado here. It was right along um, the Fancher Road. So Fancher Road was the area in Harlem, Ohio, where we may have had a brief tornado. We also may have had a brief tornado on the west side of Johnstown. So if you know any friends or family in those areas, just make sure that they're, you know, doing fine. It was probably weak anyway, but, you know, there may have been a tornado in either one of those spots. It looks like that rotation is fizzling, though, but we'll we'll keep a close eye on it as that storm does continue to move to the east. Pretty rain-wrapped area, too. I'm just going to outline two different areas that we're looking at. We got hail right now near Gahanna, and we also got rotation near Johnstown. We still have rotation on the storms that are back up north near uh, or nearing Canton. We'll go to them if they become more concerning, and we'll probably go to them after this tornado warning to give you an update, but there's nothing imminent. Just keep that in mind. But that's near Brewster and Beach City. All right, tornado warning has been canceled. Uh, I was kind of expecting that. <clears throat> that rotation was weakening pretty quickly. That right there again would be your hail core that we're watching for. Uh, we have a report of five to six inches of water flowing on High Street in Grandview Heights. Wow. That is actually, that's surprising, wow. So it hasn't rained that much, but it must be like a low-lying area. There's a lot of rain and also a lot of hail falling in that area. When are we getting a cheese curd emoji? Uh, remind me tonight and I'll try to do it. I'm getting hungry for cheese curds. Wow, this is the hail in Gahanna right now. That is a lot of hail. 
That's from Troy Currents on Twitter. A lot of hail falling in this area. There was likely a tornado, by the way, in Bucky Russ, Ohio. I'm going to retweet photos on Twitter. We were covering that storm earlier. Uh, very likely that we had a tornado on the ground, though, there. In, um, in Bucky Russ. And then, we were, again, that was tornado warned earlier. We were covering it live. So, looks like at this point that there was likely a tornado there. There's some pretty significant damage. We're talking about a huge tree that got uprooted. Um, a lot of damage to downtown. It looks like a completely, a, a roof collapsed of like a convenience store. So a ton of different stuff there in, in Bucky Russ. <laughs> I'm never going to get that pronunciation. Buck Russ. Is it Buck Russ? Busey Russ? <laughs> <laughs> the amount of pronunciations you guys are giving me. <laughs> I'm never getting it. It's it's over. <laughs> Bucky's? Yeah, that's Bucky's. Bucky Russ. <laughs> the entire chat is telling me how to say this. Busey Russ. Busey Russ. I'm getting I'm getting so many different pronunciations. Hey Tucker, do you have any idea of how to pronounce that? <laughs> I mean, I've been calling it Bucky's for the most part today, even though it's not Bucky's. It's close enough. <clears throat> you gotta learn how to pronounce them. Ohio towns. We hardly ever do Ohio coverage. We've done it a few times this year, but it's it's not <laughs> it's rare. My mod doesn't know how to say it, so <laughs> we're we're in a great place. All right, Bucky Russ. Is that how you say it, Bucky Russ? We'll go with Bucky's. <laughs> oh man. Neither do I. All right, neither of my chat moderators know how to say it, so. How many people live there? Is it is it populated? Seems like all of you guys know how to say it other than me. I'm becoming an English major also. Yeah, we're going for that. Busey Russ? I mean, uh, I've gotten 13 different pronunciations for this place. Bucyrus. Why is that the pronunciation? Why? Thank you, Jared, for the $5 super chat. Go get yourself some Culver's cheese curds. Thank you. I will be getting some cheese curds undoubtedly tonight. <clears throat> I am craving some Culver's. Bucyrus. All right, cool. Yeah, that's that makes no sense, but okay. <laughs> Uh, new severe thunderstorm warning for 80 mile per hour damaging winds. Wow, that is a big upgrade. This is a destructive storm in Southern Stark County uh, for damaging winds right now up to 80 miles per hour. This is radar indicated, but a destructive storm right now approaching the south side of Canton with 80 mile per hour damaging winds. You need to be seeking shelter if you're in this warning. That's like an EF, like that's a, like, it's basically a tornado type winds that are right now going through areas near Brewster and uh, Beach City, <clears throat> just south of Canton. Wow. Again, 80 mile per hour winds with the storm near Brewster. Gonna be approaching Canton over the next several minutes. That is, that was not, I was not expecting that. Wow. If you guys are in Brewster Beach City, you need to be treating this like a tornado warning. That is, again, <clears throat> 80 mile per hour damaging winds that are being indicated by radar uh, near Brewster and Beach City. This will be moving towards the south side of Canton. 
And once again, this is moving eastbound. So areas just south of Canton, you need to be staying away from windows. That's a pretty dangerous storm right now. Navier, is that how you say that? I was trying not to say that name, but yeah, Navier also in the track of the storm. You need to be in your safe place. If you're in any of these three locations, you need to be there right now as there is a potential for, again, 80 mile per hour damaging winds. That is a destructive supercell that is currently moving into this area. Destructive storm. Navar, thank you. I think we've at least had one confirmed tornado today. <clears throat> uh, the one confirmed tornado would be in... Oh, I don't have to say it anymore. Oh, man. This is horrendous. <laughs> View Cyrus. There we go. I got it in the chat. All right. Thank you, JD. <laughs> View Cyrus, we did have a confirmed tornado, I believe. Uh, we've had at least reports of tornado-like damage there. Uh, I have retweeted photos of that damage on Twitter. Again, that's at Max Velocity WX. But, um, yeah. That's the only one that we've at least had likely confirmed at this point. Do I ever eat? Um, yes. I ate before I went live. I ate a horrendous McDonald's double, or not double, a, a quarter pounder. Just a regular quarter pounder. <clears throat> it was horrendous. Once again, if you are just tuning in, we are looking at a destructive storm right now that is just down to the south of Canton, Ohio. This is near uh, Navarre and Brewster and Beach City. Going eastbound, going towards Waynesburg. So once again, destructive storm in progress. 80 mile per hour damaging winds are essentially like a tornado, a weak tornado um, that are going through this area. That's straight line damaging winds. I almost can guarantee you that there's going to be some sort of flying trampoline here. Uh, that's going to go flying in this area south of Canton. So again, make sure that you are staying away from windows if you are in that severe thunderstorm warning. Again, it's anywhere in this yellow box. It does not include Mineral City, but Mineral City, you're also looking at damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. So still relatively significant here. By the way, thank you, JD, for the $10 super chat. I do appreciate that. So Bucky's Ohio. Yeah, I got a I got a quarter pounder with cheese and bacon. It was horrendous. I no, just no, thank you. I'm done. I'm done with quarter pounders. And uh, we do. We're up to eight severe thunderstorm warnings again. We have a lot of severe thunderstorm warnings again across Ohio. All of those are in Ohio. I think there might be one in. Oh my goodness, we got another one, I think. All right, this is a, a slew of destructive storms right now. So it's not just this storm, it's this entire area between Canton and New Philadelphia. The potential for damaging winds up to 80, mile per, 80, 80 miles per hour is uh, going to be possible. So once again, this area of storms right now is producing significant damaging winds. We are talking 80 mile per hour winds near New Philadelphia, just south of Canton. Once again, if you are currently in this area that I just circled, you need to make sure that you are staying away from windows. I would treat this as if it is a tornado warning because we are talking about significant damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour right now that are moving into areas near Canton, New Philadelphia, back through Warsaw. So once again, it's this entire area that is under the gun for this threat. This is just a Boeing segment. It's, I mean, this isn't a squall line by any means, and it's a pretty small cluster of storms. Um, this is radar indicated, so it's... <clears throat> it hasn't been reported at any spot here. Uh, but these are, again, destructive storms right now in eastern Ohio. South of Cleveland, south of Akron, near Canton, Warsaw, New Philadelphia. 
I'm gonna see if we have any rotation on any of these storms. <clears throat> the rotation down here is pretty weak right now, pretty broad. Um, back near Columbus, it looks like most of those storms are behaving themselves when it comes to the uh, tornado risk. I'm not seeing really any rotation there. So really, the main concern right now is this storm here that's producing 80 mile per hour damaging winds. <laughs> oh goodness, we got another pronunciation wrong. It's it's just that kind of day here in Ohio. We're up to uh, nine severe thunderstorm warnings, and a new one is issued now for Cambridge and Zanesville. Main concern, damaging winds up to 60, as well as quarter-sized hail. This storm is moving um, east at 45 miles per hour, this particular storm. It's going to be going towards Augusta, Carrollton, and long-term, it will go towards East Liverpool. And Stubbinville, Steubenville. Oh my goodness, these pronunciations. I'd even get, is it Akron? Is that what it is? Akron? Pronunciations have just been so horrendous today for me. It's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> Somebody just added me on Twitter and said, my daughter and I are laughing so hard at you right now because you don't know how to say these town names. <laughs> Uh, I I I don't even have I I have an excuse I mean I don't I don't know just it's how it's going. I thought Wisconsin town names were hard to pronounce. I think Ohio might be getting close to being around that, maybe even higher than that. Akron, thank you. Ak Akron is what it is. So south of Akron is where we do have that, again, potential for damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour right now. Next time we cover Ohio, I'm probably not going to remember, like, any of these. So this is... <laughs> Unless it's relatively soon. <laughs> Nine warnings and 32 city corrections. That's... Uh, I'm gonna have to put, like, a list down or something for these pronunciations. Once again, we got damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour. Uh, this will be approaching New Philadelphia, just south of Canton. This looks kind of interesting. Um, let's take off smoothing here. Almost got, like, a backwards... Hook kind of developing on this storm. If you remember from yesterday's live stream, we had like a mini hurricane. Almost looks like that here. Uh, southwest of Canton. All right, quick update on the other storms. Um, just real quick. Uh, we do have a storm right now that is near Mount Sterling going towards Baltimore and Lancaster, Ohio, south of Columbus. This storm is blowing up in intensity. Um, again, it is producing the threat of large hail and damaging winds. That is up to half dollar sized hail and 60 mile per hour damaging winds that'll be moving towards Lancaster. We also have a severe thunderstorm warning near Zanesville and Cambridge. We also have another one uh, back near Newark and Heath. Those storms are quarter sized hail producers and 60 mile per hour damaging winds. And as of now, I'm not really seeing any rotation with those storms. So good news, at least for now. We have a severe thunderstorm warning back over in Pennsylvania, north of Pittsburgh. That is for quarter sized hail and 60 mile per hour damaging winds. And once again, just south of Canton, this is where we have a dangerous storm that is producing 80 mile per hour wind gusts. So once again, this is a destructive storm if you are in the areas near, near New Philadelphia, just south of Canton. Significant damaging winds will be possible, upwards of 80 miles per hour. That is again, essentially like a tornado that's going to be ripping through this area near Canton and New Philadelphia. <laughs> Guys, I'm not, I'm not pronouncing more names. Uh, whatever names are on the map here that I can pronounce or pronounce on those. <laughs> People are trying to test me now on other other names. Uh, thank you, Jennifer, for the $5 super chat. You can pronounce town names however you want. I appreciate that. Thank you. And also, thank you, JD, for another generous $10 super chat. Steubenville? I, I don't even know where that is. 
Appreciate the ten dollars super chat. Uh, we do have some rotation beginning to try to develop here near Mineral City. Watch out for this if you're near Mineral City. <clears throat> rotation is beginning to develop a little bit right now. Just south of Canton near Mineral City. A little bit of rotation. It's inside of that hook. Let me, uh... This. A little bit of rotation there. Not tornado worn, but that would be... An area that we're watching for potentially maybe a tornado. It's broad rotation, not strong at, it, at, it, at it by any means right now, but it'll be something to watch for as that continues to move east northeast. Oh, man. <clears throat> Unfortunate. Rip to this trampoline. This is from Brody on Twitter. He says, trampoline update. I had to remove the, the AI or Al of the parts and fix it. I don't know what that means. Uh, advice for people in the stream, tie down your trampolines. I cannot say that enough. Yeah, th th this right here is just, that trampoline is a goner. That's a broken trampoline if I've ever seen one. I know today is not tossing trampolines on Tall Trees Thursday. It's wacky weather Wednesday, but you know, tra flying trampolines are a risk any day of the week. Here's your flying trampoline meter. And we're under a medium risk today. Uh, I've seen a couple of different flying trampolines now. And that obviously would represent what we're basically seeing out there is that medium flying trampoline risk. Maybe not going up into a power pole, for example, but um, definitely on ground level, pretty damaged and whatnot. So yeah, flying trampoline meter today is at a medium risk. Thank you, June, for the 999. Really green and gray near Canton, Ohio. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Uh, sounds like you think it'll go under us. Yeah, this storm will just stay to your south. It's it's not going into your area. Got an area of rotation, it looks like, developing south of Cleveland. Let me take off 14 frames here. Nope, just went away. A little strong spot of rotation there, briefly. They have had a brief tornado, possibly. We do have the correlation coefficient here that's operational. Doesn't show any debris, but it may have been a brief, brief something, maybe a spin up our funnel cloud. <clears throat> that's uh, just south of Cleveland. Might have been something. Probably something brief. <clears throat> yeah, I think if you're in Canton, I think the majority of these storms will stay just to your south. Uh, once again, we still do have a destructive storm here that is producing damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. So, or 80 miles per hour, which again is like a EF0 type tornado. So if you are near New Philadelphia or just south of Canton, make sure that you are staying away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. Falling trees and falling power lines are pretty likely out of the storm. And uh, we got some pretty large hailstorms back down to the south. Oh my goodness. There are so many hail reports in Columbus. It's unbelievable. For those in Columbus, I feel for you. There was a lot of hail reports. Uh, let's go back down to the south. We do have a storm near... Uh, Route 23, this is producing half-dollar sized hail and 60 mile per hour damaging winds. This will be approaching Baltimore and Lancaster over the next several minutes. And then we also have a storm near Cambridge, New Concord, and Zanesville. This one's going to be producing 60 mile per hour damaging winds and quarter sized hail on its approach. For some reason, Connor just got a notification about a tornado warning <clears throat> on his radio, but there's no tornado warning. So that's, is there a tornado warning in Alabama?
I, I don't even I, I I don't have anything on here. <clears throat> that was weird. Yeah, there's there's no tornado warning. <clears throat> I think it was just a late warning from earlier. <clears throat> All right. Thank you, Mouse, for the $10 super chat. Um, anything for Youngstown, Ohio? Where is Youngstown? Let me find it. Um. Oh, you're back out here to the east. Uh, we still got probably 30 to 45 minutes before any storms are new, near you, but the main concern is going to be damaging winds and maybe an isolated tornado threat. That's really the main concern for your area. But you're still a good 30 to 45 minutes from the storms. By the way, if you need a weather radar app to keep you posted with the latest on storms, I highly recommend that you down, download Radar Omega. That is the top link in the description below. You can download Radar Omega on your iOS and Android device with the top link in the description below. It has tons of features like the live radar feed, which you can use the reflectivity, velocity, correlation coefficient, all sorts of tools like that. It also comes with this handy dandy tracking tool that you can track out storms with. Put a speed in for the storm and it will be able to track it out and it'll, you'll basically get an ETA of when a storm is going to be arriving to your location with a minute by minute breakdown for every location. Um, in addition to that, it has things like computer models and as well as satellite imagery and much more. Again, you can download Radar Omega with the top link in the description below. A new tornado warning has been issued. All right, we have a new tornado warning. Uh, that's going to be including areas near Mineral City, Summitville, and Sal Salineville, or Salineville um, in Ohio. And if you're in this tornado warning, seek shelter immediately away from windows, lowest floor possible, interior room of your home or building. That right there is your rotation. We were talking about this a few minutes ago. Um, and they've now issued a tornado warning on that couplet that was developing. So if you're a mineral city, again, seek shelter right now. You got to get there now. You got to run. The, if there is a tornado, it would be right over you. And then Augusta, Summitville, Salineville or Salineville, and Carrollton and Delroy will be in the track of this over the next several minutes. So again, tornado warning south of Cleveland. Once again, this is near Mineral City. Got to get to your safe place. That's a basement or storm shelter away from windows, lowest floor possible. And if there is a tornado with this, it is likely rain wrapped. There isn't any CC drop, so we don't have anything confirmed by radar yet. But that area of rotation is near Mineral City. Uh, once again, it has been developing for the last several minutes now. And it's just becoming organized enough to the point where they've now issued a tornado warning. So, again, radar indicated rotation. Not confirmed as of right now, but we could have a tornado drop at any time. This will, again, be right over Mineral City right now. And it's going to be going towards Delroy, Carrollton, Ohio. Eventually towards Augusta and Summitville. So again, get to your safe place fearing this tornado warning. Um, and also this does include, so this is Jefferson County, Columbiana County, and Tuscar Awas County in Ohio. And the rotation right now is located near East Sparta or near Dover, moving east at 45 miles per hour. It's radar indicated rotation. Uh, so a very fast moving storm here. And it will continue to move eventually towards East Liverpool down the road. Um, and it'll probably stay, this, this, this storm in particular, going to stay south of Youngstown. Here's your latest radar scan. I'm not seeing much here. Um, again, there is rotation. Not seeing any CC drop. So again, not a confirmed tornado. But it looks like it's a more broad area of circulation again. But again, that would be if we get a tornado, it would be right there in that particular area. Here's another radar view of it. So there's there's definitely a rotation. It just it doesn't look super impressive. No CC drop. That's another view of the rotation, though. Again, near Mineral City, Ohio. 
This will again be approaching areas near Carrollton and Augusta in the next 10 minutes. So if you're in those two locations, make sure that you're going to your safe place away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. And once again, this is moving east. So Mineral City, Lake Mohawk, Delroy, Carrollton, Selineville, and Summitville are all included again in this tornado warning. Again, this is in east central Ohio, south of Cleveland. It is an area of rotation that could produce a tornado at any time. Just south of Waynesburg, just south of Canton. This is moving directly to the east at 45 miles per hour. All right, so we're, since we're in between radar scans, I'm going to go look a little bit further down to the south. We have also a little bit of broad rotation near New Philadelphia, it looks like, maybe? No, that's not rotation. Never mind. Uh, anything here near New Philadelphia, that's mostly just straight line winds. And again, your rotation, and the only area of rotation that we have right now that is of some concern is the one that is right now near Mineral City. This is, again, going to be moving towards Lake Mohawk and Carrollton in Ohio. And this is moving directly east at about 45 miles per hour. Um, also near Zanesville. Might have some rotation there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check this out with the other radar. I I'm not seeing much on the Zanesville storm. I had a couple people mentioning this. Uh, Zanesville storm doesn't look super concerning right now. I, I definitely still stay weather aware though there. I know one radar site shown rotation, but it's not super definitive. Also, another pocket looks like a rotation... Maybe near Baltimore. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it might be a little bit. Again, it's broad rotation. I think both of these storms right now have broad rotations. So the one west of Lancaster, broad rotation. The one that's west of Zanesville is also, I think, on the broader side of things. The radar site that's way back up here is looking a bit further away from it. But yeah, there's at least some broad rotation there near Hopewell and Zanesville. So we'll continue to keep a close eye on that. And again, this is your tornado warning right now for those in Mineral City. This is your pocket of rotation. It's right here. So again, right over Mineral City. It'll be approaching Carrollton, Selineville, Augusta, and Lake Mohawk over the next few minutes. And stay in your safe place away from windows, lowest floor possible if you are in this tornado warning. By the way, thank you, Mike, for the very generous $50 super chat. Please put some hearts in the chat for Mike. I really do appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate your generosity. A tornado. Uh, the Weather Channel issued a tornado warning for Newark, but no other source did. What? I don't know about that. But um, Newark, I think, is already done with storms. Near east of Columbus. Oh, you're actually getting storms right now. I mean, you're under a tornado possible label, but there's no tornado warning there. So with that said, there is a tornado possible label. So you should still take that seriously and just at least stay away from windows as there is at least some broad circulation that is basically in that area. <clears throat> Once again, tornado warning issued south of Canton, Ohio. This is going to be approaching Carrollton and Augusta and Lake Mohawk over the next few minutes. And stay in your safe place away from windows, lowest floor possible. If you are in this tornado warning, that is a storm shelter, basement, bathroom, or closet. We have not had anything confirmed on this storm as of yet. Correlation coefficient is not confirming anything. It is showing a little bit of something here on this latest scan, but I don't think that's enough. Let's see what the velocities look like. Might have something there. We'll see. Waiting for the velocities update. I mean, it doesn't look really impressive. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing any CC drop. So as of right now, again, it, there is still some rotation here near Carrollton. Again, moving eastbound. But I'm not super concerned about this right now. But if you're in Carrollton or Augusta, um, I would at least, again, listen to the warning and again, make sure that you do get to your safe place away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. We have another area of rotation once again near uh, Hopewell and Zanesville. I don't think it's this strong. I don't look strong here, but we're looking at a radar site way up to the north. There might be some sort of rotation in the clouds, perhaps, that we're looking at. Um, maybe some sort of rotating wall cloud, but I think the chances of that are still a little bit on the lower side of things. But once again, if you're near Hopewell or Zanesville, I would definitely stay weather aware. Obviously, that storm will be producing damaging winds as it does approach your location. Um, in addition to that, it's also going to produce the threat for some large hail. If it doesn't produce a tornado, you're at least getting a wind threat. So stay vigilant if you're there. Yes, this is radar indicated rotation. We've had zero tornado warnings today that have been confirmed, like during the time of the warning. But in Eucyrus, Ohio, I might have gotten again. Uh, there was likely a tornado there. We had a lot of damage photos. Um, again, you can check those out on our Twitter page at Max Velocity WX. But there was some uh, damage photos in that area in central Ohio that looked very reminiscent of a tornado. Is this unusual to get this many tornado warnings this time of the year? Um, I wouldn't say it's unusual. In, th in this scale, I would say it's not unusual. Um, to have one of these severe weather events in April, it's, it's not unheard of to have something like this. But what we had a few weeks back in March, when we had that tornado outbreak in the Ohio Valley, that was definitely unusual. I'd say an event like this is a little bit more common during this time of the year. Not super common but it's a little bit more common, at least for the Ohio Valley. I'm, in fr I'm from Bucyrus, and I can confirm that we did get hit. The whole town is torn up. Yeah, I, I mean, I saw some damage photos. It, it didn't look, you know, horrible, horrible, like, you know, flattening or something like that, but... Uh, I saw some large trees down and also some uh, power poles down. Some windows were broken through because of flying debris. So uh, almost undoubtedly, that was a tornado. And um, yeah, unfortunately, we were live when that happened, too. It, it, it's hard to tell. We don't have a radar site in the cent central part of Ohio. And there really needs to be a, a radar site in central Ohio. It's It's hard to tell what's happening on radar. And you only can get information from storm chasers. And even then, that tornado that happened was completely rain-wrapped. I mean, that, the rain was crazy on that storm. So, unfortunately, the nature of these storms today is that a lot of them have been rain-wrapped. And those storms can be very difficult to see anything in as a storm chaser. And it makes it harder, too, when, you are a, uh, when you're looking at a radar site that's looking like 10,000 feet up into the sky. By the way, the tornado warning has been condensed as of a few minutes ago. Um, no longer includes really Mineral City. If you are in Mineral City, you are fine. If there is a tornado, it would be located near Delroy, moving towards Carrollton, Augusta, and Summitville here in eastern parts of Ohio. Again, southeast of Canton now. <clears throat> so once again, if you are in this tornado warning, continue to stay in your safe place. Uh, we'll wait for the next radar scan, but broad area of circulation right now near Carrollton. This is going to be approaching Augusta over the next several minutes. This is a uh, population of 21,000, by the way, in eastern central Ohio. This still does include Jefferson, Columbiana, Carroll, and 
Tuscar Awaz counties in uh, eastern Ohio. So that's where this tornado warning still is ongoing. We do have six severe thunderstorm warnings still. And again, this is our only tornado warning as of right now. We do have other severe storms that are still uh, capable of producing hail and damaging winds as the main concerns. Here's a zoomed out look at what's happening. So we got plenty of storms right now across much of Ohio. The tornado watch has just been expanded, so it now includes more of Pennsylvania. And there are a couple of severe storms already ongoing in Ohio, uh, well out in front of the storm activity that's back over in eastern Ohio. Those are not currently tornadic by any means. They are mostly just wind producers. But the main event for those in Pennsylvania is this storm activity that stretches from eastern Ohio back into southern Ohio, near Columbus. Yeah, no correlation coefficient drop, so we don't have a confirmed tornado as of right now. Still radar indicated rotation. Uh, if you want to send photos in, uh, you can send them in via Twitter at MaxVelocityWX. Um, we also have our email. It's down, I think, at the very bottom of the description. But preferably via... Um, Twitter, if possible, or Facebook. That's also down linked below. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of rotation, by the way, near Zanesville. Uh, I know a few people are talking about it. Uh, the rotation from the far northern radar site shows that, but it's more than likely contamination. So just keep that in mind. Again, I'm not super duper concerned about that right now, but we'll keep a close eye on it. New severe thunderstorm warning just southeast of Cleveland. This is for damaging winds and isolated large hail. Uh, we actually have a pocket of rotation on this storm that is trying to develop near Streetsboro. So we'll watch that closely. Just a small little couplet trying to develop there near 303 in Streetsboro. And that's right now moving northeast or north-northeast going towards the Bainbridge area, Aurora, and Twinsburg. And once again, our only tornado warning is for those in Carrollton and Augusta, southeast of Canton in Ohio. Continue to stay in your safe place for the next few minutes in case the storm does try to drop a tornado. <coughs> uh, long range, I'll probably have a forecast on that either tonight or, or actually, no, definitely not tonight. Uh, I'll have a forecast on that probably tomorrow morning. Um, if not, I'll try to talk about it in a little bit. But the main concern is damaging winds, hail, and an isolated tornado threat. But I don't think Jefferson City is really going to be in the bulk of the threat. If you get anything, it would probably just be damaging ones. Because you're pretty far up to the north of where the main activity will be. <clears throat> By the way, for those that are, that are in Columbus, who saw hail? And how large do you, was the maximum hailstone size for you? I've, I've seen a ton of reports of hail in Columbus. Like, I've never seen so many hail reports in my life. I've seen a ton of them on Twitter, too. <clears throat> Happy birthday to your mother, Waco. That's awesome. 50 years. Wow. 50th birthday, the big 5-0. All right, tornado warning has now been canceled. Not surprising, the rotation was pretty minimal anyway, <clears throat> aside from the beginning. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Kaiser, for the 499. Thank you, Defiance, for the 499. I appreciate your super chats. And also, thank you, Jeff, for the 199. Thank you for the excellent coverage. No problem. I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you, Defiance, for the 499 from earlier. What about Washington, Pennsylvania? Um, <clears throat> that is just southwest of Pittsburgh. The main concern, again, damaging winds, maybe an isolated tornado. You'll probably be seeing storms around 8 to 9.30 would be my guess. Give or take half an hour on that time either way. So that's the main concern for your area. Also, thank you, Mike, from earlier for the $10 super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you. Sorry, I missed that. All right, I got all the super chats I think caught up on. <clears throat> Having another severe thunderstorm warning back down near Lancaster, Ohio, for 60 mile per hour damaging winds and quarter sized hail. 
Also, thank you to WX Guy Raven for becoming a Maximum Velocity member. I appreciate that, and welcome to the Velocities. I do think one area that I'm going to watch a little bit here over the next few minutes will be near the, uh, the near the Cleveland area. We did have a couple of spots of rotation here near Cleveland. And though they are not super strong by any means, we could get a brief tornado just southeast of Cleveland. If you're um, southeast of Cleveland in this warning, I would also make sure that you're just staying away from windows. We we'll at least have some rotation here southeast of Cleveland near Bedford and Aurora. And not super strong rotation, but something to watch for as the storm does continue to move to the uh, northeast. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Thinking right now, again, just a couple of maybe brief tornadoes here southeast of Cleveland. We have a strong area of winds right here near the Twinsburg area. That is damaging winds around 60 miles per hour. And again, maybe an isolated brief tornado here as well. Thank you, Leah, for the one ninety nine. Also, thank you, Jess, for the two dollars super chat. Cron Falls. Anything to worry about? Oh, sorry, Akron. I think it's Akron. Um, you're done, pretty much. Yeah, you're done. A few more showers, and then you're done with severe weather. So basically, at this point, here I'm going to list out the places that are done with severe weather. Cleveland, you're done. Akron, you're done. Canton, you're done. And if you're west of those locations, by the way, you're done. So I'll just kind of draw a line. Bada bing, bada boom. Anywhere this direction, you're done. Dayton, you're done. <laughs> but all of you guys are done if you're west and north of that line. The severe weather threat from here is going to be for those in Pittsburgh, uh, southeast Ohio, and then eventually, again, back into uh, western Pennsylvania and northern West Virginia, where the tornado threat will still exist. I was mentioning this beforehand, but if you do need a weather app for today or any other severe weather event, I do highly recommend Radar Omega. Again, you can download Radar Omega on iOS and Android with the top link in the description below on iOS and Android. It has tons of features, including live radar feed, satellite imagery, computer models that you can get with the subscriptions that they have, and a ton more. But what comes with the base app includes like the live radar like we're looking at now, has velocities, correlation coefficient, and a ton of other stuff as well. In addition to that, they have all sorts of things like power outage maps. So we actually can look at the power outages here in Ohio, which are currently 12,000 people. So it's actually not too bad right now. Um, in addition to that, there's lightning detection, storm reports that all pop up in the app they have live storm chasers they have live cameras all across the country again you can download it on ios and android with the top link in the description below on ios and android to download the app it's only $8.99 and that gets you the live radar feed and the live cameras but obviously there are subscriptions as well that you can get to get even more features but i do highly recommend it again it is a, a fantastic weather app that we've been using for about a year now and um it's honestly the best weather app on the market. So check it out, iOS and Android. Top link in the description below on iOS and Android. Thank you, I believe, for the $5 super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying the coverage. Thank you, Hoku, for becoming a three-month moderate velocity member. I appreciate that. Thank you. I can tell you right now that cheese curds are in my future. They are, they are in my future. Also, thank you, Leah, for the other $4.99 Super Chat. I do appreciate that. Thank you, Douglas, for $1.99. What does it mean by an isolated tornado? Uh, isolated tornado is kind of like saying isolated severe storm. It's basically like it's just a low chance. So you kind of think of it like this. Um, I'll make like four charts. We'll do none, which is none. Isolated, which is like, you know, three things or whatever. Um, scattered, which is like more like this. And this is like pretending as if there are storms, not tornadoes. Uh, so like storm-wise, that'd be more scattered. And then like numerous to widespread would just be like almost all of this here. So that's basically what that means. Isolated is like, you know, a, a low chance, basically. Max has been live for almost four hours today. I've been live for almost six hours. We're two minutes away from six hours. <laughs> it's been six hours of coverage today. 
And we're not really done yet. Still got more storms that could still produce a tornado threat in eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. Storm Prediction Center just released a new mesoscale discussion. The severe weather risk will continue. Dun, dun, dun. It is for western Pennsylvania, northern West Virginia, and eastern Ohio. I've had a lot of uh, hail videos sent in to me. By the way, if you guys do have any photos or videos, again, you can mention me on Twitter at MaxVelocityWX. I am retweeting a lot of that stuff. But the hail from earlier, we had a crazy hailstorm there in Columbus. And on the north side, pretty crazy stuff. Thank you, Kathy, for becoming a minimum velocity member. I do appreciate that. And welcome to the velocities. Canton is also clearing out. If you're in Canton, you're done with severe weather. Cheese curds as a pizza topping? That sounds amazing. Actually sounds amazing. I would 100% do that. That might be the best idea I've ever seen in this chat. Holy cow. I'm making that invention. <laughs> I don't know if it's already out there, but man, that'd be amazing. Can we tell Max to take the afternoon off tomorrow? <laughs> No days off when it comes to weather nowadays. Put French fries on your pizza. That sounds horrendous. I'm gonna be honest with you. That sounds that 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 just sounds disgusting. Yeah, tomorrow looks interesting. I'm just gonna quickly pull this up for tomorrow. This is this is tomorrow. We could get some significant storms tomorrow, Missouri and Illinois and Kentucky. I don't know. I don't know. We we might have to go live. Storms will fire up around six or five in DFW, five, six o'clock. All right, I, th I think this is the plan. All right, I think we'll see. Well, I, I don't know 100% yet. Uh, well, we're still live, by the way, for the, at least another hour, I think, or two. Um, but I just want to throw this out there for tomorrow. I think what we'll do is we will go live tomorrow, but let me let me look real quick. One second. I will. If I go live tomorrow, it'll probably be around 5 or 6 central time. So we might be we might go live a little bit after the beginning of the event, but it looks like right now for the timing from what I'm just seeing, you know, based off a couple of glances, is that the timing of severe weather tomorrow is probably going to ramp up closer to 5ish, maybe 6 o'clock. It's going to be a close call. I don't know. Uh, I'm guessing we'll, we'll have to probably go live, though, tomorrow. It looks like tomorrow will be another significant severe weather day. Um, so my guess right now is that we'll probably go live there around 4, maybe 5. We'll see. Something like that. I'm not 100% sure on the time, though. But I'll, I'll look what the computer models show tonight, and then we'll go from there. I'll probably post an update on Twitter. Right, let's check out the radar real quick. Let's see if there's any rotation on any of these storms. It'll be a broad area of circulation just east of Cleveland. Uh, going to be approaching Middlefield. Another small little, very broad area of rotation west of Newton Falls. Uh, mostly a damaging wind threat right now near Carrollton. 
So damaging winds going through there right now, going towards East Liverpool and Eastern Ohio. Zanesville and Cambridge are still dealing with the threat for damaging winds and hail. Not expecting a really any tornado risk there as of right now. And then back down to the south and east of Columbus, we got plenty of storms still producing quarter to half dollar sized hail and 60 mile per hour damaging winds. So right now, a lot of the storms that are back down to the south and east of Columbus, not nearly as um, concerning as what we had a little earlier. It's going through more rural areas, but damaging winds and hail will continue to stay a threat. Is Youngstown safe? You're still not done. You still have a chance for storms between now and about 7.30. Oh my god, stop making me hungry, guys, please. Breaded mozzarella cheese sticks fried and dipped in marinara sauce. We don't need these very detailed descriptions of food that are going to make me super hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything since 12, and the last thing that we ate was a McDonald's cheeseburger. Or McDonald's quarter pounder, I should say. Fancy word. Wasn't very good. <laughs> we also had fries. The fries weren't bad. I am retweeting photos again on Twitter at MaxVelocityWX on Twitter. Once again, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We'll be, again, keeping you posted with the latest with severe weather coverage, at least for the next hour or two. We'll see what these storms do. If anything goes traumatic, obviously we'll be here. And then in addition to that, make sure to like the stream if you've been finding it informative thus far. And uh, again, we'll keep you posted with the latest. Am I covering the storms tomorrow for Tennessee? I think I will be to some extent. I'm not sure the exact time of when I'll start my live stream. I'm going to see what the timing looks like tomorrow morning or tonight, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Morg, for the $4.79 super chat, very oddly specific. Chance of McNuggets. Yes. Definitely a chance for some flying chicken McNugget hail tonight. 100%. We have some very broad rotation here east of uh, Cleveland. This is really the only spot that I see any, like, substantial rotation in, and even then, this is still pretty broad. So we'll watch this activity closely. That's just to the uh, east of Cleveland and north of Canton. There's a couple of little pockets of rotation here that are trying to rotate. They expanded the watch zone. Yeah, they expanded the watch. It does include much of western Pennsylvania now. The watch has expanded for many other areas. No significant ro rotation in Lancaster? Nope. Uh, I, I Honestly, this is the only storm that I see right now that is actually rotating. Um, and also the one down here to the south, for the record. There's two of them. Uh, both of them, again, east of Cleveland. They are very broad. They're not, you know, intense. But there's no rotation, really. I mean, it's very weak near, like, Somerset, Ohio. Got a little bit near Adamsville. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really any rotation either near Carrollton. It's mostly just straight-line winds. So this is really the main area where we have any rotation left. And they just condense the warning which is still mainly for 60 mile per hour damaging winds and quarter sized hail. They do not have a tornado possible label on this, but um, I'm still not ruling out an isolated tornado with this activity. It's a very large area and broad area of rotation. I got like a storm merger kind of happened right here too. Or at least a collision, if you will. Storm collision happening here. Near Char the uh, Chagrin Falls area. As a full-blown storm collision in Northeast Ohio. When is Pittsburgh getting hit? Uh, Pittsburgh will probably be around 8 to 9.30. Again, give or take 30 minutes on that. Hopefully, the severe weather threat stays kind of down there. Main concerns can be damaging winds. Um, actually, you'll probably be a little bit sooner. Let's check this out. 
We can use the Radar Omega tracking tool to give you an idea of when this will be arriving to your location. So this will be the timing. <laughs> Pittsburgh. I'm listening to Connor. Uh, Pittsburgh in about, yeah, actually probably right, right around 8 or so. So if you're in Pittsburgh, you, you'll you probably get hit right around 7.30, 8.30 in that time frame. Uh, but again, you could still see a little bit of storm activity after that too. So that is your timing, again, for damaging winds mainly, isolated tornado risk. Right now that storm is producing damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. Connor was just talking about how Ohio is a meme state, and apparently it's not a real state. <laughs> I was just overhearing him on the other side. <laughs> it is a meme state. It has been a meme state here for a good year or so. Whoever KBG Columbus is on Twitter, why did you send me a picture of cheese curds? I, I, I just don't need to see that right now. You're making me more hungry. Chagrin? Gotcha. So yeah, up there. <laughs> up in that location. After all the pronunciations that we've missed today in Ohio, I'm convinced that Ohio is not a real state. Here's the uh, the damage report that we just had as of a few minutes ago near Streetsboro, Ohio. This was 11 minutes ago. Uh, train spotter reporting a tree down from this storm activity, which this storm activity right now is producing some damaging winds. We do have a couple of broad areas of circulation with this storm. And we actually have a bit of a stronger area of rotation developing near Freedom. So Freedom and Wyndham, we got a stronger area of rotation developing going towards Southington and Warren. But watch that closely. We'll see what happens in the next radar scan. No CC drop, but that is a bit of a stronger area of rotation here. I don't know what I got on my exam, by the way. People keep asking. I have no clue. I probably won't know until, I don't know, probably at least after the weekend is my guess. I got Streetsboro right. I'm glad. At least I got something right. <clears throat> Once again, stronger area of rotation near Wyndham, Ohio. They might tornado warm that. It's not far from it. It's enough rotation. They might tornado warn it. We'll see. Thank you, Michelle, for the 499. Anything for Weirton, West Virginia? Very close to Liverpool. Uh, main concern damaging winds. Your timing is going to be within the next. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll give you like an ETA, probably like 7.20 to like 8.30 or so will be your timing. It's just a general ETA. Um, I would zoom out, but I want to stay on the storm because it might actually produce something. We do have a chance. So you're saying that there is a chance. I am. There is a chance. There's a little bit of rotation here. Now I'm getting sent pizza in my direct messages that is with pineapple on it <laughs> please i do not need that on twitter <laughs> that does not make me hungry by the way that actually does not make me hungry a new tornado warning has been issued all right, uh, again, a brand new tornado warning now in Ohio. This is the one that we're literally just talking about. Um, this is going to be for Wyndham, Warren, Cortland, Hartford, Kingsman. Uh, again, radar indicated rotation. This is for uh, northwest, or sorry, northeastern Portage County and Trumbull County in Ohio. And if you're in this tornado warning, seek shelter immediately away from windows, lowest floor possible. If you are, again, in this new tornado warning, which does include Newton Falls, Warren, Cortland, Southington, and Mecca. It'll be going towards Southington, Warren, Cortland, Newton Falls, and Mecca. So again, brand new tornado warning. That is your pocket of rotation, your Interstate 80 right now. Moving east-northeast. <clears throat> Pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> I 
Uh, we're going to go back to the storm in a second. Let me just check the correlation coefficient. Make sure there's not a tornado here yet. Yeah, all right. So we don't have a confirmed tornado yet, but it is a strong pot. Oh, all right. We're actually going to stay on this. This is a strong pocket of rotation. Uh, this could drop a tornado at any time. No CC drop, but that is strong rotation right now, approaching Wyndham. You need to be in your safe place immediately if you are in Wyndham, Southington, Champion, Township, or Garrettsville. That is a strong area of rotation right now that is moving northeast. Again, get to your safe place immediately. Away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. That is a strong pocket of rotation that could drop a tornado at any time. I was about to go south to the wind threat real quick, but this is definitely more concerning. Again, strong pocket of rotation east of Cleveland near Wyndham and Southington near Champion Township. You need to be in your safe place immediately if you're in this tornado warning. That is a strong pocket of rotation that could drop a tornado at any time. Again, no CC drop. Oh, we might have one. We might have a tornado on the ground. I, we need to wait for the velocity scan to update. Again, this, this tornado might be on the ground in Wyndham. Can't confirm it yet. We have a small CC drop there, but the velocities haven't updated. I'm going to see if it lines up. Yeah, I'm saying this stuff just because it might actually be on the ground. Um, please, velocities, just update. Oh my god, that thing is strong. Wow. There's no CC drop on this area of rotation, but that is super strong rotation that we have right now. This is one of the strongest pockets of rotation I've seen in a few weeks on radar. And that very easily could drop a tornado at any time. Again, you need to be in your safe place in Wyndham, Southington, Champion Township, and Warren. And I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm just saying that, like, legitimately, this is a strong area of rotation that could drop a tornado at any time. This is very close to dropping a tornado. It could drop a tornado at any moment. Again, near Garrettsville, Ohio, Southington, Ohio, Wyndham, Ohio, Newton Falls, Champion Township, and Warren. You all need to be in your safe place away from windows, lowest floor possible. This could drop a tornado at any time. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at multiple radar sites. It is a very tight couplet. I'm surprised that this isn't on the ground, honestly, with how tight this rotation is. Uh, if it, it might actually be on the ground, the problem is the correlation coefficient might not be picking it up yet. So keep that in mind. There, there's almost undoubtedly a tornado here. I'm looking at my phone to see if we can get anything quicker than what we have right now. But this is a very strong pocket of rotation. If a tornado does drop, it could be strong. And it's also probably rain-wrapped. Go figure. Every tornado today has been rain-wrapped. This is not looking good. Still waiting for a radar scan update. Uh, but again, there is potentially a tornado on the ground near Wyndham, Ohio. Moving towards Southington. It'll be moving towards Champion Township over the next several minutes. Again, you need to be in your safe place if you are in this tornado warning, away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. This is a potentially dangerous storm that is developing uh, east of Cleveland. Again, that's in northeast Ohio right now where we are. And this could drop a tornado at any time if it's not already on the ground. That might be on the ground. Um, yeah, tornado on the ground, guys. This is now confirmed for sure. This is on the ground. This is an urgent alert. A tornado is on the ground. Seek shelter immediately. So we have a tornado in progress. Um, velocities line up perfectly with the correlation coefficient. That's a debris signature that is now on radar uh, just west of the, Brace the Braceville Township near Wyndham. Oh, this mic stand. Uh, again, tornado is now, this is on the ground near Wyndham. You need to seek shelter immediately if you're in this warning. Away from windows, lowest floor possible. 
This is a very strong pocket rotation, and there is now a tornado that is on the ground near Wyndham. It is just picking up debris right now. This will probably be updated by the National Weather Service in a second. But once again, tornado now in progress near Wyndham. It is going to be approaching Southington, Champion Township. This is according to radar, and um, it'll be moving again northeast towards Southington and the Stroops area, just southeast of Garrettsville, near Nelson. Uh, again, I've, I, this, this strong of rotation is not something you see that often. Um, it's a very tight couplet. It's not PDS, but we haven't had an update yet on this warning. So um, at this point, again, we do have a tornado that's on the ground near Wyndham. But we are just getting debris that's being lifted up into the atmosphere now near Wyndham. If you're in chat right now, is anybody in Wyndham? Is anybody in this area near Warren? I, I almost I almost can guarantee that we have power outages probably happening right now with that. This is going to be approaching Southington. Again, you need to be in your safe place, and you got to run, like run, run, if you are in any of these areas to your safe place. If you're in Southington, New Newton Falls, Garrettsville, Wyndham, obviously, any of those areas, you need to run to your safe place. you got a few minutes if you're in Warren, Champion Township, and Cortland, but you should be going there at ASAP. That is a storm shelter, a basement, a closet, or a bathroom. This is a PDS tornado. This is an emergency alert. A large and strong tornado is on the ground. Seek shelter immediately. This is a PDS tornado near Wyndham in Northeast Ohio. Again, if you're in this warning, you need to seek shelter immediately away from windows, lowest floor possible. New correlation coefficient scan showing that tornado on the ground just north of Wyndham. Unbelievable. So a potentially strong and or large tornado is in progress right now um, near Southington, Ohio. And again, this is going to be moving towards Cortland, Kinsman, Hartford, and Warren. So again, PDS tornado, that is a particularly dangerous situation. It is not something that happens very often. It's a pretty rare Tornado warning. Again, this is a life-threatening situation if you are anywhere in this pink polygon. Flying debris could be deadly to anybody that, are, that is caught without shelter. That right there is your tornado that's approaching South the Southington area, Champion Township, near Wyndham. Again, seek shelter if you're in this warning, please. This is a potentially strong and large tornado that's in progress I, I think that if anything this is strong and not large but that is a tornado that's in progress near uh Wyndham, ohio moving towards suddington warren Cortland, kinsman mecca hartford you all need to be in your safe place in northeast ohio guys this is a cc drop this is not possibly this is definitely a tornado it's already been confirmed and again this is a pds tornado this is a particularly dangerous situation in Northeast Ohio. That is still on the ground right now, Northeast of Wyndham. Latest scan here on the correlation coefficient. That is debris being lifted up into the atmosphere. It's a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado in Ohio. Uh, again, near Wyndham. This is east of Cleveland. It's going to be approaching Southington. I'm going to zoom in here. So this will be approaching the southwest side of Southington, uh, near U.S. Route 422 Northwest, near Mahoning. It's just northeast of Mahoning. And luckily, I don't see a whole lot of buildings in this area. So hopefully this is just rural parts of Ohio. It is on the east side of Garrettsville right now, near Mahoning, where again, we do have a particularly dangerous situation tornado. This is, again, a potentially large tornado that's moving towards Southington. Let's do a quick little loop of this. Once again, this is moving a little bit more to the north and east over the last several minutes. And that is still a tornado right there. That is still tight velocity signature. That is still a tornado that is on the ground right now near the Southington area. And continue to stay in your safe place if you're in Southington. Southington, Champion Township, please get to your safe place. Garrettsville also in Wyndham. All of you need to be in shelter. Get the mattress off the bed. 
you have a helmet, put that on. But you gotta run to your safe place. As there is a potentially strong tornado on the ground right now. And uh, possibly even large north of Wyndham. Latest CC shows it actually going away, so this might be lifting. Once again, if you're just tuning in, this is in Northeast Ohio. This is where we do have a particularly dangerous situation tornado, uh, which essentially means, again, that this is a potentially large and or strong tornado that's on the ground. Um, if this is still on the ground, which it may have occluded, but if it is still on the ground, it's going to be near Southington. So if you are in this warning, make sure that you're staying in your safe place away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. This is a dangerous storm that may still have a tornado in progress. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, by the way. This is, this is where the warning is. It's just west and north of Warren right now. New radar scan is going to be in here in a second. We've been getting very frequent radar scans on this, so we should have a new, another one here in a second. I'm trying to see if we have any reports here. Once again, if you are in Warren, Champion, Cortland, Mecca, Kingsman, Vienna, Newton Falls, Wyndham, and Garrettsville, all of you need to be in your sheltered spot in Northeast Ohio, as this is, again, a particularly dangerous situation, tornado warning. What that means, again, is that there is potentially a large and or strong tornado that's on the ground right now, uh, which, again, if there's still a tornado, it would be approaching the southwest side of Southington and eventually moving towards Champion Township over the next few minutes. So make sure that you are continuing to stay in your shelter spot away from windows, and lowest floor possible. Someone said sirens are going off in Warren. Yeah, you would, you would assume so much. Obviously, tornado sirens are probably going off in here, um, as long as power hasn't been knocked out, which I, I almost can... I, I mean, I, I, there's likely a chance that Wyndham lost power, because that tornado went right through that area in Wyndham. We're a few minutes behind on this radar scan, but if the tornado's still on the ground, it's in Southington. I'm not seeing any sort of CC drop anymore, so it's a there's a pretty good chance that this tornado has occluded, or at least weakened for the time being. And um, it could be recycling, so we'll have to continue to watch this closely. I don't see a CC drop anymore, though, which is good news. With that said, obviously, again, this could recycle. If you're just tuning in again, this was your tornado right here. That was a PDS tornado that began near Wyndham. If you have any, if you have any friends or family in Wyndham, Ohio, please make sure that they're doing all right. And then again, if there is still a tornado, it would be over near Southington. Uh, as of now, again, the rotation is occluded for the time being, but there is a chance that we do see this recycle as it continues to move to the east. And we are back to radar indicated rotation on this. So it has been downgraded to radar indicated. That does include, again, areas near Warren, Ohio. It's going to be moving east-northeast over the next several minutes. It, this storm is moving pretty quickly. It's moving east at about 50 miles per hour. So still a pretty fast-moving storm here in northeast Ohio, again, near Warren. Uh, Warren, by the way, you're no longer included in this tornado warning. But for those in Mecca, Cortland, and Champion, you should still be in your safe place because this could still recycle and try to produce a tornado again as it continues to move to the east. So we're going to continue to keep a very close eye on this because I do think there is a chance that this does recycle. Um, we'll see what the velocities look like here over the next few scans. But that could have been a strong tornado that happened there near Wyndham. By the way, we do have 12 severe thunderstorm warnings, and this is our only tornado warning. Uh, severe weather is not done. We got a ton of warnings still out there. It's actually the most severe thunderstorm warnings that we've had all day today. But I do think that the storm here that 
did produce a tornado. I do feel like it might produce another one. Um, I mean, the rotation's not done. It's it's definitely still there near near Southington. Again, it'll be making approach to Champion, Ohio. Eventually, Mecca, Johnston, Cortland, Kinsman, and Vernon will all be on the track of this in the next few minutes. So once again, tornado warning in northeast Ohio, east of Cleveland. I'm going to see if we have any reports on this particular storm. If you guys do see any reports on Twitter, by the way, please at me in them. I'm trying to see if we can relay any reports. Again, that we if you're just tuning in, we had a large or either large or and, and or strong tornado that happened near Wyndham, Ohio. I'm not seeing any reports as of right now of this particular tornado, but that was, again, a, a PDS tornado that went through Wyndham, Ohio, and um, unfortunately that storm probably produced some damage there to the north side of Wyndham and even maybe the downtown area. Looks like a pretty rural town here in Ohio. It's right near the Ohio Turnpike for reference. Uh, if we go back to the correlation coefficient, let's go back 14 frames. We'll go back to the beginning of this tornado. Uh, this is where it began. Yeah, so it began right over the turnpike. So right near Mahoning, right near the Ohio Turnpike, near Wyndham. That's where the tornado began. Went right through the northeast side here with debris being lifted up into the atmosphere. And it fizzled out as it approached uh, Highway 534. So that that's the path of it. it. Again, it was probably on the ground for a good six or seven minutes. Well, we're going to continue to see if this tries to recycle, which what I mean by that is basically see if the storm does try to uh, intensify again and try to produce another tornado. North of Middlefield, we also have a little bit of rotation there. So we're watching two different areas now. We've got one there, which has been ongoing for a while, and then the one that just produced a tornado that is right now near Southington. Also, scanner traffic is reporting multiple trees down on Route 303 in Portage, Ohio. So just an update there if you're in Portage. Again, this is right now moving east at 50 miles per hour for this particular tornado worn cell. Wow. Uh, that, that was... That, that tornado could have been way worse, just for the record. That, that looked bad initially. That, that tornado that dropped could have been a lot worse. I mean, that, that rotation was so strong on radar. It was unbelievable. Luckily, that was only on the ground for a few minutes. If that was on the ground for longer than that, that could have been really dangerous. But tornado warning is still ongoing for Southington, Cortland, and Mecca. So continue to stay in your safe place, and as well as Champion, um, Ohio. So continue to stay in your safe place in case this does try to recycle. Uh, the rotation that's back up east of Cleveland, southeast of Chardon, that could still produce a tornado. It is a completely rain-wrapped area of broad rotation. And then your Southington, again, that is the one area of rotation that we're still watching. That could still produce a tornado as it moves east-northeast at 50 miles per hour. We're going to see if it tries to recycle, because, again, this environment still is capable of producing tornadoes. Newton Falls here made several phone calls. Sirens nonstop. I'm glad you stayed safe. Yeah, the tornado was just to your northwest. So I'm glad you didn't get hit head on by that tornado. We got twins? It's, it's not the same storm. These are different. These are a little bit separated from each other. This is a very interesting storm structure, though, on radar. Very interesting storm structure. The tornado formed on the back side of the storm. And I, one thing I do think that happened here is that the rain cool air out in front of it probably kind of weakened that rotation a bit. Because that rotation was kind of on the back side here. See, it developed right there and it moved to the northeast. We even had a debris signature on reflectivity. Yeah, right here. That right there is a that's the that's the debris signature right there. That was at I don't know about ten minutes ago or so. 
kind of weakened out. Interesting on radar to see that. Very interesting. But once again, we still have a chance to have a tornado out of either one of these storms. The one near Cortland I don't think is done yet. The rotation is, once again, a little bit stronger. That, that rotation is strengthening again uh, right here. It's a very small spot, but that's near uh, Champion Township right now. Another strong pocket of rotation developing. Again, if you are in Champion, you need to be in your safe place. <clears throat> if you're in Mecca, you need to be in your safe place. There's once again another little strong pocket of rotation that's developing. Again, right now, this is moving east-northeast, going to be going towards Mecca over the next several minutes. New radar scan should be coming in here in a second. We could get another tornado on the ground, though, at any time. And I think there's another tornado on the ground. Oh, man. Not again. This is another tornado. That's probably on the ground here. We have another small CC drop. I'm trying to verify this. It's not confirmed confirmed, but it's... It's probably on the ground. Yeah, that's on the ground. I'm going to wait for the velocities to update, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, that's probably on the ground again. This is an urgent alert. A tornado is on the ground. Seek shelter immediately. Once again, tornado on the ground um, near Champion Township. The correlation coefficient drop is just popping up. So this is just dropped within the last couple of minutes. This is going to be moving towards Cortland and Mecca, Johnston Township, and Kingsman in the track of this. Yeah, if you are in this, make sure you're seeking shelter. We're looking at the correlation coefficient product right now, which indicates that debris is being lifted up into the atmosphere. And once again, this is moving to the east-northeast. Uh, there is video on my Twitter page, at MaxVelocityWX, of this tornado that did happen. Uh, so if you want to check that out, that was the first tornado. The video is on Twitter at max velocity wx and then once again we have another tornado that has just dropped north of warren near champion township i'm guessing this warning will be upgraded again in a moment we'll see what the next radar scan holds for us but that is some strong rotation once again it's a pretty rain wrapped area near champion township That, again, we have a tornado on the ground again in northeast Ohio. You need to seek shelter immediately if you're in this tornado warning. Away from windows, lowest floor possible. If you're in Champion Township, Cortland, any of those areas, you should be in your safe place. And it's gone again. Might have been brief. I don't know about that, though. I mean, the rotation's still pretty strong here. Yeah, there's still definitely a possibility that there's a tornado on the ground. The correlation coefficient did have a, a brief drop. We're not seeing it anymore. But if this is still on the ground, it's going to be near Wil w the Wildair area um, on the north side, again, of Champion and Champion Township. I, I do think there's a tornado, um, even though the correlation coefficient isn't showing it. This is a very tight spot here. You can actually see it. That right there is a tightening. 82 mile per hour velocity versus 20 but that, that that right there is a tight pocket of rotation it is likely that that is a tornado if not it is at least a very low funnel cloud right now that is near champion township but that is a very tight spot of rotation it's a very small one but that is definitely a it's a high likelihood that we either have a funnel cloud or a tornado right here 
north of Champion. And this is rain wrapped, so it's going to be hard to see. Do not try to look for this again. Just stay in your safe place, away from windows, lowest floor possible, interior room of your home or building. This is not going towards Youngstown. This is, again, northeast Ohio. The only areas on the track of this right now are Mecca, King, Kinsman, as well as Hartford, Fowler, Cortland. And then it will eventually move towards the Meadville area in northwest Pennsylvania. That is a tight spot of rotation near Wildar, north of Champion Township. And if you are in this tornado warning, stay in your shelter until it is officially lifted, because we more than likely have another tornado in progress. Okay, north of Champion. Elizabeth, it's the top link in the description. And latest CC doesn't show anything. We'll go back to tornado warning for now. They also did not update the tornado warning to confirmed. We'll see what the next velocity scan shows here. If there's a tornado, it would be right over the Wildare area. Um, again, in northeast Ohio. It looks like it might be occluding again. Yeah, that rotation is once again occluding north of Champion, Ohio. So, at least for the time being, it is weakening out a little bit. By the way, if you're in Hartford, you no longer have to be in your safe place. You are not in this tornado warning. Uh, again, if you're in Champion or Champion Township, if you're in Cortland, if you're in Johnson Township, Mecca, or Kinsman, make sure that you are continuing to stay in your safe place away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. There is still some strong rotation here. I mean, I, again, I wouldn't rule out that there's something, at least a funnel cloud. I mean, I almost, I, I do think there's at least a funnel cloud there. Even if there's not a tornado, there's probably a funnel cloud. It is wrapped in a lot of rain, though. I do have to say that. This is wrapped in a ton of rain, so it's... A heavily rain-wrapped area of rotation. Uh, also, the storm that's been rotating north of this that we've been looking at a little bit as well. That rotation's been broadening out quite a bit. Not a super big concern. But the rotation that we have the tornado warning in, that's, again, really the most concerning storm right now. All right, and I think this is pretty much occluded in Mecca, the Mecca area. Looks like it's fully occluded for the time being, unless it tries to recycle for a third time, which is definitely possible. Looks like it might be occluding once again. Yeah, Warren, by the way, if you're in Warren, you're no longer in this tornado warning. So if you are in Warren, or Warren um, Ohio, you do not have to be in your safe place. You are not in this tornado warning. You were, but you're not anymore. You've been canceled from it, basically. Um, and even if you're right there along Highway 82, you're, you're not in the warning. All right, so once again, if there is a tornado on the ground still, it would be approaching Mecca. I do think this is an occluding area of rotation right now that is probably weakening once again. Um, but again, if if we do have another tornado, it, if it, it would basically be going towards Mecca and Kinsman. And then Williams Field would also be in the track of this, and then it would eventually move into western Pennsylvania. So that's the current track of this here over the next several minutes. Again, it could recycle. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know if it's going to recycle a third time with the current look of this storm and reflectivity. There is a lot of rain, and it's not super organized. But essentially, this is, again, going to be moving east-northeast toward the Greenville area in Williamsfield. And Meadville in northwest Pennsylvania would be next in track for this.
So again, if you are in this tornado warning, just continue to stay in your safe place away from windows on the lowest floor possible. As this could still drop another tornado if it's able to recycle for a third time, which would be quite unbelievable if that happened. But no CC drop right now, so we don't have anything confirmed. Nothing confirmed by radar, at least, <clears throat> on this particular storm. And pocket rotation there. We got another one rain wrapped up north of Mesopotamia Township in northeast Ohio. Yeah, this tornado warning is not called off. Again, it is still ongoing. Um, however, we don't have anything confirmed. The rotation is still pretty strong there near Mecca. I mean, it's strong enough that there could be a tornado. Uh, this latest scan looks like it's gone. But there was a, yeah, not enough rotation there that there may have been like another isolated tornado out of this. But yeah, the latest scan has it fully occluded. So this is a completely occluded area of rotation for the time being. Um, again, it could recycle. So we're going to continue to keep a very close eye on this as it moves closer to... Uh, the border of Ohio and Pennsylvania. And then in addition to that, we also have a pocket of damaging winds right now approaching areas west of Pittsburgh, upwards of 70 miles per hour. There is some broad rotation there. And then for those that are back down in southern Ohio, looks like we're not really dealing with much rotation right now. It's mostly wind. So that's the latest update as of now. That was very unexpected, I gotta say. I, I did not expect to get PDS Tornado. That was not in the playing cards for today. Hey, you, uh, Douglas, for the four ninety nine dollars uh, Carnegie in Pennsylvania. I will check it out real quick. I think anywhere in Pennsylvania, the main concern at this point will be damaging winds with maybe an isolated tornado. That's the main concern, and that's in Pittsburgh. So basically anywhere in and around Pittsburgh, the main concern is again going to be damaging winds up to about 60 to 70 miles per hour, and maybe an isolated tornado. You know, the alarm thing that we do now on tornado warnings and stuff, it's so that you at least know that there's something, you know, going on, and uh, the reason why we have that PDS one like that is because, again, that's you know, a particularly dangerous situation. And that doesn't happen very often. We, we don't have those that often. Especially in Ohio, by the way, out of all states. Uh, we still have to watch this rotation that's north of... Mesopotamia Township, um, and we also still have, again, a little small area there near uh, the Mecca area here in Northeast Ohio. So we're going to continue to watch that over the next few minutes. Yeah, we still have multiple pockets of rotation up here in Northeast Ohio. I would say that if we do get a tornado anywhere over the next hour or so, it'd probably come out of this activity, or maybe embedded in the storms that are down to the south and east, but I think the threat is a little bit lower down there. Pittsburgh, 80 mile per hour damaging winds possible. Law enforcement has just confirmed that 80 mile per hour wind gusts are heading throughout western Pennsylvania right now. That includes Pittsburgh, the Canlis, Moon Township, and Center Township. This area of storms moving east at 45 miles per hour. Uh, once again, 80 mile per hour damaging winds. That is significant. We're talking EF0 type wind speeds right now heading towards Pittsburgh and McCandless. Um, and surrounding areas, and damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour. That is significant. That would be why. That is very bright blue that's popping up here on the velocities. So that is damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour that'll be approaching Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. If you know any friends or family in the Pittsburgh area, share this stream with them. 
make sure that they're you know aware of this this is a significant storm if you are in pittsburgh you do have a few minutes if you want to quickly get any sort of loose lawn items like gathered together uh, obviously it's very last second but you you need to make sure that you know you're ready for this as long as you don't hear thunder by the way which there isn't a whole lot of lightning right now but obviously if you are in the pittsburgh area definitely make sure that you are staying away from windows anywhere in this yellow polygon damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour will be a possibility that is another destructive storm right now near pittsburgh um this is the third warning today with 80 mile per hour damaging winds <clears throat> this is again your pittsburgh pennsylvania P pittsburgh is included in this warning by the way wow that is quite unbelievable 72 mile per hour winds let me just get the magnifying glass here. Yeah, the radar is estimating on the velocity is around 70 to 75 mile per hour winds right now. Oh my goodness, look at that. Near East Liverpool? Hold up. How long has this been going for? Now, granted, this is a little bit higher up off the ground. This is not actually at the ground. This is probably about 1,000 or 2,000 feet, maybe 3,000 feet up into the sky. But wow. That is strong. And some of those winds, by the way, are definitely re reaching the surface. Let me try to go back 14 frames. I, I don't know how long this has been going for. I mean, th this warning just got upgraded, so it, it hasn't been super long. But yeah, th this is recent. We might have even had like a microburst or something here near East Liverpool. 94 miles per hour, a few thousand feet off the ground, which probably translates to about 80 at the ground. I'm seeing 93, 94. Is anybody in the chat right now, are you in East Liverpool? Anybody or anywhere in this area that just got this huge wind event? You guys here see anything? Oh my god, that, that's crazy. It, it's it's lower now. It's down to 60 to 70. Granted, we are very close to the radar site now. Um, but obviously, still take this warning seriously. That could happen again if you're in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, surrounding areas in western Pennsylvania. Um, once again, destructive storm right now moving through this area with damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour. If you guys are in that area, did you guys hear or see anything? Just wind and rain and Warren. Well, Warren, Warren was a little bit north of where that, or a little bit south of where that tornado happened. The most intense wind, for the record, was on the south side of the town. That dark blue is about 60, 70, 80, uh, maybe even 85 mile per hour winds there, just on the south side of East Liverpool, about 10, 15 minutes ago. Midland also saw that in Pennsylvania. Kind of was just on the south side there of Wellsville and, and East Liverpool. You don't see that on radar every day either. That's pretty crazy. Uh, quick update on the tornado warning in Mecca. Looks like that rotation is completely occluded. So I, I don't think this is going to recycle anytime soon. Uh, if it does, it's going to struggle because there's a lot of uh, crap faction out in front of this that's just going to kind of weaken this thing out. So right now, the threat of a tornado with that storm is relatively low. Uh, really, I think our concern now is this damaging wind threat in Pittsburgh, in the suburbs. And we're talking about the threat of damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour as the storm continues to move closer to Pittsburgh. This thing is racing into Pittsburgh, by the way. It's going to be there in the next 10 minutes. The storm's moving east at about 45 miles per hour. Again, this is a destructive storm for southern Butler, Beaver, and northern Allegheny counties. So extensive tree damage and widespread power outages, mobile homes will be heavily damaged. Expect considerable damage to roofing, windows, and vehicles. So, uh, again, if you are in this severe thunderstorm warning, you need to be staying away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. Treat this as if it is a tornado warning. If you're in a mobile home, you need to go to a sturdy structure, as this is a dangerous, severe storm right now. That is moving across the Pittsburgh suburbs.
I think a report of something. I don't know where this is, though. Is anybody in Portage County, Ohio? That's the Wyndham area. Apparently, there are several homes damaged in Wyndham, in that Wyndham area, from that tornado earlier. We had that PDS tornado. Um, yeah, there's significant damage to homes. Oh, man. I'll try to show these to you guys in a second. There is some significant damage to homes in the Wyndham area where we did have that tornado go through not even that long ago. I mean, we're talking like 20, 25 minutes ago. There's some damage to roofing, power lines down, windows kind of like cracked in. Homes are not leveled, by the way, just for the record, but... um. Yeah, there was definitely some pretty significant damage in that area from that tornado. Yeah, I'll try to show you the photos if I can. If not, again, they're on our Twitter page at MaxVelocityWX. Now, a friendly reminder, if you are just tuning in, again, we do have this severe thunderstorm warning near Pittsburgh. This is a, de this is a, uh, a destructive storm that is currently moving into the Pittsburgh suburbs with damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour being possible. So once again, if you are in the severe thunderstorm morning in the Pittsburgh area, you need to stay away from windows. This storm will be approaching here over the next few minutes. What happened to Ohio? Uh, we had a strong tornado go through areas in uh, Wyndham, Ohio, north of Warren or west of Warren, uh, about 25, 30 minutes ago. If you go back in our live stream, you can see it in real time. But there's a strong tornado there. The tornado warning's still going for four more minutes, but I believe that should be canceled. The rotation weakened out there, but um, yeah, there was a strong tornado. It was a PDS tornado. And uh, from what I'm seeing on Twitter from various photos, it looks like homes were pretty pretty heavily damaged, at least to some extent. We had power lines down, trees down, and yeah, here all right, here are the photos. I, I can show them. It's from Brian Joseph on Twitter. Here's one photo from that tornado. Here's another one. I, I don't even know what this is. Yeah. And then this one. It's pretty significant damage. Um, obviously, luckily, the homes weren't flattened or anything, but, like, you know, that's... It's windows you know, cracked in and stuff. Hopefully, everybody's all right there. And obviously, again, if you do know anybody in Wyndham, um, Ohio, please make sure to contact them and make sure that they're doing all right as that was a quite the substantial storm that went through there with that again pds tornado partial roof or deck yeah that's kind of my assumption there screen and patio it might have been All right, uh, tornado warning, by the way, just was canceled. So we no longer have any tornado warnings. I've said that like five times at this point because uh, we've we've been in between a lot of different tornado warnings. But a uh, quick update on all the storms. So we still have severe weather ongoing near Circleville, Ohio, southeast of Columbus. Uh, main concern with all these is half dollar sized hail and 60 mile per hour damaging winds. Uh, also, further to the east near Wheeling and Woodsfield, we still have a storm here that is producing damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. And the greatest concern as of now is the storm that's approaching Pittsburgh. So if you know any friends or family in Pittsburgh, please make sure to contact them and make sure that they are aware that there is a destructive supercell right now that is approaching Pittsburgh. 
This is, again, a significant storm that will produce damage. And trees could be damaged as well. And power lines. So again, 80 mile per hour damaging winds being possible here. All right. We are back down to five severe thunderstorm warnings. And um, again, this is the most significant one that we have right now. Moving towards Pittsburgh right now with damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour being possible. Again, the most significant damaging wind portion of this is moving into um, McCandless near the Moon Township, Ross Township, and Pittsburgh over the next several minutes. So once again, if you are in this warning, continue to stay in your safe place away from windows, lowest floor possible. It is a uh, dangerous storm where you can see the, the bright red right there. That would represent high wind speeds that are currently going into this area. I might have a video of this tornado. Give me one second. From earlier. All right, uh, real quickly, thank you to Cameron for the $10 super chat. Storms are moving to Pittsburgh. I sent you some photos of clouds on Twitter. You might have. I'm going to be honest with you. I have a lot of messages. I'll see if I can try to find it. I'm getting sent KFC chicken fingers in my direct messages now. It's it's fantastic. <laughs> it's, it's getting weird. Um, all right. I'll see if I can find it. It's from Alex Garo on Twitter, filmed by Tom. This right here is the tornado. It's hard to see, but that right there was your tornado from earlier. Mostly rain wrapped. That's what just went through um, Wyndham, Ohio, not too long ago. But once again, if you're just tuning in, we do have a destructive supercell right now, a really destructive cluster of storms that is approaching Pittsburgh right now. Uh, once again, damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour will be possible as this continues to move to the east. Yeah, we've had a lot of rain wrap circulations today. That's not the only one. We had a bunch earlier. Um, we had a bunch of circulations earlier that were rain wrapped back over in uh, southern Ohio and central Ohio. Everything was basically rain wrapped today. That one too. It's been a pretty horrendous environment for chasing when it comes to being able to see tornadoes. It's I, I would not want to be storm chasing today. It would be very difficult to see anything when it comes to rotation. Everything has been rain wrapped today. Just made it home. Welcome back. Oh, 
Well, thankfully, all the tornado warnings are done for now. It's a rough last hour with all the stuff that we're having going on. Still have a tornado possible label near Jefferson, Ohio, but that storm looks like it's weakening. And then further down to the south, near Logan, we still have some quarter-sized hail and 60 mile per hour damaging winds that still do remain a possibility. So again, we'll continue to keep a close eye on that activity as it continues to move eastbound, but most of it's hail and wind right now. And again, there is a tornado watch that goes for western Pennsylvania, northern West Virginia, uh, and as well as eastern Ohio. This goes all the way until midnight tonight. Uh, we'll not be live until midnight. There's no way. Um, but the main concern, again, is a couple tornadoes being possible, damaging winds and hail. I do think, honestly, most of the severe weather after it gets past Pittsburgh um, is going to remain re relatively limited. I think the majority of these storms... Uh, here soon are going to be uh, weakening after like 8.30 or so. So I think really we got about an hour left of severe weather that's significant. And then after that, I think it becomes relatively quiet. That's what I'm thinking, at least in terms of our threats right now. But once again, if you're in Pittsburgh or the suburbs, we are uh, watching for a storm right now that is producing damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour. If you are in this severe thunderstorm warning, you need to treat this as if it is a tornado warning because this is a significant storm that's producing substantial damaging winds here across parts of southwest Ohio, or sorry, southwest Pennsylvania, um, near Pittsburgh and the Pittsburgh suburbs. And once again, this storm right now is moving uh, due east. Going to be going towards Ford City over the next several minutes. Sorry. I don't know why this becomes so squeaky. I will never understand. Uh, once again, I am retweeting photos and videos of the tornado damage from Wyndham, Ohio, a little while ago. And also, we are still getting reports. We're still getting photos, really, that there were some pretty major structural damage across the Bucer the Bucerus area I, I'm I'm already forgetting the pronunciation uh from a tornado earlier um in Ohio so, again I have a lot of photos retweeted on our Twitter page which is again at max velocity wx from earlier and if I do get any more photos videos anything like that again I'll continue to retweet that stuff on our Twitter page hopefully the tornado threat dies down soon but um, we are still dealing with a significant damaging wind threat, especially in the, the Pittsburgh suburbs right now with, again, a storm that's right now producing damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour. So continue to stay in your safe place if you are in this warning near Pittsburgh. Bucerus, Buc Bucyrus, something like that. Yeah, if you're in Pittsburgh, please make sure that you are getting to your safe place. Again, get to a storm shelter, get to a basement, get to a bathroom or closet, get to an interior room. This is like a tornado, pretty much, that's going across areas in Pittsburgh. Damaging, damaging winds up to 80 miles per hour is no joke. Thank you, Donnie, for the $5 super chat. We're in we're, we're, I'm in Weirton near P Pittsburgh. I don't know where that is on here, but uh, we are getting gusts with sideways rain. Yeah, I mean, I don't doubt that at all. I, this is a very intense leading edge of damaging winds right now going into Pittsburgh. And this is going right now into the downtown area of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So that's the highest of the winds right now are entering right in right now to this area.
that was quite scary. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, were, we were in real time. It was scary. There's just no doubt. That was, that was something else. Luckily, that tornado that we had was only on the ground for a few minutes, but it was still pretty substantial. This uh, severe thunderstorm warning has just been downgraded to 70 mile per hour wind gusts. So not nearly as intense as before, but still pretty intense. We still have severe thunderstorm warnings further down to the south and west. One near Barnesville right now that is producing uh, a little bit of rotation west of Moundsville in southeast Ohio. So we'll continue to keep a close eye on that. And then we also have a storm right now, or a couple storms that are back over near Nelsonville and Logan, east of Circleville, southeast of Columbus. And the main concern there is going to be some isolated damaging winds and quarter to half dollar sized hail as those storms continue to move to the east. So we'll zoom back out here. Again, we got plenty of storms still ongoing and severe weather. It's not quite done yet. Still have a chance for another isolated tornado. If you're on Warren, you don't have to be in your safe place. Storms are done there. We'll check out Twitter. This is the moment in um, in Bucerus, Ohio. It's from Shane Grove on um, Twitter. It's when a tornado hit. Is audio on? Let me, let me see if I can get audio on real quick. Um, this one. All right, we'll, we'll just listen to this. That's the moment a tornado went through Bucerus, Ohio. That is pretty crazy. Just knocked him back, basically. Power went out shortly after that, and the window is completely broken through. Uh, this, is, this is the photo of the window being completely broken through. So that window, completely gone. Good thing he got away from that window. Because otherwise, that would have been very bad. Yeah, that's, again, from Shane Grove on Twitter. Crazy. That was from earlier in Ohio. That's why I always say, make sure that you're staying away from windows. It's never a good thing to be in a tornado warning in that you're right against a window like that because that can happen. Thank you, uh, Kevin, for the $5 super chat. I appreciate that. Thank you. Tornado watch has uh, been condensed. It no longer includes Cleveland, Ohio, so you're no longer in the watch. Uh, essentially, anywhere behind this right here, you are no longer in the watch. So Columbus, Newark, Canton, Acheron, Cleveland. Uh, the tornado watch will probably end for Warren and Canton and Alliance and Youngstown here pretty soon. Uh, Youngstown, I know we have a few viewers from there. Um, you're pretty much done. So the main concern right now is moving into Pennsylvania, uh, Southeast Ohio, and Northern West Virginia. Hugh Douglas for the four ninety nine. Yeah, bathroom is the best place. Anything interior and away from windows. How's it going, Finn? Welcome back. What is that by Wheeling? This is a uh, severe storm that has a tornado possible label, and we are actually beginning to get some more rotation on this too. And we might we might get another tornado at some point with that one. So that's a uh, that's that's a hook on the back side of the storm here. See that that's developing there. I'll be moving towards Wheeling, Moundsville, and Powhatan Point. 
This is an area that we had a tornado warning in, I think, a couple weeks back, if I'm not mistaken. So Pittsburgh, we're not looking at a tornado risk at this point. It is all straight line damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. And then further north, got a couple of small pockets of rotation near Meadville and Lineville. Overall, they're still quite broad and they're kind of weakening out here, but a couple spots of rotation up there. And then really, I think the main concern is going to be the storm near Wheeling. We have a little backwards hook on. I'll be approaching Wheeling and Moundsville over the next several minutes. No motor chug like no other. I I'm putting it so high up because I'm using circle and the flavor is like, it's like almost out. So I have to like do it at like a complete angle upwards. Friendly reminder, if you're just tuning in for the first time, make sure to subscribe down below. It's free to do. Click the red button down below and subscribe. Also, if you've been finding the stream informative, make sure to like the stream. That is also, by the way, free to do. Um, and also, if you want to get a fantastic weather app on your iOS and Android device, we've been using Radar Omega this entire live stream. Again, you can download Radar Omega with the top link in the description below on iOS and Android. I highly recommend it. It has a ton of features, including the live radar feed re with reflectivity, velocities, correlation coefficient, and more. There is also live cameras and live storm chasers in the app. There are actually two storm chasers still uh, live here in southern Ohio and you can watch those inside the Radar Omega app with their location on there as well so you know what storm they're looking at in addition to that there's other things like tons of customizability you got severe weather outlooks you can basically make an entire weather forecast in here you can also track out storms with their handy dandy tracking tool so you know when that storm is going to be arriving to your location. They also have computer models and satellite imagery in their subscription-based model. But uh, if you want to get the app, it's only $8.99 on the iOS and Android store with the top link in the description below. Highly recommend it. It's 100% worth the $8.99. Um, and again, make sure to download Radar Omega, top link in the description below on iOS and Android. I do appreciate Radar Omega for sponsoring today's live stream. Tagged me in a cool photo on Twitter. I've been tagged in a lot of stuff. My, I have, I have over 20 notifications on, on Twitter. It's, I'm still getting sent photos of cheese curds and KFC chicken, pineapple pizza, all sorts of stuff. I gotta say though, after this live stream is over, I cannot wait to get some cheese curds. That is what I'm doing for dinner. Getting some cheese curds. Once again, if you are just tuning in, we are watching some storms just north of Pittsburgh right now uh, that are producing damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. Looks like we are beginning to get a couple of little notches near Clinton that have at least a little bit of rotation. So we'll be watching that closely. And then there is still a little bit of rotation back in southeast Ohio that will be eventually approaching Wheeling. So that'll be the next area to watch for here relatively soon. I am getting cheese curds, don't worry. I am definitely getting cheese curds. Can't believe it. we've been live for seven hours. Seven hours and 15 minutes. Crazy. All right, while, while we're in between radar scans, I'm going to take a quick um, bathroom break. I'll be back in like 60 seconds. Stay tuned.
All right. What's my Twitter link? Uh, the Twitter link is in the description below. It's also just at Max Velocity WX if you look that up on um, on Twitter. I'm watching this area. There's a little bit of rotation uh, near Butler, Pennsylvania. Watch this closely over the next few minutes. As of right now, we don't have any funnel clouds or anything like that reported, at least from what I know. We still have a tornado possible near Wheeling, but that's about it right now. Nothing else for the time being. Damaging winds continuing to go through areas near Pittsburgh. Damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour still remain a possibility. And guess what? Some old guy on Twitter found a flying trampoline. <laughs> It's not even tossing trampolines on Tall Trees Thursday, but we have another trampoline. And this is apparently from the uh, Johnstown area. Oh, that was a photo there out of, I think, Johnst uh, the Johnstown area. It's crazy how many people have trampolines and they don't hatch them down. It's crazy. Thank you, Anthony, for the four ninety nine. Appreciate that. Thank you. No problem at all. We're approaching almost eight hours on this live stream. It's crazy. One of our longer live streams of all time. We, we've had some six plus hour ones, but this one going for eight hours is pretty crazy. I, I did not expect to be live for eight hours today. Um, I'll be honest with you. Or almost eight hours. I honestly only expected to be live for like, I don't know, like five or six hours. And I thought it would calm down, but much longer than anticipated. By the way, we are currently four subscribers from 156,000 subscribers. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Crossing that number momentarily. We are up to five severe thunderstorm warnings, by the way. We have a new one for Clarion, Butler. This is near Dayton in Kittanning, or Kittanning uh, in Ford City. Damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour is the main concern out of that storm. And we just crossed over that. <laughs> I, I didn't even have, the number didn't even update. It just, it literally just updated to that. It didn't even scroll up or anything. Am I going live tomorrow? I'll make a decision tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure yet. I will make a decision tomorrow. I will probably have a video forecast in the morning. We haven't had a video in a few days. I'll probably have a video tomorrow morning. And we'll also have a video on Friday. So Get back some videos going. We haven't had a video in a couple days now, but we've been live for the majority of it, so it makes sense. I'm not checking the models to decide. That's I don't do. I don't usually do that. Um, again, I'll, I'll make a decision tomorrow. It depends on what happens to the outlook. If there is a significant tornado risk, we might. Um, it, it just depends on what the outlook looks like tomorrow. I'll look at the models, look at the timing. Uh, we'll probably be live to some extent. I just don't know when we're going live. I, I think we'll almost definitely be live. It just might not be when the event starts. It might be a little bit after that. With that said, we've almost been live for eight hours today, so, you know, today's been a long live stream, so we'll, we'll kind of wait and see. I've been, we've been live for about 70 hours over the last two weeks. <laughs> Just pretty crazy. Pretty crazy to say the least. Where's the activity tomorrow? Here's the outlook. I'll pull it up on here. Here's that severe weather outlook. 
for tomorrow. It is a uh, pretty large area. And so I, I, we're going to be live to some extent. I just don't know when. Um, that includes areas in the lower Midwest, the Mississippi Valley, back into Texas, where all modes of severe weather will be possible. The main concern is going to be large to very large hail. In areas like north and central Texas and back into the lower Midwest. There's also going to be a threat for damaging winds, which is the main reason why we have an enhanced risk for severe weather. It's because of the damaging wind risk. And then there's also going to be a threat for a, a, a conditional risk for a few tornadoes. And that'll be across areas like St. Louis. So here's the timing for tomorrow. This is an eastern time. I'll, I'll quickly go through the timing here. Uh, we'll mainly do it across the tornado risk area. So this is an eastern time. Storms moving into the tornado risk area around 3 by 4 o'clock, they're moving towards St. Louis. So right here, 4 or 5 o'clock. This would be what we're looking for for that damaging wind risk and an embedded tornado risk around 5 o'clock. So definitely a dangerous area of storms there moving towards St. Louis around 5 by 6. Storms moving into southern Illinois. And a couple of discrete cells back out to the west, which could produce an elevated tornado risk and hail risk. Um, and then eventually by 8 that area of storms is moving into southern Illinois, southwest Indiana, and western parts of Kentucky. So that's where we're looking at right now. Um, and then a bit farther out, you can see all the other storms down to the south and west. Those will produce significant hail, wind, and um, maybe a brief tornado down that direction, but pretty low chance. And then overnight, storms continue to move east. So I, I think we might be live. Oh, I'm trying to think again. If I, if I leave... Yeah, I'll I'll either, I'll probably be live. I just don't know when. It'll probably be closer to like 4.30 Central or 5 Central is my guess when we'll be live. But again, I'm going to check the data again tomorrow morning and see if anything changes. And um, we'll see what the outlook looks like as well. Thank you, Bruno and Dua, for becoming a VIP Velocity member. I really do appreciate that, and welcome to the Velocities. That is the highest tier that you can get as a member on this channel. Make sure to give some hearts in the chat for... Bruno and Dua for becoming a VIP Velocity member. Appreciate that a lot. And welcome to the Velocities. Hey, Michelle, for the 499 is Weirton in the clear. Is that Ohio? Or is that West Virginia? I'm guessing that's West Virginia. Um, let's see. It's like on the border here. Where is the radar? Right here. Uh, yeah, you're in the clear. You are in the clear. I'm not seeing as much rotation down here near Wheeling at this point. There's still some rotation, though, here. It's broad, but it's going to be approaching the tanning area over the next few minutes. So still some rotation there. And then southeast of Columbus, Ohio, we do still have some storms there producing some damaging winds, but the threat overall is um, it's, it's going a little bit down right now. We've gained 2,500 subscribers, by the way, today. Appreciate everybody subscribing to the channel. How's it going, Audrey? Are your live streams available on mobile? Um, yeah, they're, they're anywhere. They're on... You can even watch them on a VR headset if you really want. <laughs> your VR headset. <laughs> you can put you can get it on your VR. You can actually watch YouTube on VR. I've done it before. It's interesting. You can go 3D view and everything. It's crazy. Thank you, Stell, for the 199. Also, thank you, Tyler, for the $5 super chat. How does Eerie look? Look where Erie is here. No, oh, that's Lake Erie. Uh -uh. Duh. We're eight, almost eight hours into the stream. I should have known. I should have definitely known that. Um, I'm not really looking at much for you. The storms have weakened up there. The main concern at this point is just rain. 
Maybe a flying fish if we get a water spout, but that's about it. Yeah, this storm is warned for damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. We do have a little bit of rotation that we're watching, though. Um, again, just north of Pittsburgh near Catanning. Thank you, Self, for the 499. How does Mars, or how, how about Mars, Pennsylvania? That is also near. Um, you're done. So you're, you're done with a severe weather risk. Severe thunderstorm warning for Wheeling and Waynesburg in southwest Pennsylvania, southeast Ohio, northern West Virginia. Main concern is going to be damaging winds up to 60. And then back over here near Nelsonville and the Plains and Athens, the main concern here is going to be damaging winds up to 60 and half dollar size tail. Those are the main concerns at this point. So as of now, we no longer have any tornado possible labels on any of these storms. Uh, we do still have damaging winds being a possibility. We do have four severe thunderstorm warnings. Still uh, maybe a low chance for a tornado here over the next couple of hours. Thank you, Sawson, for the 499. Check the X video I sent you. You can just call it Twitter. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I'll check it out. One second. By the way, make sure to follow us on Facebook. It's at MaxVelocityWX. Follow us on Twitter at MaxVelocityWX. And also, you can join our Discord server if you have Discord. The link to that is in the description below. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Wow. Okay, wait. I I'm going to show you guys this first. When the... Wow, this is a tornado outbreak that happened in, in um, Louisiana. This is near the, Sl the Sladell area in Kiln in Mississippi. So Louisiana, Mississippi, right on the border. This is when we had that large uh, damaging wind event. There were eight confirmed tornadoes. These are eight different tornadoes that happened. EF2 and EF1, EF1, EF0, EF unrated, EF0, EF1, EF1. Wow. Eight tornadoes all in the same, like, 10-mile area. Not even. It's, like, less than that. It's, that's crazy. After a tedious satellite analysis, we have confirmed that eight total tornadoes tracked from Sladell, Louisiana, through Kill, Mississippi. Wow. That is wild. That rotation uh, sauce that you sent me, it's just kind of like a little, like a swirl, eddy. Sort of thing. It's not not really too concerning. Gives you an idea, though, that the environment is pretty um, definitely rotating at least. How many tornado warnings so far? I don't know. We've at least had, I think, ten or something. What a crazy day! More tornado warnings than I was really expecting. You know, when I said before we went live today, I was like, this could go big. Yeah, I think it kind of went big. This live stream's been going for seven and a half hours. Uh, Bradford, Pennsylvania, you're looking at just some damaging winds, maybe a brief tornado threat. And that'll be there in about 30 to 45 minutes. I can obliterate names in Pennsylvania. I could. <laughs> it's what we're heading towards now. Good times. Yeah, I'm not seeing much else here. I think a lot of the threat right now is damaging winds. Um, and yeah, we'll stay alive for a little bit longer and see if anything develops here. I think it's a low risk though overall. Uh, 
I do appreciate, by the way, everybody tuning in today. We've had a crazy stream, obviously, and I do appreciate all of your support. If you did something as simple as liking or subscribing, I appreciate that. If you super chatted or became a member, appreciate that a lot as well. Um, but obviously, it's it's been an active day, to say the least. A very active day. No problem, Max. Any more tornadoes in Ohio? Uh, we could technically still get maybe an isolated tornado right along the Ohio and West Virginia border, but I don't see an imminent risk here right now. So uh, I don't think there's anything imminent, but we'll continue to keep a close eye on the activity. Thank you, Cameron, for becoming a Maximum Velocity member. I do appreciate that, and welcome to the Velocities. We have 40 new members today. A lot of them gifted, but... Nonetheless, 40 new members. You're good, Buckeye. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Would this classify as a derecho? Uh, no, this, this would not classify as a derecho. There's no way. You would need something that's a more organized damaging wind event that's widespread. We didn't have that. So, yeah, this, this just isn't... No. A derecho is like, again, it would have to last about 225 miles. It would need to be a widespread damaging wind threat. And again, we just have not had that at all. So... Yeah, just just not a derecho at all. Nope. Yeah, I haven't eaten anything. We've been live for seven and a half hours. I've eaten nothing. The last time we did a live stream this long, uh, it was about eight hours long, eight and a half hours. That was a few weeks back when we had the severe weather event in the Great Plains and back into the Mississippi Valley. And or I don't know if it was the Mississippi Valley, but it was like Ohio Valley sort of thing. Um, we were live for like eight and a half hours and... I think we end up getting IHOP door dashed. <laughs> so crazy stuff. Have a good night, Bucky. Appreciate you tuning in. Thank you, Douglas, for the 499. Think Western Pennsylvania can go to sleep now. Uh yeah, if you're if you're behind these storms, you're done. You're you're good. Anywhere to the west of this. If you're still in the Pittsburgh area or eastbound, basically, you still need to stay weather aware. So anywhere in northwest Ohio or back in the southwest, or sorry, northwest, not northwest Ohio, northwest Pennsylvania or southwest Pennsylvania, those areas still need to stay weather aware. And even all the way through here, you should still stay weather aware for mainly a damaging wind risk, but maybe an isolated tornado. No problem, Dylan. The goal is to save lives. Hopefully we did that today. I stream March 14th. Yeah, I stream some of March 14th. Not all of it, but I did stream some of it. Thank you, I'm so 499. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be getting some cheese curds at some point here later. Cheese curd size tail. I uh, Kale, I don't know. It was either Zero or KG, I think, or the other one was Kaylee, maybe. That gifted members earlier. I can't remember off the top of my head. I don't know if either three of them are here, but that was earlier today. I have so many Twitter notifications. <laughs> wow, got some mammoth clouds in um mammoth clouds over 
in Rushville, Ohio. I'll show you guys in a second. Sorry, I, I got to dig a new mic stand. This mic stand is super annoying. You got some cheese curd sized mammatus clouds in Rushville, Ohio from FUHS Golf. Wow. Cheese curd sized mammatus clouds. Pretty stuff. Pretty cool. It's the best part of severe weather. It's usually those clouds because they look pretty cool. I don't know what's squeaking on this mic thing. But I gotta figure it out because it's really annoying. Maybe it's this. Hopefully you guys don't hear the squeaking. I don't know if you guys do. It's really annoying though. I kind of forgot there's a severe weather threat in um out here in Kansas tonight. I'm not seeing anything right now. It's a bit of a conditional risk. This is a live cyclone port on Radar Omega in Burlington, Kansas. We also got one near Kansas City. Beautiful sunset about to happen. Hope we're gonna find any sunset ones here. Look at that, beautiful sunset. It's a Radar Omega cyclone port. Maybe some mountain waves here actually. It's pretty cool, I think, maybe. Eh. It's close to it. Do have a uh, new severe thunderstorm warning for those in Marietta, Southeast Ohio. Main concern, damaging winds up to 60, quarter-sized hail. And uh, once again, this will include areas in Southeast Ohio. But we do not have any tornado... Po oh, never mind, we do. I said we don't have any. Uh, we do have a tornado possible storm back over in Northwest Pennsylvania. Yeah, I'm not super concerned about this anymore. You know, it's it's a storm that has a little bit of rotation, but it's pretty broad. So, yeah, that's near Limestone, Catanning, Rural Valley, Dayton, in northwest Pennsylvania. That storm again moving northeast. Do we go for eight hours in a row? <laughs> eight hours of straight live streaming? We're not far from it. We are not far from it. We're 18 minutes away from an eight hour live stream. I think we go for it. You guys have sunset photos as well. Feel, feel free to send them in to me. At Max Velocity WX. I should eat. I'll be eating after. I, I'm going to Culver's after this. We're, we're getting cheese curds. I'll, I'll post it on Twitter. <laughs> Once the longest I've ever streamed. Um, longest straight live stream was actually recently. It was a little over eight hours. I think it was eight, maybe eight and a half hours. Let me double check. It was very recent, though. It was like literally a few weeks ago. Um, eight hours and fifteen minutes. <laughs> we could break that tonight, but I'm not going to. I don't. I don't want to go eight hours and fifteen minutes, uh, unless a tornado warning happens. But eight hours and fifteen minutes is our longest ever live stream. So we're, we're about 30 minutes from that, but there's no reason to do it tonight. I mean, unless a tornado warning gets issued before we get off. Pretty 
pretty crazy. That is some contamination if I've ever seen any. I think. Interesting. Yeah. Pretty good hailstorm though. Nah, this isn't a tornado possible. This storm in particular isn't. Cheese curds are gross. Get this guy out of here. Ban him. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Cheese curds on pizza, though, is something I gotta do. <laughs> tornado warning, please make this the longest live stream. I'd rather not. I haven't really stood at all in the last eight hours. It'd be nice to go get a walk and go get some cheese curds. It'd be nice. Might even have to go to Bucky's. We're gonna go to we're gonna go to Bucky's up here. Bucky's right here. <laughs> Bucerus or whatever that is, I can't remember the name. They had a tornado actually earlier, so we've had two confirmed tornadoes thus far. At this point, or that one hasn't been confirmed. Confirmed, but it was likely a tornado. Um, the one in um, the PDS tornado we had earlier near Wyndham was was you know confirmed by radar. Yeah. Bucky Russ, good enough. Bucky's. You ever been under a warning while streaming? I have. Yep. I'm not in Ohio, no. We're <laughs> I'm not in the meme state of Ohio. <laughs> At least what some people call it is the meme state. I do not live in Ohio. <clears throat> In fact, I don't know if I've ever really been in Ohio before. Could be wrong, but I don't know if I've really ever been in Ohio. Interestingly enough. This is not the longest weather live stream of all time, I don't think. There's no way. Eight hours is not... Eight hours isn't really even that long, to be honest. I was doing so well with Buck Russ until now. Is falling apart. Oh yeah, yesterday we were live for nine hours. Yesterday, we were live for eight hours today. Tomorrow, hopefully, will not be the same. <laughs> that, that's seventeen hours in a row now over the last couple of days. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, I'm hoping severe weather isn't really existing this weekend, because I, I, I'm going, uh, we're going back to Disney at this point. I mean, I need a break again. <laughs> this has been unbelievable the last few days. Looks like Friday will be fine. Look at this. Friday. We only have a marginal threat. Yay. Actually, do something on Friday, probably. And then Saturday, potential too low. We might be able to do something on Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every day potential too low. No way. I'm so excited. We might actually get a break from severe weather next week. At least a little bit. The end of next week looks active, but... We might get a break. <laughs> At one point earlier, our chat was being spammed with pronunciations. It was, it was quite impressive. Got all sorts of beautiful sunset photos on Twitter. Thank you, everybody, for sending those in. We got one in Mentor, Ohio, from Danielle. Beautiful photo. Beautiful skies. Fantastic photo. Gotta love the sunsets. Go to a local beach for vacation? I don't feel like going to a beach. Beaches are boring. They're very overrated, in my opinion. I 
Why is there still a tornado watch for Canton, Ohio? Uh, there isn't. Canton's right here. The watch is right here. It's the pink. You're not under a watch. You are done with severe weather for tonight. Yeah, still got plenty of storms going through areas in Athens. Um, looks like Brandon Kopic is just north of those storms. I'm not sure if he's actually going after them. Can't tell. Must be. Brandon Kopic is one of the storm chasers that's in Radar Omega. And again, if you want to download Radar Omega and watch live storm chasers and live cameras in the app with all the radar features that I have on right now. You can check it out. Top link in the description below on iOS and Android. It's only $8.99, but it is a fantastic weather app. The best one on the market, in my opinion. We're just going to stay zoomed out. I think Brand Brand's still chasing, right? I don't know if anybody's watching him from this stream to that stream. So we're not done with severe weather yet today. Um, this area, we're still watching obviously severe weather, but um, back over to the West, we have another threat of severe weather tonight. We'll be going live for about eight hours tonight for this as well. So Tucker, make sure you're still here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're not, we're not going live for this. <laughs> um, but there is a conditional risk for a few hailstorms tonight in Kansas. There's actually a low tornado risk. Look at that thing. Look at that little 2% tornado risk. <laughs> we do have a live cam in Burlington, Kansas on Radar Omega. Um, again, just high clouds right now, but this will be an area to watch for for maybe an isolated tornado tonight. There is a, I believe, a hatched hail risk. Yeah, we got a hatched hail risk near Topeka, west of Kansas City. So, overall, I'm not too concerned about this, but... If there's, for some reason, a tornado warning at, like, midnight tonight and I go live, this is why. So. But we are getting cheese curds in a little bit. Tornado Watch has been condensed even further. Um, it has now been removed from most of Ohio and most of you in Pennsylvania. So, the severe weather risk is dying down. Severe thunderstorm warning in southwest... Pennsylvania has just been canceled. We are about eight minutes away from going to get cheese curds. Yeah, Tucker's been here the entire stream, too. Tucker is technically my uh, social media manager. So they're the ones that uh, post all the stuff on Twitter and Facebook as well while I'm live. We've started to implement that recently. We're, again, just trying to implement some much-needed changes to the streams. Just retweeted a beautiful rainbow photo from Mineral Ridge, Ohio, near Wyndham, Ohio, uh, moments ago. It's on our Twitter page, at MaxVelocityWX. Appreciate everybody sending in photos and videos on our Twitter page. Stay on stream. It's about to get ugly. Uh, I don't know about that. I think it's I think it's winding down. Uh, again, I I would stay live if there was more, but I think overall the severe weather risk is beginning to die down. I honestly do have to. I would say though, if any area does get a tornado from here, it'll probably be west or yeah, it'll probably be like northern West Virginia, like in here. But it's a, it's a low risk. Maybe like an isolated brief tornado before this event is all said and done. Probably be about it. I just joined the Discord server. What's it do? Am I winging it? It's just like a chat place that you can chat on and stuff. It, there's nothing special in Discord. I, I still advertise our Discord mainly because I know people have it and people want me to advertise it. So I just, I mention it here and there. Which again, if you want to join our Discord server, it's down in the description below. But I, 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 I mean, I, I look at it quite often. I just, I don't really use it that much. Personally. <laughs> Uh, 
If we get a tornado warning right at the eight hour mark, I might lose my mind. <laughs> it might be over. There's actually some broad rotation here near Corsica and Brookville. Pretty rain-wrapped area of rotation. Good thing they just canceled the severe thunderstorm warning, because I was hoping that wouldn't go tornado warned. But it actually does. It's, it's pretty weak and broad, but that is an area of rotation near Limestone and Interstate 80. Back to the pineapple on pizza issue. Yes. Uh, dude, I was I was literally getting DMs during that tornado warning earlier. Uh, I was just trying to find like some of the reports and stuff that people were sending in. Uh, I was literally getting um, photos and, and um, videos of like cheese curds and KFC chicken fingers. It was unbelievable. Pineapple and pizza was one of them. Crazy times. New radar scan should be coming in here in a second. We'll see if there's actually legitimate rotation developing here, or it's just, you know, just some wind. It might just be wind, honestly. Proud sponsor of Pizza Hut. Yes. If we got a Pizza, pizza Hut sponsorship, that would be pretty wild. But what we need, what we really need right now is a cheese curd sponsorship. We need a trampoline sponsorship. Those are really the main two things. Those two. So Culver's, call me up. <laughs> call me. Give me a call. I'm all ears. Yeah, that rotation's pretty broad. I'm not too concerned about it. We're not going to get... I mean, it, it, we could get a tornado, but... I'd say it's more of a wind threat at this point. And uh, once again, tornado watch issued. Um, goes until midnight tonight. This tornado watch will not last till midnight, by the way. They'll probably cancel it early for most of these areas. So, thank you, John, for becoming a VIP Velocity member as well. I really do appreciate that. And welcome to the Velocities. And again, put some hearts in the chat for John. That is the highest tier membership that we have on this channel, which is $25 a month. So, I really do appreciate John's generosity and welcome to the Velocities. That is two VIP Velocity members today. And also, if you want to support the page above and beyond, you can become a member. You get a chat badge, you get access to bloopers, videos, and a ton of other stuff. You can become a member. The link's down below, and it's also the join button down below. But there's also a join link down below if you're on iOS or Android, so you get the lower rates. And um, if you don't see the lower rates, the bottom tier should be $2.99. If you see it like $4.99 or something like that, go to uh, Google on your like computer, and you can get the cheaper rate there. Yeah, we're coming to a close on the eight-hour live stream. And uh, so, obviously, crazy live stream. We had a PDS tornado. I didn't really think it would be this long. But um, with that being said, I really do appreciate all of you guys tuning in. This was, again, the one of the longest live streams that we've ever had. Pretty close to it. This is the second, second or third longest ever. Um, I, I do want to, again, thank everybody for... Tune in to today's live stream. If you became a member, if you super chatted, if you like the stream, if you subscribed, I really do appreciate you guys a lot. Um, 
And again, we'll probably be live again tomorrow. We will have a video tomorrow morning, most likely. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Click the bell icon down below so you're notified. And also, we might go live again tomorrow. We probably will. I just don't know when. Uh, so stay tuned. I'll probably post on socials what my plan is tomorrow at some point. Um, so follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. All those links are in the bottom of the description. And I'm going to get some cheese curds. <laughs> uh, we have about 30 seconds. So any last words? I don't know. But uh, once again, Tornado Watch does go until about 11, 12 o'clock tonight. It, it'll probably expire early. But the severe weather is still not done, but for the most part, it is, it's winding down. Uh, again, main concern, damaging winds, maybe a little bit of large hail, and then perhaps a uh, brief tornado. But the threat, again, is going down at this point across most of these areas. So I'm not too concerned about it at this point. Um, but overall, I do appreciate, again, all of you guys tuning in. Thank you guys for becoming members, subscribing, whatever it might be. I really do appreciate you a lot. And um, also, thank you again, Radar Omega, for sponsoring today's live stream. Put some hearts in the chat for Radar Omega. Uh, I do appreciate them sponsoring today's live stream. And if you want to download the app that I am using, you can get it on iOS and Android with the top link in the description below. On iOS and Android, it's only $8.99. But again, it's a really worth the value. We have a CC drop, a cheese curds delivery. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate you guys all tuning in. Have a great, safe rest of your night. We'll see you guys all again in the next video or live stream. Thank you guys again, and we'll see you guys all again soon. Getting cheese curds now.